worst. Let me tell you something. It's the worst of Opie and Anthony. It's the worst of the Opie and Anthony show. It's the worst. I think I would rather die in my sleep. It's the worst. Today's material was handpicked by our own Travis. It's the worst of Opie and Anthony. Hi, everybody. You're listening to another day of uh, Vacation Worst Of. This is Staff Picks. Uh, these are Travis Picks. What? Joined with me is uh, Sam. Joined with you. Join- what, like married? <laughs> there's no, no pick There's no pickup. We're live, pal. Oh, right. Damn. Uh, joining me is Than from the Than and Sam Show. Yes, also Opie and Anthony. And uh, Sam from the Sam and Than Show. I was actually already introduced a minute ago. But <laughs> no, okay, we kept that enough. part out. No, we didn't. All right, let's do the first uh, the first bit. Sure. sure. All right. Uh, oh, this is a four-parter. Ooh. This was one of the very first things uh, that happened on the Ovi and Anthony show a long, long time ago in uh, 2004. Ah, uh, okay. When I say uh, the Ovi and Anthony show, I mean XM. Yes. Uh, do you remember Ashley? Mm-hmm. Do you, or are you just saying that? No, I do. Sam? Ashley Tisdale? Yes. Yep. Ashley Tisdale called into the program and uh, claimed... <laughs> anyway, she uh, claimed to have slept with her dad's friend. Of course, I remember this bit. It was quite an operatic experience. This this was an epic. It lasted a few days, and this is part one on the worst of Opie and Anthony. It's the it's worst the of Opie and Anthony. Let's say hi to Ashley and PA. Ashley! Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing really good. Me too. Mm. Ashley. Mm, Ashley. That's a name only a hot girl can have. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> you can't be fat and say, hi, I'm Ashley. How hot is Ashley? I'm pretty hot. Ooh. Pretty hot? Uh-huh. Where are you from, Pennsylvania? Hazleton, yeah. Hazleton. Okay, not far from Reading. No. And uh, why are you calling the show today? Well, I want to play call your mom, but mine is real. Oh, you want to confess something to your mom? Uh-huh. I slept with my dad's best friend last night. How old are you? Old enough. How old are you? Nineteen. How old your dad's best friend? He's thirty-eight. Oh, I want to whack my bag. Mm. Is this real? Yeah. So how did this uh, come about? Well, I liked him for a while, and I just I don't know. Is the uh, is together your, last night? Is your father's friend uh, married? Yeah. He's married. Yeah. With kids? No, he doesn't have kids. Got you. And uh, is his wife hot? Uh, she's all right, I guess. And did you uh, did you um, make the move, or did he? We both did. Both did. So he's been coming over the house a lot. Um, we've been meeting in a secret location. Ooh, secret! It's a secret. It is. Is it a parking lot? No. What kind of a location? You don't have to give away the location. What kind? A hotel. Okay. Ah, the old hotel. Ooh, yeah. He's Dad pulling the old Buttafuoco on her. Is this a real story? <laughs> I swear, yeah. All right, let's get her mom on the phone. But you got to tell the mom that she's going to come on the radio. All right? Do, uh, do we have your mom's number? Yeah. Uh, no, i got to give it to you. All right, hold on. Do hold it on. off the air or else everybody will be calling. <laughs> hold on. Uh-huh. They're getting nervous in Washington. Relax. we got to tell the mom that she's on the air. We know all the laws. Oh, wait, get Ben in here. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Just uh, say it's a radio show, and 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 uh, you know your daughter has something c- cute she wants to tell you. Something cute. All right. All right, Ben. Uh, Janice. Yes. How are you? Pretty good. All right. Um, are you familiar with the Opie and Anthony show? No. <laughs> uh, okay. It's a, it's, a, it's a cute little radio show we do. Okay. We're pretty um harmless. Okay. <laughs> and uh, your daughter's on the line, and she wants to tell you something. Okay. Hope where she was. <laughs> any 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 uh, any idea in your head what it might be? Hopefully where the hell she was last night. <laughs> ah. Why is that? Was she missing? Well, she was supposed to come home by like one o'clock because that's her curfew, and I've been lying to her dad all fucking night about where she's been, and um, I'm a little pissed. Does uh, does she live with you still? Yes. Uh, she's got a little room that she's had since what? She was a little kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Set up the same way, so stuffed the- animals and stuff. <laughs> yeah, she's still a stuffed animal. And how old yeah. is she? 
19. And where was uh, where did she say she was going last night? She was going out to the movies and dinner, and then she was going to be home after she went to some club up in Wilkes-Barre. With uh, friends did she go to the movies? Yeah, that's what she said. What friend? Janine, why? Oh, just wondering. Uh, Janine, one of our good friends? Yeah. Yeah, Janine's uh, she's a uh, troublemaker, isn't she? Yeah, she yeah. can be. What, uh, what not hang out with Janine? A bad seed. What yeah. uh, what uh, movie were they supposed to go see last night? The Grudge or something like that. Ah, it's a little scary movie. Ah, uh, yeah. yes. All right, uh, let's put your daughter on the line here. Okay. This is Ashley. Ashley. Yeah. Hi. Uh, we got your mom Janice on the phone here, and she's wondering what uh, where you were last night until uh, how late there, mom? She never fucking came home at all. Oh Jesus! <laughs> you you got to be still not home. She's still not home. Well, yeah. maybe she's working. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Ashley? Yeah? Would you like to tell your mother where you were last night? Yeah. All right. All right. Mom? Yes? Uh, You've got to promise not to get mad, and I don't want you to tell Dad what I'm going to tell you. I've been lying to him all night. What else do you want me to lie, him, to, lie to him about? Um, Don't use I, any last names, by the way. Okay. I slept with Fred last night. Fred? Daddy's friend? Yeah. What are you out of your mind? <sighs> I'm friends with... Oh. Mom, please don't tell Dad. I, I don't... Oh, want don't to tell Dad. Sure. You tell Dad. Oh. And you're doing this to me on air? Oh. You're lucky your dad never heard of this show. Or he'd be in... State pen by tonight because he'll come. Mm. What's he all mad about? His age and your age and you're my baby and he's fucking a baby? Ooh. Well, you're not, but you are. You're my kid. Well, Ashley, what happened last night? Well, we went out to eat and we went out to a movie and then he took me to the hotel and we fooled around. You don't have to worry about me telling your dad. I'm going to go fucking kill him. Mm. What's this guy like, Janice? Well, see, I guess, um, two-faced, I would say. Um, he's been eating he dinner not. here. He's been eating dinner across the tables with you since you're two years old. Oh <laughs> I can't help it. I'm attracted to him. You're attracted to him. Wait, you fooled around. You just kissed him, right? No, we went all the way. <laughs> You slut. Is this oh, the first time? I'm not a slut. It's my first time doing it. What the fuck are you freaking out for? Because he's 38 years old. He just had his birthday. Are you uh, friends with um, this guy's uh, wife? Yes, I am. And Lisa is not going to be... Ha I oh, my God. Lisa is your <laughs> godmother. No. How am I going to even try and tell her this? Lisa, the guy's wife, is is the godmother of your daughter? Yes. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. It's a very sacred position to the Sicilian people. And <laughs> Ashley, you've wow. been fooling around with him a while, or no? I fooled around with him a couple times, yeah. But this was the first time you went all the way last night. Yeah. And it was in a seedy hotel somewhere. Yeah, it's in it's in Hazleton. Yeah, every hotel here is seedy. Mom, uh, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? Are you gonna tell the wife, maybe? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> Mom, you better not. I don't want you to tell anybody. I just don't tell anybody. You think me on the radio and you don't want me to tell anybody. <laughs> oh, you have some nerve. Oh, my God. Hey, Ashley, was he good? <laughs> Ashley was. He better damn well be because now you are out. What do you mean I'm out? You can go live with him after he gets a divorce. Well, fuck it. Then I will. Yeah, you will. This is bullshit. Ashley, I, I did not raise you like this. What happened at the college? Are you going to still go? Are you going to still have a life? Or are you going to just hook up with some old man and live off of him for the rest of your freaking life? He makes good money. Well, you know what? You're smarter than that, and, you, and you're being a complete moron right now. Complete moron. And this is the something cute you had to tell me. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, oh my so bad. God. Calm down. My blood pressure is shooting up faster than anything. You know, you're going to put me in my fucking grave. I'm not that old, but I'm going to be going in my fucking grave soon. Can I ask a question? Uh-huh. Not to be... Ashley? 
Yeah. Was was he a big boy? Yeah. <laughs> I hope it was worth it. <laughs> That's all I gotta tell you. It better fucking have damn well been worth it. Was he uh was he cut or uncut? He's cut. <laughs> what position uh did you enjoy? Um I don't know. It was mostly on my back. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Eating dinner over your house. Now he's eating somewhere else. Oh God, <laughs> Mom! Please don't tell Dad. No. <gasps> yeah, like I want to lose a husband. Mm-hmm. Why would you lose a husband? Because they'll kill fucking him. kill him. Why? That's his best friend and his daughter. Hmm. So what's the problem? Wouldn't you want to fucking kill him? I mean, right now, I'm, like, getting ready to go to his job and blow his fucking head off. Oh, boy. And That'd be the second time in two days he's had that done. <laughs> <laughs> I hear a kid in the background. not enjoy my way, though. <laughs> fucking little bitch. So, uh, did you notice there was some flirting going on there, Mom? No. No? And uh, what's going on with the kid in the background? And I have babies that are crying. And, and this is your oldest, That's Ashley. My oldest, Ashley's your oldest. And I'm hoping, you know, you know what? He's never allowed in this fucking house again. Because how is he going to go after my 12 year old? Is he going to go Whoa. after my fucking two year old now? No, well, come on. Maybe he'll go right. after your brother. You got a little oh, farm there that. for him. <laughs> yeah, they really—it's like the expos of pedophiles. <laughs> what? So what are you going to do to keep from raising another slut? Fucking lock him up. You home after school. You just come home after school. Could you quiet that baby the same way they quieted the baby at the end of Caligula? <laughs> oh my god. Last episode of MASH. <laughs> Mom, I'm just gonna come home and we'll talk. <laughs> and you can't come home. Wouldn't be quiet. I've been up all night. Not only with the baby, but walk in the fucking halls waiting for your ass to come in this door. Well, she was uh, getting laid. Yeah. And you're out. You know something? I wouldn't believe this unless it was some shithole in Pennsylvania that yeah. they were coming from. The fact that it's Hazleton. I know. It's Fucking totally... I, I I believe this could happen there. Yeah. All right, Ashley. Anything else you want to say to your mom? No, but I want to play what's in my pants. Oh, you got to go. You know what? Your bags will be at the fucking steps when you get home. She's uh, right, Your mom's heartbroken. I did not raise my child to do stuff like this. Oh, boy. We might live in a town where fucking people walk around and do shit that God only knows what, but I raised you better than that. Apparently not. Mom, would you play a game of mother-daughter once in my pants? Jimmy. <laughs> not a bad idea. Why not? All right, He's well. upset. Well, uh, it looks like you guys got some things to work out there, mm -hmm. huh? Oh, yeah. I'll come home and we'll talk. Oh, yeah. Come home. Yeah, we'll talk. How many times did you guys have sex last night, Ashley? Four. Yeah, we're going to talk. Four? <laughs> About four. About four times. Not bad. Not bad for the old guy. Did he rub his helmet on your brown eye? Uh -huh. did, did, did he try anything, like, freaky? No. Like no. the whole situation isn't freaky enough. Yeah. No, he was he was nice about it. Yeah, he was a real gentleman. And does he like you? I think. All right. Janice, you all right? Yeah. Oh, boy. She's just reflecting, looking at her other children, thinking, you know, who's next? Yeah. You're not necessarily going to fail with the other ones, too. Oh. Don't cry. What? I don't want to Don't cry. <laughs> You just basically told me that everything that we've been living and everything, uh, I thought we could trust these people, and apparently we can't. I've known them for that long, and this is the way they're going to be. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, I'm sure she's upset. She can't get the image out of her head of this guy uh, just on top of her little girl, <laughs> you know, pounding away. And uh, that's an image that will probably stick with her for quite a while, both of them just naked. Yeah, uh, and your 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 descriptions are so helpful. Get oh, that image out. Sorry, of I was just trying to convey <laughs> that you know it's probably very upsetting to you. All the oh, trust yeah. the holidays spent together. Her oh, little, her holiday. little teenage body, mm -hmm. just wanting and wanting. And a couple of years ago, you remember her like a, you know the little girl. Mm -hmm. All right, and now all of a sudden she's a young woman, and uh, this guy that uh, you've entrusted is is just ravaging her in a uh, 
in a hotel room. Yeah, just fouling your daughter over and over again. Now you're running back through your mind, thinking of all the times he was over that you might have thought he was looking at her a little weird. Oh. When she was 13, maybe? Yeah, now I'm worried that he's looking at my other children. Well, then dress him better. <laughs> oh. All right, Ashley, any final thoughts there? No, I'll, just, I'll, I'll be home and we can talk about it then. Yeah, you need to come home so we can talk about it. Yeah, and you need to come home, like, soon, okay? Yeah. Mommy's not mad at you. Not at all. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Ashley, where are you now? I'm at the hotel. Which hotel? The one right down the street or by the mall? The one by the mall. The one by the mall. Okay, why don't you just wait there and I'll come get you. Oh, boy. Ashley, are you attractive? She's a beautiful girl. Does she have email? Oh. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> All right, Ashley. <laughs> Janice, thank you. Oh. I, I didn't know this was going to happen today. Uh, a Ashley said she just wanted to tell you something on the show today. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know it was going to be this. Mm. <clears throat> but, for, but we told you there was a prize attached, and you actually win Dr. Spock's book on how to be a better parent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have used it 19 years ago. Right across her ass. Either that or a hanger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or how to choose better friends. <laughs> You just got All right, are you going to come pick me up for what? Yeah, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> all right. All right, we're going to need an update on this story. So why don't you guys call us tomorrow or Thursday or something, all right? Oh, you want put, she put, can breathe put Ashley on hold because uh, right. Eric wants her number. We're going to put Ashley on hold, and Janice, we're going to put you on hold, all right? Okay. We're putting you both on hold. All right, okay. put <laughs> shut up. All right, thanks, Janice. Oh, you're welcome. And there they go. Oh, that was good. Hmm. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to make of that story. Oh, God, <laughs> Jimmy. Is Jimmy. I have a full rod. <laughs> he is all <laughs> like... <laughs> how does he... How does he get a rod from that one? Janice? Oh, just hearing Mommy's tears. Janice? Yes? Uh, Jim has a full rod after listening to this story. I'm not some 38-year-old creep, though. <sighs> He's 35. 36. <laughs> yeah. 36. 36-year-old creep. And he was very turned on by uh, your daughter's story. How are you going to... How are you going to confront this guy? <laughs> I don't even know. I say just tell his fucking wife and let her freaking deal with him. All right, why don't we hey, call do you the have wife? her number? You want to oh, call the I wife? I would never do that to Lisa. I'd never do anything like that. Why don't that. you call Over Fred? There. You don't have to do it to Lisa. Why don't you call Fred? <sighs> oh, that's a good He's one. He's at work right now. Exactly. Yeah, that'd be great. Let's uh, confront Fred at work. <sighs> why not? The way he used your trust just to get your little, you know, right, meet me down the street at the hotel. <laughs> All right, take care, parents. <laughs> meet me down the street at the hotel. You know what that? You know what he must have been thinking when he saw that eighteen-year-old ass. Yeah, a nineteen-year-old ass for the yeah, first time. Newly turned nineteen-year-old. Just turned nineteen. Phone rings once for the oh. signal. She meets him outside by the sycamore tree. It's the worst of Opie and Anthony. All right, we're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Controversy has broken out on the ONA show. Uh, Ashley was on the line about 15 minutes ago claiming that she slept with her father's best friend. She wanted to yeah. tell her mom. We got the mom on the phone. And uh, very awkward uh, phone call to listen to. But uh, we got to be honest, uh, half the listeners are completely buying it, and the other half are not buying it whatsoever. Yeah. We're, we're divided in here, too. Uh, yeah, we're kind of on the fence in here. I don't know. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'd kind of, I love to think it's real. Yeah, I sure would. Right, but uh, I don't know. We still have Ashley on the line, and we're gonna try to get to the bottom of this. Uh, she can't hear us right now, and uh, we're gonna make believe like, uh, you know, where uh, someone from the legal department right. or something from right. XM Satellite Radio wants to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Yeah. So uh, why don't we get her? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Ashley. Yeah. Hi, this is Chuck Schick from XM Legal. Hey. How you doing? We need uh, to fill out some forms uh, okay. regarding your uh, the content of um, your conversation on the air. Okay. And um, we absolutely need to know if it was uh, true or false, um, because there could be legal ramifications for the program. So we 
Uh, it, it's not for the air. We just want to know if uh, if this really did happen or not. It's fine either way. Yeah. So you're saying this absolutely did happen. This happened. Okay. And you were telling your mom for the first time. Yeah. Okay. Check that. Because mm-hmm. um, you know, we don't we don't want to be sued. No, on this I side, you know. So if it's uh, if it's true, we we will then write down that it is indeed true, and if not, uh, that's fine too. But you're saying this absolutely did happen, and your confrontation with your mother was absolutely legitimate. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thanks. And, uh, please hold. Uh, Janice. Yes. Yeah. There's your confirmation. That's that's real. <laughs> Shameless. Oh. Okay. Lou, Lou, <laughs> right? The ten- Lou, Mary, the ten- oh, Mary had <laughs> sex with Lou. <laughs> Mary and Lou. <laughs> the Ted Knight sound. Oh, oh, Mary. Oh, oh. Marie, <laughs> Mary had sex with Lou. <laughs> All the trust that we put in Lou, and he slept with Mary. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Well, Ashley, you need to be in the lobby in fifteen minutes because I will be there for you. Okay. Just tell her there's a 38-year-old cock waiting for her, and I'm sure she'll be right there. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that this is actually true. I can't believe this. You yeah. guys got some um, talking to do. Some mm-hmm. healing. And you know what, Janice? And I'll if you need it, we do have uh, Jerry Springer's number, if, mm-hmm. if that'll help you I'll guys. say I'm sorry to hear that it's true, but then there's a part of me that's glad it is, because I'd hate to think I got a fat boner for nothing. <laughs> All right, Janice, any right. final uh, thoughts? Because we have to move on. Yeah. No, Take I... care of yourselves and each other. That's right. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. We're gonna let them uh, let them be. Wait, Janice. Yes. Yes. Oh, she, two yeses. <laughs> <laughs> two yeses, and you hang up on her. Wow. All, All right. right. Yeah, beat it. It's the worst. It and Anthony. All right. You guys want an update on um, Ashley? Ashley from uh, yesterday, who told her mom, "This that, was the uh, real deal. We weren't buying it, mm-hmm. but then we were able to uh, confirm that this actually happened." Yeah, we had Ashley call. She's 19 years old. She's had a crush on her father's best friend for a while. Uh, I guess the best friend, the father's best friend, is her godfather too, right, or something like that. Oh. Uh, well, I know that the 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 best friend, the one that had sex with the daughter, his wife, because he's married, right, is the godmother. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The girl okay. that he had sex yeah. with, so I don't know if the, he's the Yeah, godfather. so basically this guy's been coming the to the father. house since <laughs> Ashley was like two or something, and uh, Ashley's mom and dad are good friends with this guy and his wife. Don Corleone, <laughs> it is an honor to have sex with your daughter <laughs> on the day of your daughter's wedding. <laughs> so uh, I like when you put that in my mouth from your grandson, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Can I fuck your daughter for old time's sake? <laughs> and the dick she sucked was a masculine dick. <laughs> you can act like a whore! <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> so we have an update here. Uh-huh. Um, Ashley decided to tell her mom live on our show. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had, and I've had them all over the world. Wow. What? And a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous. What uh, days did you have sex with him? Tuesday, Sunday, Friday, <laughs> Wednesday, Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, she decided to tell her mom live on our show, and we uh, we had the wacky bit alert happening in our heads, but it turns out it was the real deal. So yeah. We were able to confirm it, but we have Ashley on the line to give us an update, and I, I hear it's not a good. Uh, it's, it, it's not going to be a good update here. So once again to the program we go with uh, Ashley. Hey Ashley. Oh wait a minute, Ashley. Damn it. Oh B. <laughs> Hold on, Ashley. Yeah. Okay, you're there. Cool. Hello. What's going on? They threw me out for I got the shit kicked out of them. Um, I don't know if my mom called Lisa or not. She said she did, but. Um, Lisa's in St. Petersburg, so. Uh, all right, let's back up. Who's, so, who's he? <laughs> so, uh, after the show, you went home. Yeah. And your, I, I heard that your stuff was all over the lawn. <laughs> no. Huh? No. Oh, that's what Eric was saying. 
Did you get thrown out? Yeah, they threw me out. And where are you staying? I'm at the hotel now, but um, I think I'm just going to go stay with a couple of friends. And what happened to the guy? My dad went after him. Oh, how did he find out? My mom told him. She you, wound up telling him. You wrecked a friendship that probably goes back 20 years. Well. Eh, who cares? He oh. got laid. So now what are you going to do? the only important thing. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Probably stay with friends. I don't know. So why would you call the show and, and um, announce this to the world? I wanted to be a little bitch, I guess. Backfired in my face. You wanted to be a little bitch? Yeah. Get back at your parents for a little something? Yeah. Why would you want to do that to your mom? Did your mom do something to you? No, she's just been ragging on me lately. And yeah. Yeah, when they rag on you, you got to have sex with a family friend. Exactly. Boy, you really showed her. Now you're living in a seedy hotel and with I, friends. What do you look like? Uh, I don't know. I'm good looking. I have real long brown hair, blue eyes. Uh, I'm about 5'2". All right. The important thing. How much are you weigh? Mm -hmm. uh, the last time I weighed myself, I was 107. 107? Okay, All that's right. good. Very nice. So you're not a fat girl? No. Because I'm not saying it's wrong to ruin a family friendship, but you just got to not do it over a fat girl. No, no. Have you talked to the guy? Yeah, yeah, we were together again last night. Oh, you were, were you? Is he footing the bill for the hotel? Yeah. Wait, so did your father uh, find him? Yeah, he and it beat him up a little bit? Yeah, my dad gave him a pretty good beating. And that, and then you had sex with the guy again last night? Yeah, we were, uh, he said that he'd get me a, an apartment, but he paid for it. I don't know. So did you bang him after he was all beat up? What's going over there? It's so sad. Now my nose is running. Oh, all right. <laughs> And I'm trying to signal that I need the paper towels that are right in front of Ben. And they're, like, looking at everything. What do you need? You need something for the show? It's like... Well, I just didn't know. You're looking at Ben, and Ben's turning the page, so I thought you wanted me to signal Ben. I was really going to get him back. I tried to talk him in the stand. Wait. So... <laughs> so it's going to blow him over the radio. You are? What? You should yeah, anyway. Gonna... What do you mean you well, were? How about... here. What's that? I'm here. Where is he? Having his wounds tended to? Went back. He went to work. You were going to blow him on the radio? Mm -hmm. This gets better and better every day. You know, you're, you're Could right. Could we get your mom on the line while you blow you? Oh, my God. Blow on the radio. What I wanted to do, I wanted to get my mom on the other line. And if my dad was still home, I wanted to get them both on the other line. <laughs> Why do you? And tell them that I wanted to apologize to them. And I was going to blow them over the radio and just say, here, fuck you. Hang up. All right. Why do you hate your parents so much? Because they rag on me all the time. That isn't just, hating your parents. That's just a fun little prank, yeah. Opie. And what kind of ragging do they do? Go to they school, do don't dress like a slut, get a job. Everything. Clean your room. Clean your room. Get that older man's cock out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what kind of ragging could they possibly do? The normal ragging. What? Um, what you guys said. They're just constantly on my back about something. Well, did, oh God, no, I have nothing. Go did ahead. Fred get beat up badly? Huh? Did your dad belt Fred? My dad get out of him, yeah. So, and but would Fred go on the phone while your dad's in the line and get a Hummer like that? No, well, he won't. That's why Fred wouldn't stick around. He said he wasn't going to do it. Oh, he's the one that put the kibosh on that whole thing. All right, well, you uh, really want to get even with your parents? You come to New York and blow a comedian. That will really, <laughs> I'm telling you, that will really bother them. You know, you, uh, I, I think... I live with you, Norm. She wants to live with you. Um, I couldn't have you live with me because I like, I, I, I like living alone, but you could certainly spend a couple evenings. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, we got about 12 guys, uh, that work on the show. I think we could kind of just rotate you around a little bit. You know, you're ripe for a career in porn. This is perfect. This is like a perfect resume. Hmm. Yeah, you really are a porn star in the making. I mean, what are you going to do for a living eventually? What do you want to do with your Small life? Small town Pennsylvania. She's going to go to the big city and just start hobbing knob. Nice. Wait, you got her mom on the line here? Yeah, I have her on hold. I mean, I have her off the air so she can't hear. Oh, okay, let's uh, let's put uh, the mom on the phone, too. Uh, Mike is saying, when was the last time? She said the last time she weighed herself, she was 107. When was that? 1982. 
It was a little trickery she did. She said last time I weighed myself, it was 100. Um, Janice. A couple days yeah. ago. Nah, I'm kidding. Janice, your daughter keeps calling us every day here. Yeah. So what happened after the show? Well, I called up Lisa, and I told Lisa. You did? You told the wife of the guy? Yeah. And uh, what did she? how did she react? Oh, she was furious. Um, she's actually getting on a plane to come home today. Why was she in St. Petersburg? Visiting her family. You called her in St. Petersburg? Yeah. You ruined her vacation? You couldn't tell her when she got back? No, I don't think that's something you should wait on. Mm. And what did she say? She was furious. She was furious with me, even. Why? What did you do? You're, if, besides I had raising, the baby. <laughs> besides raising a slut. Yeah, she was furious with me, and she was furious with her husband, and she's coming home to deal with him, and then she, I think she's going after my daughter. And uh, I guess your daughter was in the hotel again last night, or the motel, whatever? Whatever. I don't know where she is. I kicked her out. <laughs> uh, oh, you haven't talked to her since? No. Huh. Now, you told your husband also? Oh, yeah. And what did he say? Well, he disappeared. He came back later, and a couple hours later, he had some bloody knuckles, and he said he took care of it. Took care of it. Did he throw his bloody ghee in a dumpster? <laughs> 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 and claimed uh, that his dog was in a fight? a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still freaked out over that story. Uh, wow. So you haven't talked to your daughter since? No. What would you like to say to her? I just can't believe that you would do something like this to me. Yeah. I, oh I've done my best to raise a decent family. Where do you think you went wrong? <sighs> There's not enough discipline? It must have been. Maybe not enough guidance? I don't know. I'm there. I stayed home every day. I let my husband go to work. I stayed home with the kids. You know, I don't know. How, uh, you were home, but were you really there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but um, uh, your daughter wanted to uh, oh, Jesus. give your husband's friend a BJ live on our show today. Oh, my God. But and, and, but she wanted you on the other line. She was gonna say she was uh, gonna apologize, and then she was gonna, you know, start sucking and say fuck you. Why is she doing this to me? Oh, I'm not doing it to you. I'm doing it to myself. Oh. What have I done to you that you need to repay me like this? Good question. We wanted an answered immediately. Hanging on me. Ragging on you, I'm your freaking mother. What else do you want me to do? Oh, okay, you can go ahead and do that. I don't care if you play in traffic. Ooh, easy with that harsh criticism. Yeah, what kind of nagging do you do? <sighs> I expect certain things done, you know, like I don't expect to find her pile of laundry at the bottom of my steps so, you know, that everybody falls over it. I don't expect her to let her makeup lay around all over the freaking house Ooh, so that everyone that picks makeup. up. I mean, it's not like I ask her to paint the house. Yeah, just little chores you want her to do. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and she, I'd I, like her to be respectable, and I'd like her to get her work done, and I'd like to get her grades up. And Oh, but that's... That sounds I'm like, on her. It sounds like normal mother stuff, but your yeah. daughter doesn't think it's normal, and she she needs to get back at you by, by having sex with a, her father's best friend. <laughs> Wow. So you, you tell her to get a, pick up her makeup and her uh, semen-stained clothes <laughs> off the floor? I oh. Hey, are you using uh, birth control, Sharon? Uh, Shannon? Whatever your name is. What is her name? Ashley. No. Ashley. 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 I looked Shannon. up at the phone line. Well, for some reason, no names are typed in on the fucking phone thing. Because the computer is down. I told you that. The computer is also for the phones? Yeah. This fucking place. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm calling her Bill because I see a name <laughs> Bill up on the screen. <laughs> what do I know? How about you use your memory? <laughs> I'm in the moment. I'm not thinking about fucking names. I'm thinking about what I'm going to talk is, about. This is one of the biggest freaking stories we've had. In the, and with in all the, the horrors that we have on this show, half of you speak fucking names. <laughs> Am I supposed to remember uh, goddamn aliases? I have. I want to ask a question. And oh, that's important. I'm looking at instant feedback. Her name's Jim D. <laughs> It's Hey Would You Blow Me on line five. <laughs> what do I know? Oh, you know you fucking mother for a nickel. Uh, we're going to play that in a minute. I'm Listen, you. <laughs> the Ashley? rat bastard. Ashley? Yeah? Do you like wiffle ball? No. Would, oh. you, would you be willing to come to New York? Yeah, you want to come visit us? Uh, maybe. I don't like that. How about a yes? I'd like to get a gander at you. We'll put you up in a nice hotel. Get an older gentleman to come in and have sex with you. 
No? All right. Well, um, Ashley, yeah. w- what do you want to say to your mom today? Yeah. I'm not going to stop doing it. I don't care how mad you guys get, how worse it gets. I'm not, I'm not stopping. She's loving this because she's winning. Uh, she's winning. Right I think now. she's loving I it because she's... If I could talk him into doing it, I'm definitely going to blow him over the radio. Mm-hmm. And I don't give a shit what she says. Wow, man. <laughs> Wow, she's finally getting the attention she wanted her whole life. This is the attention. It's good. And what's what's mom's name again? Janice. All right, Pat McGroin. Um, (laughs) Janice. Yes. Are you all right? Um, No, yeah, I'm here. Oh boy. Yeah. I think you're gonna have to give up on this one. A lot of people are suggesting cool songs we could play, be playing in the background, but no, we can't. Our computer's broken. Do we, I Pink thought the Floyd's computer's back mother. up. It keeps turning on and off. We could play Pink Floyd's Mother. <laughs> Ashley, did you guys fool around after the after your dad spoke with Fred? Uh, yeah, it was about two hours afterwards. Wow. You gotta like this Fred. This kid, this guy's got some uh, gumption. Yeah, he's got a lot of spunk, and it's all in her. <laughs> Did he have any injuries? Well, wait, wait, no, you know what? He mailed me real good doggy style too. Long. Oh my god! Took out his aggressions that Dad took out on him. He took it out on me. I can't take this anymore. Like, oh. You are so foul. I can't believe you. <laughs> took out the aggression. Oh my god! Wow, that is really him. nasty. Was he all cut up and banged up? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You made him feel better though, right? What did he say when he was <laughs> banging his uh, doggy style? He wasn't saying anything. Yeah. He was moaning with pleasure and delight. Wow. Wow, there's nothing to say after that, huh, Mom? <laughs> hey, Ashley, you haven't spoken to your father, have you? No. No. Where is he right is he now? Home? Daddy, no, he's not home. He went to work. He works like he has been for the past 20 years of your of you being alive, no. Supporting, he, he works to support that beautiful 19-year-old ass. That's right. Who his friend is violating. So she could buy her whore clothes. Oh. That's where his hard-earned oh, money's going to. You know what? You can finish paying for school yourself. I'm not paying for that either. You put a roof over her head. Uh, go ahead. Stop paying for college and see what I do. I'll be really vindictive. You know what? I'm not R- paying for will be? for you. What could she I'll possibly do? I'm right in front what, of what are you going to do? Give birth on the, on the air for me? I, you know what? I don't care anymore. What what could you well, more we, do we to me? We tried to do that bit years ago, but it didn't work out. What what else could you possibly do to me? I'll scream I mean, right in front of the house. People that I didn't even know knew, knew right away who the hell we were. I went to the supermarket yesterday. Oh, my God. Did people look at me? So you're gonna screw him right in front of your mom now? Yeah, she quits paying for college. I'm gonna be an asshole. Going be to an be. asshole. When he start? <laughs> you might want to give up that. Back uh, about six years ago when you started. Ooh, ooh. Mm. All right. Uh, this is getting uh, very uncomfortable. So uh, I don't know what to tell you, Janice. No, I don't know. All right. I wash my hands of her. Yeah. I'm done. All right. And Ashley, any final thoughts here? No, I said if I could talk Fred into it, I'll call you back. All right. Oh, what a little slut. Do you think Fred's wife is going to come and knock on the hotel doors? There's a whore in your hotel! <laughs> oh, I'll bring her right to the air. Right There's to the a hotel. whore in your I building! Know what Lisa's going to do. I'll bring her right to the hotel. She's so furious, I hope she rips every strand of your hair out. Mm. No. All right. All right, I guess there's the update everyone was asking for today. It hasn't gotten much better today, right, Aunt? No. All right, well, uh, Ashley, good luck to you. Okay, thanks. And uh, Janice, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, what, what, Eric? I'll put them on hold. Place, can, can you do that? Place them on hold? Yeah, put them on hold. <laughs> Shut up. Can you do that? Or is the uh, computer yeah, we can, broken? We can place them on hold. Place more good than... How come there's no names up there for Anthony to look at? I don't know. It's <laughs> it's a mess today. <laughs> no. All right, guys. So Thank you. Bye. All right, there goes the mom. <laughs> and uh, Ashley, thank you. Let's go to Patio Furniture on line three, Opie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wow, that's uh, that, that, that situation is getting Son worse. Of a bitch! That situation is getting worse, huh? Yeah, it doesn't look very good over there. It's um, and uh, trust me, that's the real deal. We know for sure. So, 
Um, She's a little twisted that she wants to do all this on the air, but uh, who are we to say no? I want to meet her. Instant feedback from Middletown, how she could actually get more vindictive and cause her parents more hurt than what she's done. She should uh, blow a black guy on the air. That's what uh, our listener's saying, not me. I just read it. All right. I I do believe it's accurate, but... The worst of Opie and Anthony. Ah... Ashley's back. I defy the New York papers to give her the coverage you gave. Oh, and the papers have her as the youngest girl to ever bang her father's friend. Ashley. (laughs) Yeah. What's going on today? I'm in my parents' house, and I'm up in their room on their bed, and uh, I'm going to blow him and make him, when he's ready to come, I want him to come all over their sheets, and then we're going to leave. Okay, hold on. The guy is there with you, Fred? Yeah, yeah I, it took me a while to convince him to do it, but because my um, parents, usually on Fridays, my dad doesn't work, um, we sat across the street and waited for them to leave. They usually go grocery shopping afterwards. So why are you whispering if they're not in the house? I don't know. I guess because I'm all freaked out on doing this. Oh, See, we're not, I don't know if we're buying your story. I know. This, it, gets, it gets bigger and bigger yeah. and worse and worse as it goes along. And, and you know, it's so outrageous. That, you know, it, it leaves us to believe that perhaps well, it isn't really happening. Let us talk to him. Hold on. You yeah. sure do have a cast, though. <laughs> hey. Hello? Yeah. Who are you? Fred. What? Fred. 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 Mm-hmm. And you're the friend of the father. Uh-huh. And you've been having sex with this uh, daughter. Yeah. Huh? What the what the father do when he found out? Beat shit out of me. And how old are you? 38. 38, and you're banging your uh, best friend's daughter. Yeah. And and her father's 38? Uh, I think he's pushing 40. Mm-hmm. And, um, man, I just don't know if I'd buy this. It's so outrageous that it's like it, you want to believe it because it's so outrageous, but then you kind of got to think, how can this possibly really be happening? Hey, Fred, if she gives you a Hummer, will you will you promise not the sheets? Will you arc one on the pillow? I don't even know if I can get it off or not. Oh, you don't even know you can get it up? I'll get it off. I'll get it off. Um, now, um, wow, what what to ask this guy? How big is it? What? So you've been taking her to the hotel, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And giving her, giving her is she hot? Yes, yeah, she's hot. Yeah. So you've been looking at her for many years. Uh, since she's about 16, I guess. 16? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. And how bad did he get beat up the other day? I got a black eye and fat lip. What did, he, what did he do? Like, how did he... All of a sudden, you don't know what's happening, and you see the father, what, pull up? Yeah, I didn't really think anything about it, and then he just busted in the door and started beating the shit out of me. So he came to your house. Did he say anything? Uh, just shit like, you know, what the hell are you doing with my daughter and stuff like that. And, and what did you say? I just kind of crouched on the couch and, and, and tried to cover up best I could. And, and took it like a man, knowing what you were going to get later on that night from his daughter, right? Yeah. So you like that hot piece of ass in front of you? Oh, yeah. A whole lot better than my wife. Oh, yeah, your wife. What happened to her? <clears throat> she hasn't come home yet. Where was she? She's in St. Petersburg. Man, everything like adds up. They got the story together. It's so they it's all so have cool. their story together. It's They're like a little drama. This club. is definitely. Anthony and I have talked about this uh, this thing that's been going on on our show for the last few days, and we're 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 just not sure what's real and what's not because it's so out there. It, it's one of those things. I mean, everyone's facts are kind of lining up. They're really prepared. If it isn't, yes, sex bagel. Ask him um, the hotel they were talking about last time. Is it the one down the street or the one near the mall? Yeah. What uh, what hotel was it at? Was it the one down the street or the one near the mall? It's the one up next oh, to the mall. Yeah, that's right. It's the one next oh, to the mall. Yeah. Would you would you guys be able to come in studio someday? I don't want to see these two. I can't wait to see yeah. these two. They're the greatest two ever. I I. All right. Well, so uh, are you naked? Is she naked? Yeah, she is. But I just got my pants down. I'm. I, I don't want to take my pants off or anything. I'm going to get out of here if anything happens. So why would you be talked into this? I'm stupid. Well, I'll and, give and, you that. And uh, and why is... It's Ashley, right? Why is Ashley um, so upset with her parents that she would do this? I don't know. You don't know? She never talks to you about it? Nah, she's the same old teenage stuff. You know how they are. 
Yeah. Uh, of course we do. Hell yeah. <laughs> Tight as a drum. Um, so what is Ashley doing now? She's, she's working on it. She's working on your thing? Uh-huh. And uh, is, uh, what does she look like? She's a uh, long, uh, long brown hair, mm-hmm. blue eyes, mm-hmm. about 5'2". Five, about, five mm-hmm. uh, about 110 pounds, I guess. Uh-huh. Aha, uh-huh, caught him. What was she that? said 108. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a baby in the background. Yeah, what am I hearing in the background, sir? Probably TV. TV's still playing. All right, is she working you good? Yeah. Hey, let's get the let's get the phone to Ashley. Mm. Hey, Ashley. Hey. So what are you doing? I'm blowing them. Mm. In, in your parents' bedroom? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, shit, there's your mom. Okay. Oh, all right. See, now I'm not right. buying it. There it is. They went too far. Mm-hmm. Shit, there's your mom. No, oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's just listen. Yeah. Fuck off my bed. Mom! What the fuck is <laughs> Those corn balls. That was so bad. That was, that was oh, so well, bad. here's your mom. And then he says again, here's your mom. There's your mom. I don't think they heard it. There's your mom. I think we put an end to that story um, finally. Mr. Favisham, <laughs> <laughs> if you want me to be involved with the play, it's out of the question, out of the question. <laughs> Rachel, you mm. sucked my cock and your mom walked in. Your mom is back. <laughs> That was awful. We wanted to believe it. Nah, but we hey, uh, uh, yes, might... sex bagel. I just called the number back, the mom's phone number. Yeah. You just hear the phone come on. You go, "Ow, my hair!" You and then it hangs up again. So they're still playing the act. They're out. still acting. Like we're gonna keep calling That's them really over and over funny. to see if this. The beautiful thing is, though, and I'll credit myself. I didn't buy this from the from first. the from the get go. Yep. Yep. This it was is one a of those bunch of bunk. Like, bunk. It was one of those things that sounded fun. You wanted to believe it, but they really, like, their little acting crew there, they had their facts lined up. They were up. good. I didn't think it was real either. Uh, it was one of those things, you know, it's kind of fun to listen to them making it up. And that was kind of funny, too. Well, for too. a while there, we weren't sure. Yeah, but it was, uh, that, I was we saying. we got to be honest. And then, then we were, Aunt and I were talking, we're like, I don't know, man. I was saying there was a little element of doubt. That was the yeah. only thread holding it together. But um, after that. I mean, come on. That ends it right that there. That ends it. You know what really rubbed me the wrong way, and I noticed this immediately, is that these two are supposedly fighting on the phone, and yet they tolerated every idiotic thing we said. Right, right. The mother, you, you raised a slut. Oh, 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 a slut. I raised a <laughs> slut, Mary. <laughs> I, I, right now, with the, what they're doing, they're all clasping hands and bowing. Oh, they would. Thank you. Well, Thank now they you. have to call back and tell us what that was all about. Yeah, just call back. We got the goof. Call back. Yeah, we, yeah, know, we know you were kidding. It was fun. It was fun. They put on a nice little show. Absolutely. It was, it was like nice watching little, a, was, a, a, a mini series. It was a good three day show. Vignette, opera. yeah. A vignette. And you know what? If you poll the audience, I think um, over 50% were buying this whole thing until today. Yeah, that was just awful. That was a huge discussion on a lot of the message boards. The, you guys the, are tools. Why are we tools? Why are we tools, stupid asses? <laughs> Ever say donkey sausage? Why are we tools? We said just before we went to the, the you know the phone call or continue with the phone call that we weren't sure we were buying it completely. Yeah. Look at this guy. Too bad Dad didn't show up. Yeah, that would have been hot. Him and Fred could have got into it. Damn, you think they could have at least gotten into the BJ a little more? That L- even sounded fake. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Listener theater of the mind equals awful radio. <laughs> <laughs> if no one thought it was real, how did you confirm that this was a real story yesterday? Good point. Good point. Someone, I think someone on this program did confirm it was a someone, real story. Someone did say they confirmed it, and it's a real story. And I think he's got frosted hair. Was it Sex Bagel that was confirming that this was real? I think it was. Well, we try to confirm it by acting like a lawyer and stuff. Yeah, but they weren't going to fess up to anybody. I'll bet you they were saying, did you believe that idiot acted like a lawyer and he thinks we bought it? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, for legal ramifications. We <laughs> knew you weren't a real lawyer. Uh, Anthony didn't know any real legal terms. Look, technically there can be jail. If, uh, um, jail? If, um, well, Sex Bagel's working on him. Technically. <laughs> Sex Bagel, I think, is working on him right now. To Not only that, that, the name of the lawyer that I used was Chuck Schick, who was the lawyer in... 
in uh, the law student in um, Caddyshack. Ah, that ah. walked up, introduced you to, hey, I'd like you to meet Chuck Schick. He's going <laughs> yeah. to law school. <laughs> that's, that's zero. <laughs> Chuck Schick. That's good. I'll say. So Nick Cage's performance in Wind Talkers was better than that awful <laughs> acting. Yeah, that was horrendous. Oh, it's your mom. Nothing. Yeah, just uh, it's your mom. Yeah, I know. Just perfect timing. Ugh. It's your mom. No. It's your mom. <laughs> when I give you the signal, we're going to yell, it's your mom. Ugh. All right. Oh, I got it. Let's call up and we'll say that mom walked oh. in. Uh, you know, that's been bothering me for the last few days, so I'm glad there's an ending but to God, that. But, guy, I tell you one thing. The only thing he almost tripped up, we'll call her hair was, blonde, blonde brown. Blonde, like, brown. Blonde, brown. She but, was probably shaking her hair in front of him. No, I mean, they, she couldn't have been. They had to, I bet you they wrote stuff down because you think the ages right, everything yeah. right. The hotel location. Everything. Oh. All right. Oh. I think Ashley's back on the line here. She's laughing. Yeah. Ashley. Yeah. All right. You guys got to, like, fess up now because we're on to you. Okay. So, you remember you remember on your... <laughs> Look at them. They're all little troops. Look at this. It's a comedy oh, drama. It's a comedy <laughs> troupe. It's the... Uh, we're Martin. an improv group. It's the Upright Citizens Martin. Brigade, everybody. Do you remember... Do you remember on your second show that the second week of your show on Monday, a girl from Tennessee called and played with herself with that high, with that high voltage vibrator because I had dirty dreams about you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm Nina from Tennessee. Oh, okay. Oh. And you you actually emailed me a couple times, right? Well, how about I drove to Hazelton so that Janice's number would register on your phone line? Are you crazy? No, what'd you do? Just fo what'd you do? I, just forward it? Yeah, we just totally wanted to mess with you guys. We were giving you a little bit of your positive women's um, promo. promo. You, <laughs> you guys had problem with the promo. All right, all right. Let's let's back up. So you were the one from Tennessee that played with yourself, right? Right. So was that for real? Yeah, it was. That was for real. So you had a real orgasm on our show. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. So then you guys. This just... is just totally because we just wanted to give you a little bit of women positive promo. <laughs> yeah, that's positive. All right. All right. Like so it. Ashley, how old are you? I'm. I told you, I'm 32. You're 32 and you were acting like a teenager. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And how about Janice, my mother? Is 31. Is 31. <laughs> The mom. Oh, oh, no, no. I can't believe she's. Hey, did you did you write stuff down? No, I swear to God, we didn't write a nothing, nothing down. Nothing down. It all improv. Look, yeah, all improv, improv. And we did it over the phone. I was calling you guys from my Tennessee number. She was, and when you guys were calling her, it was from her Pennsylvania number. Man. And we were just communicating back and forth by phone, and then. Fred it was actually my husband that you were talking to. Yeah, Fred. Uh, Fred I mean, ruined it. Do yeah. True or false? Yeah, Fred's they acting do, stunk. They want to try and trap you, so they don't <laughs> ever give you true or false. I, I got to tell you, you know, there was a point I was believing it for a while. I think there was a point Anthony was I, for a little bit. I, I'm, I'm always completely skeptical, skeptical but <laughs> so there was that element of doubt the whole time, and I'm always fishing around trying to find out. I wanted to believe oh, it. Oh hell yeah! And then uh, I got to tell you, the listeners, they're being honest on the instant feedback, yeah, and it's it's split right down the middle, right? It was always split 50-50. Wow, Lay, so we love your show, and the shit that you say about women isn't bad. I mean, hell, I, I know. Think hey, what, what did you think of Anthony's lawyer impression? Um, I knew it was a crock of shit. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. Damn it. Yeah, I played right into it. <laughs> Stupid Chuck Schick. Yeah, ch <laughs> but here, Chuck ruined you, the program. I'm going to give you to Janice. She wants to talk to you for a couple minutes. I love you guys. Norton, you're a sweetheart, and I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, thank you, miss. <laughs> Hey, Hello, this is Mom. Hey, Janice, how are you? Good, how are you? You Did guys you, like you guys were pretty good, i got to tell you. What were we? The yeah. first two days. We kind of wanted to go over the top today so that everybody really knew. Yeah, there you go. No, no you're, saying it, you're saying that now because it went horribly wrong. The timing was awful. Oh, well, we didn't, like we said, we didn't have anything planned. But it was, you know, three days of fun, you know? Yeah, well, we just figured, you know, maybe you can get something you could use for a positive promo. That was great. We hey. uh, we enjoyed and that. And as far as you not having women listeners, you obviously know you do. Well, can oh. you guys can you guys make it up to us now and dike out or something? <laughs> dike out, Opie, or have Ashley get banged live on the show? <laughs> I think you got to make it up to us now. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we'll have to do that. We'll All right. To, we'll you know what was a little confusing for me? We played a Hi Mom, I'm in Jail uh -huh. from our old CD. Oh no, that CD never came out. That's right. 
And uh, well, it, it's out there though, and thousands of people are enjoying it thanks to file sharing <laughs> and oavirus uh, dot com. Mm-hmm. But um, then she, you know, Ashley called up, uh, decided this is my opportunity, and said, "I want to do one of those." Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. when I was like, "Well, if it was something planned, you know, the timing, you know what I mean?" Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah, the yeah. timing was too good. Yeah. Well, we tried. We tried to make it sound a little more real, but yeah. you know, we're not we're not professional. So <laughs> you guys at least made it seem professional. That Fred. That's the worst acting I've ever heard. I know. <laughs> Fred was horrible. Yeah, we hated Fred. He made Voss seem like John Gilgood. <laughs> wow, nice. <laughs> Good reference. All right, guys. Okay. But we love you, and we're going to continue listening to you. We uh, think you guys rock. Thank you. Uh, stay, okay. stay away from the pranks, or people are going to start thinking we're doing fake radio. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, and tell Ashley she's got a bang now live on the show. Okay, we will. All right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Oh, you're going to get it. Hey, dude, let me tell you, these chicks were real. <laughs> hey, it's Rockhole. What's going on? Me and Dave are uh, calling these chicks again. Uh, yeah, all right. I was fun. up to it. Cool. It was fun to uh, listen to for a little while. It's the worst. The worst. We'll be back with more of the worst of Opie and Anthony featuring Travis. <laughs> Of Opie and Anthony. It's the worst. It's the worst of Opie and Anthony. The worst. With Travis. Holy mackerel, am I enjoying that radio program. I know what boys like. I know what guys want. Okay. You're listening to the worst of Opie and Anthony. This is uh, Travis's picks with Fan and Sam from the Opie and Anthony and Fan and Sam show. What up? Big Kev smells. (laughs) <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> nice bit. What's oh. Your, oh, I was good. Oh, that's the next bit. My bad. Yeah, that's not just me talking. We're just we're just hanging out, talking no. about what we don't like about different people. <laughs> okay, that's personal. Yeah, uh, this was a very uncomfortable uh, phoner with Big Kev. For who? For uh, I believe Anthony. Oh, I believe Anthony was uncomfortable. The rest of us were giddy. Yes, and I believe jumping up and down. Not me. I've been a Big Kev fan since day one. No, I don't think that's true. Well, judge for yourself. Should we give him a plug? No. Yeah. Of course, you want to check out his show, go to BigKevsGreekStuff.com to get everything you want to know about Big Kev and his show. Or if you want to go shopping, yep. if it's the holiday season, you didn't get anything you wanted for Christmas, go to BigKevsToyStore.com. Excellent website. That's where I get all my toys. I got my Jack Bauer figures from there. Nice. Check out Big Kev Smells on the worst of Opie and Anthony. Did you not see where I was going there? Or did you just not want to give him a plug? <laughs> I just didn't want to give him a plug. <laughs> all right. The worst of Opie and Anthony. <laughs> it has to be addressed. What? What? I don't want to. Believe me, it's painful for me to have to address this, but it's got to be addressed. It does because you know it, it happens too often, yeah. and it's 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 just it's one of those things that has to be addressed. What happened? <sighs> Look, we all like Big Kev, right? We all like Big Kev. You're going there? I have to. Holy shit. Dude, dude, I have to. You're blowing up his spot? It's not a spot to blow up. Everyone is freaking out. Everyone's freaking out. Holy crap. It's not a secret. Um, Except to him. This is going to solve a problem. I'll be honest. I'm relieved because when you said we have to address something, I'm sitting there like big saucer eyes like, uh uh-oh. No. Yeah. He's going to call me out on something. I thought I was no. getting booted from yeah, the Yeah, exactly. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> we're, we're all, yeah, Jimmy and I are looking around. You know, We're feeling kind of confident, but not really. And then, you, all right, go ahead. It's because it's all whispering and everything's going around and stuff like that, and it's just got to be brought out. All right. Uh, Kev has uh, uh, no sense of smell. None. That's what it is. He right. doesn't. It's a medical thing. He's talked about it on, on the air a few times. Which means he has no sense of taste, by the way. Which means, really? how do you eat so many cupcakes when you can't taste them? Well, oh, I thought. Why not just mash up carrots and eat them? Ha- I thought that explained what he wears every day. <laughs> he, had the, he had the the surgery, and he has lost a lot of weight. Yes, over, he has. Over so for the, the new listeners, you got to explain that. I was talking to Kevin before the show today. He was close to six hundred pounds when we first met. Yep. Him. He's yep. now down to three hundred and twenty. Giant, I believe. Giant. And he's getting uh, two operations to get the excess skin removed, which I think is part of what you're going to bring Maybe up. Maybe part of an issue All right, that's go going on. Uh, so since he has no sense of smell, uh, uh, he's not able to really get a sense of what uh, he, he is emitting uh, right. at certain times. And there are certain days he comes in here 
uh, today being one of them, that it's not that pleasurable to be in his company as far as my uh, sense of smell goes. Yes, cranky ass. Your olfactory senses. My olfactory. And mine. Yes, it is uh, is what is uh, called cranky ass sometimes. You just get a little sweaty. You get a little thing. Hey, we've all had our, our, our times. I know sometimes I sit in here and I'm sweating and I know perhaps I, you know, should maybe, you know, psh, psh, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You're like getting hot. Sometimes ah, it's 110 degrees in this fucking studio. A little B.O. never hurt anyone. And I'll it plaster everybody. I'll plaster my arms down, run for my coat and get the fuck out of here as quickly as possible. Why would you care if I had, believe me, if my pits stink, I'm fucking raising my arms and walking by every one of you creeps. <laughs> Who not only, cares? Not only raising your head. Your arms, you would get the fan out. Yeah, it would just fucking <laughs> flop a little like I was doing the bird. With that, and with all due respect, and with all due friendship, and I, I, I'm so uncomfortable with it that that's the reason. If anyone ever asks, well, why don't you just say it off the air or something? Because I'm too uncomfortable to face somebody and say it off the so air. So now I'm he's, a big pussy. Now he's hearing this during the replay. It'll get back to him. He's going to hear this during the replay. It'll get back. So just to say him. what you got to say. A, you don't want to say it privately. You're I think I did off doing it in front of the entire country. Yeah, I think I just did. That's a hell of a friend. I got to tell you. I think I just did. I just, I just, you know, that was it. I and and when you look in the fucking monkey cage over there that the, the our our producers and various staff are in, the second I even mentioned it, they their heads were bobbing up and down. The fucking bobblehead dolls in there. Mentioned what? Uh, Kev. Yes. Hi, Kev. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Is, uh, is there a problem? There was an issue two times ago when you came in, and uh-huh. then this time today. Okay. There is sort of a... Um, now, I know you have no sense of smell, right? That's true. That's why you're on the bus today. Uh-huh. Because you're one of those that doesn't have to really deal with the homeless people. Sitting next to Tom eating egg salad. <laughs> it doesn't matter to him. Right. It doesn't matter to him. <laughs> But um, there's been there's been uh, there's been talk around the studio, and okay. and we just want to bring it to your attention so that the problem can be solved and everything. Mind okay. you, this all was... due friendship, Hold all due on. respect. Hold on. Hold on, mind you, it wasn't talk amongst all of us. It was one it person was talking. Ju- no, it was. <laughs> there so, has been. So basically, Anthony said what? Anthony, I Anthony no. for once brought this to everyone's attention. I pretty much stayed out of it okay look you stayed out of it but it's there's just oh my god why uh, um yes anthony i i i you know you know yeah you're my friend kev oh uh, okay and uh normally i guess this would be a face-to-face thing but i am really too much of a pussy to actually uh, come out and face to face say something, but there okay. there is kind of a a fragrance, I guess, uh-huh. that was coming off of you. That was a, a little well, J- Jimmy, uh, help me out here. He stinks, and I don't like him. No, that isn't true. That isn't true. Okay. Yeah, I, I just wanted you to know. Um, there, there. If, if that's true, I it smells like. It smells like. I love the smell of uh, pump in the morning. Yes. I assure you, there's a uh, there's an explanation. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that doesn't have to be something public. No. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I I apologize. Uh, are you sure it was? Uh, it was me and not anyone else. Uh, uh, see, see, look, these motherfuckers over there nodding their heads. Uh, there's, yeah. There's five people nodding their heads in the other room. And Bill is throwing his shoulders up like he didn't know. It was a little <laughs> rough to narrow it down with a lot of the homeless in here today. Okay. But, um, but, well, uh, thank you for bringing it to my attention. I would. And like I said, if I, I wasn't to such a pussy, I, uh, I would have uh, said something in, in private. But it's not like these little co-conspirators that are right. sitting there fucking saying shit. Well, it's really easy for everybody else just to kind of sit back and not say anything while letting you do the heavy lifting. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I, I assure you there's a, there's an explanation. Well, we had Low speculated. Water pressure. And, uh, and, and it, it has to do with a, an upcoming yes. surgery. Yes it, yes, it does. Yeah, there's okay. Some, there's some preparations that are happening and uh, uh, yeah. 
that that may be involved. That's what we're speculating. And Although we only... I can't I can't identify it exactly because I like you said I, I have no way of telling myself. That's a tough fucking nut. No sense of smell. Yes. That's rough. All right, there it is. There okay. it is. Well, Problem uh, solved, you. people. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I, I apologize. All right. But no need. All right, big cap. Okay. Take care. Bye. Oh Jesus, Anthony. Well, I, I, you know, I needed to clear the air. I just wish <laughs> I had wish I had more balls instead of just sitting here nodding quietly. Now, let me also bring up the fact that is why Jimmy was fucking miserable when he walked in. <laughs> oh, really? Did you see Jimmy's face when he walked in? Yeah. He was fucking miserable. He comes in like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, and then he keeps looking over and looking at me and going, <laughs> oh, Jesus God, God, fuck, God. No, it was a transit strike. I was so Shut mad. Shut up. There are people walking to work today, <laughs> and that bothers me. Hey, this is Big Kev, and you're listening to the worst of Opie and Anthony. It's the worst. It's the worst. Of Opie and Anthony. Featuring Travis. It's the worst. He's reached his potential. This is as far as he can <laughs> this go. This is it. It's the worst of the Opie and Anthony show. What do you got? I got Intern Ricky. Ooh. Remember Intern Ricky? I do. Sam did not know Intern Ricky. But I knew him through the radio waves. You know him through the radio program. Yes. Intern Ricky was probably one of our best interns. I would right? agree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In terms of the radio he gave. Sure. And his tasks. Uh, towards the end of his uh, internship, he was asked to write a book report, I believe, on sarcasm. Yes. Um, we probably explain why he had to do it within the context of this if, bit. If Eric cut it up correctly, then yes, we did. Hopefully. Yes. Um, I had to give him a little lesson, and uh, then, uh, yeah, the Opie and Anthony picked up on it, and here you go. This was one of my favorite bits. That's perfect, because that's what we're supposed to be Cause playing. Because Ricky made me look real good. Oh, yeah, well. We were in the same intern class. Let's find out why he made you look so good. It's the worst of Opie and Anthony featuring Travis's picks. The worst. It's the worst of the Opie and Anthony show. All right, are you ready for your book report or whatever? Yeah, that was kind of a uh, re yeah report. A report on sarcasm. Yeah. Where is it? It's in my back pocket actually. <laughs> it's like it's school. Well, yeah, we asked him <laughs> to do uh, fold it up in your back pocket. What school do you go to? Uh, Westchester Community College. Uh, uh, West Community <laughs> College. Rich, we uh, told him to do a little report on sarcasm. He didn't get sarcasm. Yeah. Uh, Nathaniel was was in our office one day. Who, by the way, uh, really gets sarcasm. He gets sarcasm the most out of the interns. Yeah. The most. He sure. was sitting at his desk, and um, uh, the, for some reason, there were a bunch of the chairs in the office. We're all gathered around him. Uh, as people had just pushed him there, I guess. And he looked around and went, could I get another chair around me? And... Uh, Ricky grabbed another t the couch <laughs> yeah. and was trying to push the couch over there, thinking perhaps he really did need yet another seat around wow. him. Yeah. So he could has oh that's right Jimmy wasn't here for that either. Complete lack of understanding <laughs> right. about Jim sarcasm. Oh yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy's holding his head. You yeah, Nathan is just like, can I have another <laughs> chair around me? And he went to get him another chair. Yeah. 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 Back in those ass. You are a real ass. <laughs> So, so we told him if he's going to work on this show, he really has to understand sarcasm. Absolutely. So we told him to do a little report on sarcasm. I mean, you're a bright guy. <laughs> <laughs> so he looks that. like ADD. If you could look at ADD, he just he's just in the another face of game. ADD. Is that it? Yeah, dude. Why don't you have any confidence in yourself? Your parents beat you up when know. you were growing up. No, no. not physically, but just. Mentally, you mean? Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, something. Not yeah. Lines, yeah. yeah. Uh, they uh, wouldn't let you sleep in the hut as a kid back in El Salvador? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I never lived there. I was born here, so oh. thankfully. But they both came from there, so. Both. Why is that yeah. painful that you were born here? No, no. It's Did not, you say it's not. painfully? No, thankfully. Oh, thankfully. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. You yeah, kind of get a little ghetto every so often, I've noticed. <laughs> you try to get a little ghetto, like your voice. Yeah. When you're not hanging out with uh, us... Caucasian people, is there? Uh, do you really like get into the whole uh, ghetto thing? I, I, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I so I can say both and stuff <laughs> instead of both. That's right. I say you get him some pussy, and then right when he's finished, have Nurse Ratchet come in. We got to uh, yell at him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't want to have to tell your mother, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> please, 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 please don't shave my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and we give Ricky a lot of credit. He's in college, and he he does his own radio show. We got we got. Are these new clips from your radio show? I I suppose so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Want to listen to more of Ricky's college radio oh, show, God. Anthony? Jimmy? Oh, oh absolutely. Of course. Oh, right. W-Y-U-K. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Sure. Anyway. anyway yeah. <laughs> anyway. What? What did you... Anyway, look. I'm getting uh, stuff today for... Um, yeah, they're whispering over there. Which anyway. I anyway, I'm getting... We're going to change the subject to... Um, anyway, my clothing. Ricky's shoes. No, not even much. Well, okay. I'm coming in today just because I have a job interview. He and, looks so uh, nice. Pretty boy. He's so beautiful. I'm getting stuff today. this week. Pretty boy. I have <laughs> hey, pretty. You got the Chunk pretty hair ass. with the pretty <laughs> shoe. The pretty. His, his braces are pretty. You got everything oh pretty. Oh, boy. Oh, no, boy. But real quick, it's just I'm getting crap for it just because, um... I wear in chanclas just because I can't stand Adidas. Like, let them know. Yeah, because I can't. Adidas. I can't wear dress shoes all day. Come on, it's like I'm just wearing sneakers, whatever. Wearing dress Go. shoes is like. Try being a girl. Song. Ricky, that is captivating. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. It you stinks. Could, you could tell that whole crew is like the nerdiest. He's got like the black, the biggest Uncle Tom probably <laughs> on campus there. You know, makes Kid Africa look like Malcolm X. <laughs> uh, you know, and some broad and. <laughs> Re-nerds. Wow. That, that shout to my man Bush Rocker right there. That was a special delivery. <laughs> G Dev, that was the remix. And then I got some Wu Tang coming up right now. Old school Wu Tang. Protect your neck on the new sound of Parody like 8. Welcome to you. Yeah, he was ghetto right there. Yeah. That was your ghetto delivery. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. You put on a good, um, what do they call that? Uh, uneducated sound. Yeah. One last time, it's the new sound of Power 88, it's Ricky here. I don't need any music for the uh, outro today. It's 11.58, got two minutes after my show, but it's basically the end anyway. I was going to wait for Abby, just so she can uh, plug her show, but I'll do it for her. She's coming on from uh, 2 to 4 today. Uh, tune into her, she does some great... Uh, stuff <laughs> she, now she does some great talk of she does uh she talks a lot about uh things and then she also um plays a lot of good music so tune into her two to four today nine one four six oh six six seven five three i got the power hour coming up next and uh that's about it for today see you i like how you started singing with the song i was singing. is that an eminem song you were singing to yeah that was the end of uh encore and i can't believe I even freaking did that. Good time. It was good. Holy yeah, shit. It was pretty amazing. You listen to that show. Remember the, the scene when people were jumping out of the windows during the Depression? <laughs> that was really um, wow. horrible. Really, really bad. Yeah. yeah. What's next? Yeah. Well, we got What's the report next? on sarcasm, I guess. Next. <laughs> Here's a report on sarcasm. You play that radio show and someone says, that was good. That's the end of the report. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it basically sums it up. God, this guy has no self-esteem whatsoever. I know, and, and we're just, just and justifiably so. I, I feel bad for him. Did you ever work like for a guy named Pereno or something? You seem like beaten no. down. <laughs> hey, Mark Pereno. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why don't we, why don't we get this report in? Anthony? Yeah, let's let's get oh, this done. God. All right, let's get this over. Let's hear. Right, by the way, this Ricky's will, take on Sarkis. This will be your last appearance on our show. Oh, oh, so make it good. Go out in in a blaze of glory, please. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, <laughs> Let her rip. Make believe, you know, you're in a classroom and you actually have to do an oral report on sarcasm. That actually makes it worse, though. But okay. You want to be radio, so you got to... Yeah, I mean, this should be no big deal. okay there, Ricky? You look like you're freaking out. Oh, oh, yeah, man. I'm freaking nervous right now. Why? Oh, yeah. Why? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you're yeah. good. Now he's saying freaking. And now, yeah, because yeah. I... I was, <laughs> little yeah. potty mouth. Mom might have heard that. Yeah. <laughs> no, she... she does he know how to operate an XM radio thing, so... I could see him. I'm stupid. All right, that's nice. <laughs> She's castrating and stupid. Very nice, Rick. Well, at least we mm -hmm. know where you got your stupid part from. <laughs> I think he's a good kid. Uh, you know what? No, Shut your diplomatic I, face. I like the kid. I think he's a good... I, it's you know, hard to smash night. him. It really is. I, I like really him think a lot. for 19... Uh, you know what? We're going to go back to my place and talk about your career tonight. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, two men getting <laughs> scented marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> we only have a minute left. Oh, three. Okay. Right. Come on. Let her rip. Oh, let her rip. <laughs> um, s sarcasm. Um, I just wanted to start out this uh, little presentation on the definition on sarcasm, which has two meanings. One, a cutting, uh, a cutting, often ironic remark intended to wound. Second uh, definition of it, a form of wit that is marked by the use of sarcastic language and is intended to make its victim the butt of contempt or ridicule. Hey, this is good. Yeah. Uh, like a, like when someone says that's proper to say the T and often. Oh. Go ahead, 
Okay. What, does, what does it mean to you, though? You, you're just uh, copy and paste it from a dictionary. Well, yeah. he said <laughs> to start, he wants to give the yeah. definition, oh, and, then, right. yeah, but, and then he'll move oh, on. Right, right. Plagiarizing jizz bucket? Go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I just did this like a couple of hours ago when I was drunk, so uh, didn't, right. didn't really help out too much. That's great. Way um, to impress uh, Anthony and I and Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Jesus. Uh, we give you an assignment, drunk. and you do it last minute. Drunk. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Um... Yeah, no. Uh, everyone is sarcastic in one way or another, just to be funny or just to mess around with another person. It all depends on the situation and how it's supposed to be used. Yeah. Is this your words? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. that's why it sucks. Let it run. Uh, good. Uh, Fifty thousand dollars isn't anything. Is one example of car- sarcasm. There are some times when sarcasm is used, but you can't really tell. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Fifty thousand dollars. Is that's an OP case. line that made sense? Yeah, oh, but, oh. but explain that. Why is that? Yeah, that I, I, I keep going with it. Uh, the example I said before about Opie saying to Jim that fifty thousand dollars isn't really anything was an obvious sarcasm. But there were people that thought that hi- him saying that without a second thought may may not. Uh... Oh, no, you can curse it, settle it. Yeah, no, but <laughs> yeah, you might as well curse. You you, you need a drink? Nah, nah, to nah, nah. Loosen you up a little bit? Nah. No. Nah. All right, mm-hmm. all right. Back up a little bit because you you were stuttering through that whole uh, last line. Yeah, I'm just noticing some typos and stuff, so. Why are you shaking? Look at you're shaking. Yeah, Put your hand out. Now. Just calm yeah. down. Put your hand out straight in front of you like this. Wow. Yeah. Shaking. It's not like you're on a really popular radio show that the whole country's listening to. Relax. Yeah. Just relax. Of ourselves. There's only four yeah. or five people in the room. Just just picture it that way. Um. Holy crap, dude! Relax. <laughs> people looking at from out there. The whole film crew. Yeah, the film crew. They don't even care. They're just trying to get the lights right. Just calm down a little bit. Um, yeah. I don't even I really forgot where it was already. Um, Your hero, Travis. <laughs> Come on now, um, snap to it. Get to this. Are you? Uh, oh my god, they turned what? the lights off. <laughs> they're, they're turning the Watch lights out, off. Watch out, here goes your sand, man. <laughs> no, go ahead, you can do it, man. Um, focus. Yeah. Focus. Come on. Look in Jimmy's mm-hmm. eyes. Go ahead, I'm, I'm supporting you. Look, see? Um, Look in his eyes. He'll yeah. show you the support that you yeah. need right now. Wow. All right, we're going to have to do this tomorrow. Um, Are you in tomorrow? No, I'm in Friday. Oh. All right, we'll have to do it Friday because I think the show's ending, like, right. It's the worst. The worst. We'll be back with more of the worst of Opie and Anthony featuring Travis. The virus is an XL channel which may contain explicit language. Channel blocking is available by calling 1-800-XM-RADIO or in XM Canada, 877-438-9677. <laughs> It's the worst, the worst of Opie and Anthony. Featuring Travis. It's the worst. He's reached his potential. This is as far as he can go. This is it. It's the worst of the Opie and Anthony show. You're listening to the worst of Opie and Anthony. I am Travis, and I am joined by Fan and Sam. (laughs) Don't do that into the mic. Uh, t- too loud. Yeah, it was mainly too loud. It was really, it really loud. hurt my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I was coughing quietly. That's why you're not supposed to do that into the mic, I guess. Yeah. Lesson learned. So, when we were picking these bits, and it finally got around to me, most of the Master Poe bits were taken. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> what happened there? I don't know. So I'm kind of getting the bottom of the barrel of the Master Poe bits. As long as they're all played in some form. Yes, I think they need, will be. We need to empty the barrel before the end of the week. Uh, Master Poe had a hurricane evacuation plan. <laughs> of course. <laughs> in place in case a hurricane were to hit New York City. <laughs> and for some reason we didn't have ample time to get out of the studio. And uh, here Steve uh, discusses the hurricane evacuation <laughs> plan with Master Poe in all of his retarded glory. It's an enjoyable bit. It certainly is. And it's on the worst of Opie and Anthony. Uh, Travis edition. The worst. It's the worst. Of the Opie and Anthony show. We got to get Martini Steve back in here because he interviewed our own Master Poe. Oh, right. This is hurricane related, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yes. I guess Master Poe was watching uh, some of the coverage and saw that this evacuation was a disaster and a lot of people died. And being in charge of uh, uh, people's lives here at the studio... Our lives are in Poe's hands at some points. You know? Do you know that? Yeah, I do. And if, uh, God forbid, a disaster like uh, Karina uh, swept across uh, Manhattan, what would we do? What would we do? 
He's not the brightest guy, I got to tell you. Jeez, old Pete. He just isn't. The other day, after the show, we had I had a meet with Barry Shapiro, my Jewish, basically, business accountant guy. I don't even know what he does for us. He's, I, I guess uh, he's just finance guy. Our finance guy. He figures it out where to funnel our money. Typical Jew, no hair. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Opie! Typical Jewish guy, no hair. Jeez. A paunch. Like, this guy wouldn't, couldn't hurt anyone. So, <laughs> sucked in gym class. Ah, I was the last guy chosen when he was picking an sides. Accounts. Yeah. Dude, I, next time I have a meeting with him, yeah. I'm going to record it because I swear to you it's another language that we don't know about yet. Yeah. He talks about stuff. I'm like, this is going on somewhere out there? There's all kinds like of he, financial things that he, he knows, tells us about. He, na- like, he knows the latest laws and rules, and yeah. and it's unbelievable. So he bored me to death for at least 45 minutes. It is boring as hell. I'll give you that. And, I dread his meeting. And I'm leaving with Barry, and as a joke, I walk by Master Poe, and I go, watch out for this guy. He throws a mean punch. Obviously, this guy right. d- doesn't even have a hint of muscle on him, okay? He's he's like a veal. Can't a lift veal his with, arm above his shoulder. He's a veal yeah. with a calculator. He stinks. <laughs> so the next day, I skate up. To Master Poe, who, you know, makes sure we're safe. And uh, Master Poe goes to me, hey, uh, that guy yesterday, uh, he throws a mean punch, huh? <laughs> like, Master it's, what? I, I couldn't believe you were buying that I was, I was serious. Here he comes. I go, who? I go, who? And he goes, the guy you were walking out with yesterday after the show. I'm like, Master Poe, that's Barry Shapiro, he, he he doesn't know how to punch or do anything. How you how do you buy how did you buy that? Well, I don't know his background. When you told me he throws a mean punch, you really can't underestimate anyone. Uh, he could anyone be, that's even right. Barry Shapiro. Barry he, Shapiro. He could be ninety pounds and knock someone out. Wow. There was a skinny guy that fought. I, I don't remember his name, but he fought Muhammad Ali and he knocked uh, Muhammad Ali down. But he was in the fight game Leon to begin Spanks. with. Well, yeah, this is true. Out of your <laughs> Barry Shapiro ain't hurting anyone. No, it's the, it's the martial art uh, mindset. Right. I Anyone's a threat. Anybody, anybody can That's be right. a threat. Look, Anyone's man. a threat, and he assesses everybody. But see, if you have that attitude, you'll never get to sleep at night. This guy obviously is not going to be a problem. Who says Poe sleeps at night? <laughs> <laughs> see him just sitting there. I'm going to figure out what the threat level is at any given moment. If Some people you could just look at and realize there's going to be no problem there. Well, sure. Let's be honest. I mean, Barry Shapiro. Is How not old is the guy? Fifty something. Dude, the guy oh, hasn't okay. done a. I don't think he's ever done a sit up. I don't think be a, there was a fifty year old accountant. Yeah, who knocked out yeah. Joe Frazier. <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to underestimate a fifty year old out of shape Jewish accountant. Yeah, I'm oh. with you, Bo. <laughs> it's on classic. Well, sports. he could have trained uh, for ten years before that. Who knows? Or when you he know was a what kid. It would be like Free- not, it would be like <laughs> saying that the remember the time to make the donuts guy from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> that's pretty much what this guy's threat level is if you just look at him. He kind of it's like that. You wouldn't think the time to make the donuts guy would be any type of threat. Okay, well Bernie gets he's skinny. As a matter of fact, he's probably skinnier than this guy. Well, someone skinny is is a different story maybe. Yeah, but this finger. guy isn't skinny. Yeah, it was that right. was all about, yeah. Yeah. He had a gun. Right. True. I was talking about Barry physically hurting somebody with a punch. I yeah, said he packs a, a mean punch. Right. Poe just sees it as all right. I'm gonna freeze it differently. Every martial artist out there will not underestimate their opponent. There you go. Free the cricket from uh, whackbag.com. Poe equals literal idiot. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> very brave through the internet. <laughs> so uh, Martini Steve is in yeah. the studio, and uh, you interviewed Master Poe. Well, yeah, we were <clears throat> we were talking about uh, the the potential for a hurricane to actually hit uh, Manhattan. And I wanted to know, you know, uh, what what the evacuation plan would be uh, if, God forbid, a hurricane hit while we were all in the building. Uh huh. So we're up here, quite a few feet off street level. Right. <laughs> um, also, by the way, we are on the highest point in Manhattan. <laughs> this is, you know, right where we are. Right. It's downhill 
anywhere you go. <laughs> it's like east side, west side, you're right. going downhill. Right. Uh I, I don't think we'd get the type of flooding here that we saw in New Orleans, which is below sea level. Well, you have to be prepared, and I just really wanted to hear what, what, what the plan Master might Poe be. Why is Master Poe giving you a look right now? <laughs> I don't What's know. What's wrong, Master Poe? Well, because we were having a, a discussion, and, and he was just asking me his advice, because he said his wife was nervous. Didn't know that he <laughs> so was being recorded. So you were recording me. I <laughs> yeah. certainly was. Oh, yeah. This was, a, yeah, Master Poe had no idea this we were going to. a gonna... scandal. <laughs> He didn't have an idea that we were taping this for the radio. Take a look at what I'm wearing, people. Do you think anybody wants a roundhouse kick to the face while I'm wearing these bad boys? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is it, Linda Tripp? <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's not exactly the most, the most, uh, the the easiest interview to conduct, considering the fact that you know I, I know full well that this place is well above sea level, and I'm, right. I'm not an idiot. We're five floors up. Yeah. Well, but, oh, but wait a second. takes everything seriously. Right. And you said that you wanted to leave. I mean, you're talking evacuation. Now, how would we evacuate? I think the safest place would be just to stay put here. Right. We'd probably stay on the air and just have a little fun. That's right. If there was a hurricane, we couldn't leave. I think. Well, uh, what happens if, if the power goes out? And all a right, now the power goes out. Right. Auxiliary power kicks on. We're back on the air. <laughs> do we have auxiliary power? Of course we do. Everyone does in New York. Have you ever been in a completely blacked out building? I certainly have. I was stuck at uh, it was stuck, stuck where? at NEW, uh, the last blackout, and there's no auxiliary power there. So that sucks. Were you stuck in the elevator? Uh, no, fortunately. Stuck in the staircase, <laughs> so you could just walk down. When we did. We did, but you know, but it's but you're walking down. How many flights down was that? Nine. I don't you have know. to follow Earl's Ooh, eyes whole and nine things. stories to get to freedom. Oh no, I'm not. You know, but he, you, he asked. But Smile, there's no, there's no Earl, generators. Light the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so uh, Steve interviewed Master Poe, and we got some audio. Master Poe had no idea we were interviewing him. Thank you. Apparently, I'm supposed to get with you about an evacuation plan. I'm sorry. What? No, I mean, there's apparently a. a I guess I guess there's actually Steve, you're the biggest pussy. What? I, I can hear that you're nervous. No, I'm trying not to crack up. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Nice. I don't I'm not afraid of what Poe's gonna do if he happens to get angry and, you know, knock my head off. You kinda have a nervousness to your voice, like, oh god, I hope I don't piss him off. No, no, no. It's oh god, I hope I don't crack up. Alright, alright. There's apparently a uh I guess I guess there's that because he's like slamming things around like oh, no I yeah. die. he can I never hope this inf- goes okay he uh... can never infiltrate the mob <laughs> right they find the exactly. wire in like two <laughs> seconds yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly he's even a little nervous <laughs> from his voice you can tell something's <laughs> up already he's right. he's like, he's like... I am <laughs> I am trying to the desperately pouring off his yeah, forehead desperately <laughs> trying to maintain my composure while asking questions without <laughs> bursting into fucking laughter you're right Steve. Uh, no, I'm not wearing a wire. <laughs> just loses it immediately. I'm just a little wired. I mean, t- uh, <laughs> right. listen how natural Steve comes across. Thank you. Apparently, I'm supposed to get with you about an evacuation plan. I'm sorry. What? No, I mean, there's it sounds like what? A, no. Uh huh. Sounds like it's written like bad acting. Like <laughs> right. They're reading a script. Apparently, I'm uh-huh. supposed to. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Apparently, I'm supposed to get with you about an evacuation plan. Uh, I'm sorry. What? No, I mean, there's apparently a. Uh, uh, I guess. I guess there's actually now concern of this hurricane. I just get f- <laughs> oh fuck! You kidding me? What are they saying? If when is it hitting? If in the event that it hits this area, what is the? I guess. Uh. I guess, what would your recommendation... Holy shit! <laughs> oh, that is not a guy that thinks he's going to crack up. Uh, uh, that's not a guy that's going to crack up at any moment. trying to think how to phrase it. Yeah, I'm really just trying to think how to phrase it, because I walked into this cold. I'm not buying it. <laughs> what, you think I I'm just, afraid? You I, honestly think I'm frightened? I no. think you're frightened. I'm sorry. Bill? Inactive. Frightened or is... I don't know. It sounds like uh, bad soap opera <laughs> acting. I think he, yeah, that's what I think it is. Yeah. It's just bad acting. Yeah, and horrible acting. And the fact acting. that maybe he's a little shook up that th- this is being recorded. <laughs> right. Yeah. And he knows that his side is going to be on this also. So yeah. he's got to perform well. Maybe he'll be I, well I, getting I, made I, fun I, of I would, I, I, would, I, I would agree with Anthony on that <laughs> one. It's, it's, it's ba- I, would, I would totally fess up to bad acting and totally fess up to knowing it was being recorded. <laughs> well, <laughs> Poe, you've come back. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> 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 a string of Pelopanese. It's <laughs> <laughs> awful acting. It's really bad. 
uh, I guess, what would your recommendation <laughs> be for an evacuation plan to get everybody out of here? Okay. Um, First, we have to find out when is it going to hit. I would assume. And six hours before it hits, oh. we're out of here. Okay. Not one hour before it hits. Six what? hours before it hits. Now, okay. okay. Why six hours? What would that time frame allow? Well, I was involved with um, Hurricane Floyd, and I you stayed. Kicked his ass, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we we Drop stayed. Kick right to the <laughs> eye. Yeah. <laughs> care of that problem. No, we stayed in the house and we tried to fight this hurricane, and that was stupid. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the best thing for you to do is to get rid of your or. or Take your clothing, your electronics. Well, we'll listen to the tape. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. just want to know why the six hours. That's all. Because six hours off give you time. also sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> like, then you're out of the building on a crowded, evacuating road as the storm hits. All right, let's I listen. I don't know. Let's I, listen. Uh, who am I to say? Yeah. Well, he's sitting next okay. to me. Because if anybody has ever experienced being in a hurricane, right. it's one of the worst things ever. Now, you guys were up on top of this building, and... Yeah. And, you know, if, we're, if we stay here, most likely nothing's going to happen. However, depending on where we live, we may have to p do some preparations in our homes. Okay. Make some preparations. I know I will definitely have to make right. some preparations. All right. So far, so good. Fairly normal. We'll move on here. If by chance that we are hit by a hurricane, let's say now. Yeah. And the best thing for us to do... It's to stay here. Stay here? Well, it's too late. The hurricane hit us. If it's that bad... Oh, I see what you're saying. Because you know what's going to happen is you're getting... Okay, you, you won't be able to get a taxi. You won't be able to get a train. And it'll be difficult for you to get out, out of New York City. So Anthony will not... It's going to take him four and a half hours to get home. Hmm. So that's why we have to stay watch of this hurricane. If by chance the hurricane is going to hit us, then we have to be ahead of it. If the hurricane is going to hit us at 2 o'clock then we have to get out of here three, four hours, preferably, ahead of time. How yeah. much time for a slowy cane, though? Because <laughs> <laughs> I would assume you got more time. No, that was, that was wrong. That was wrong. If, if the hurricane's going to hit, just let's stay home. <laughs> stay home. <laughs> stay home. <laughs> We'd have enough so advance notice. Have you notice. done any research on this shit, or he just came in and asked the question, and you just went with it? No, I was hit by a hurricane. I was hit by a hurricane very bad. I lost my home in 99 we got a comedian coming up this weekend <laughs> this and now life. the oh. funny <laughs> but but when steve asked you it's pretty much cold you didn't know that you were going into this meeting to discuss evacuation no, right? he said his wife was concerned yeah all right let's uh continue listening here yeah, hurricane liver cirrhosis maybe she'd be concerned <laughs> with. <but. laughs> like you know say it's seven o'clock in the morning and we get you know a heads up Guys, get out of Dodge. Go now. What okay. do we do? How do we get open at home? How do we get? What we should have. What we should have outside. Oh, okay, Anthony is going to be driving home himself. I would assume. I don't know. Opie is probably going to need uh, to be driven home. He's not going to take a, a taxi or, or roller rollerblade. I mean, if, if the hurricane is that bad, mm -hmm. then we would take him home. Oh, look at that. You got taken home. I would just let the hurricane blow me home. <laughs> don't, have use, don't have to use my uh, legs when I'm rollerblading. You could put on your blades and the breeze uh, would whisk you home. <laughs> whisk me home. Really <laughs> nice and fast. I guess the question is, let's, God forbid, if we're all stuck here for... Okay. Let's say we're all stuck in this... What we, should, what we should do is have provisions. We should have our flashlights. We should have our food. We should definitely have our water. Mm -hmm. And we should have extra amount of that. Now, honestly, if the hurricane is that bad, we can see it on television. We say, okay, well, guess what, guys? We shouldn't be here. It's going to hit New York City this date. Mm -hmm. Do not be here because this is going to be a deadlock. Mm. You won't be able to get in and out of the city. 9-11, same thing. You couldn't get in and out of the city. Right, right, right. And, and the problem is that, okay, you have a hurricane, so now you have wind. If it, is it a tropical storm? The water's coming down so hard. You're driving, and then you, you, you stopped because the rain is coming down so hard, people can't even see, see in front of them. 
That's how bad it gets. <laughs> Painting quite the picture. Can you, someone had to really get in some feedback. About, I, basically, uh, something about Steve asking Master Bone to talk louder into his lapel. <laughs> 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 I don't know the exact word. <laughs> Just the worst fucking guy. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. I want to have them answered immediately. <laughs> Excuse me, can you talk louder? <laughs> yeah, posthorrors.net. Uh, Clark, Master Poe, could you say that a little louder and say that might look bell? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line, bro. Poe's got a very dramatic delivery, though. He's very, he's very intense. <laughs> he painted this horrific picture. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that uh, Day After Tomorrow movie. Yeah, exactly. He's painting. <laughs> right, let's continue. So you're talking about barricading everybody in this place for a period of maybe several days. Oh, my God. What kind of hurricane are we talking about? I don't know. I'm at, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm if not, you're I'm, talking about a, 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 a severe, drastic hurricane that's coming in... First of all, why be here? Right. You know why? Because the only reason why we're here is to do a show. Well, guess what? We won't have any electricity. Oh. <laughs> Great <laughs> answer, yeah. Steve. I'm, I, I, I answer. can hear myself scrolling through the phone as I'm as, as I'm answering this. We won't have any electricity. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Yeah, you're really good at how you keep leading Poe to like other areas. I'm <laughs> terrible. Where the comedy can keep I coming. I am terrible. But you know what? You have to understand that I'm the only person in the in in the building at that point who's not going to lose his mind laughing. The option was me or Ben. <laughs> <laughs> that was the choice. When you when you when you throw those two in the mix, I think I was immediately elected. All right, more. Mm. Yeah, good point. Imagine no electricity, no computer ability, no access at all. Do you know what's going to happen here? Chaos. Either Opie and Anthony is going to make us all laugh, and Jimmy, well, Jimmy's not going to be here, but Opie and Anthony is going to make us laugh, or they're going to go crazy, and they're going to drive us crazy. <laughs> maybe, may, maybe we can count on them to be entertaining, but who knows? <laughs> Good one, Steve. You're welcome. You get that one from Eric Logan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a couple more clips here. We're, we've already talked about how to get open and home, blah, 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 blah. What about you got interns that are coming from Staten Island, Jersey? How would they get home? We're talking about four kids who are going to have... Staten Island will be covered with water, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> a tidal wave will wash over them, destroying the island. <laughs> I love the drama in Poe's yeah. voice. <laughs> very, very melodramatic delivery. Staten Island, write it off, kids. It's gone. <laughs> Four kids who are going to have frightened parents at home. And I'm assuming we're responsible for them. Of course. <laughs> okay, so if we're responsible for them, then either A, they stay here with, with grown-up adults that can handle the situation, or... Where? Where are they? As opposed to those childlike <laughs> they adults. They get taken home. Um, but if we're worried about taking them home, and Anthony's going to be spending six hours getting home, getting to Long Island... Well, like I said, if it's going to be that bad, Anthony shouldn't come in. Right, right. If it gets that bad, then no one should be coming in. Right. Give me the day off. Hey, we got some great instant feedback coming in. Rich from Allentown. If the hurricane floods, uh, floods, Anthony is screwed. He will not have any shoes from his shoelaces being wet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chris, from, away. Chris from Dallas, Texas. Hmm. Being trapped in an office with Steve <laughs> the Bear and no food. Make sure you keep the cameras rolling, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and Jimmy from Whackbag.com, Steve would hover above the water in his hybrid. Certainly would. All right. One more clip here. Steve and Master Poe talking about an evacuation plan. Or maybe not. Nope. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, here we go. All right, say you've got these kids... Let's say, let's say, God forbid, this fucking hurricane, we're all dumb enough to come in. He's getting this tough on him now. Yeah. yeah. Where do we take, do you, do you have the ability to house any of these kids? Would, would you feel comfortable enough taking any, any, any of these kids home? My place is big. If, if, um, is it fixed up enough? Yeah, there's plenty of room. They'll just sleep with the dogs. With the dogs? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Jesus Christ, Paul. <laughs> Cruel fuck. Um, no. And then. I mean, shit. There's providing, providing you, you could get out. 
could you take kids home? I don't know why you're smiling because let me tell you, this was a horror for me, man. I just, I'm tired. I really, I, I hate having these fucking conversations. Because oh. I really do. I'm, I fucking hate it. This, yeah. is, this is what you call a nightmare. All right? And you're smiling, and I don't know why you're smiling. This was a nightmare. <laughs> All right. He okay. shot in the head this in a second. <laughs> this destroys homes, this destroys family. You know what's making this bit better? The listeners. Uh, Brian from posthors.net. Oh, yeah, you guys are just going to be sitting there telling jokes to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you kidding? Hope's going to be killing people for sport, and Anthony will be in the corner washing his hands for hours on end. <laughs> 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 it goes on and on. And 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 while this is going on, I have I have uh, Ben and Wicklin in the other office, uh, and Don in the other room, yeah. phoning in questions. Oh, really? So I'm picking up the phone, thinking it's somebody else, and I'm playing it off, but it's Don and, and Ben in the other room phoning in questions. All right. Well, there you have it, Master Poe's uh, evacuation plan, courtesy of uh, courtesy of Steve. Wow. Very good, guys. Well, at least Thanks. we're all safe. Yeah, <laughs> and he God did know, that. you know, stay home. We would you stay guys. home. <laughs> Thanks, Master Poe. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, that was that was riveting. Yeah, wasn't it? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> hey, guys, this is Master Poe. You're listening to the worst of Master Poe. It's the worst. The worst. We'll be back with more of the worst of Opie and Anthony, featuring Travis. <laughs> of Opie and Anthony. The worst. It's the worst. It's the worst of Opie and Anthony. The worst. With Travis. Holy mackerel, am I enjoying that radio program. You're listening to the worst of Opie and Anthony. Uh, my name is Travis, and Fan and Sam are along uh, in the studio. Uh, just keep going with it. It's All right. Good. Hey, Jim Norton's one of the guys on the show. And we had a copy of Cosmopolitan magazine lying around. Oh, man. What? I'm excited. To, <laughs> sometimes you just say stuff because I can hear you finishing a sentence, and I'm just kind of leading you to the next thing. I like when you lead me. All we right. don't have to halt everything every time a sound <laughs> is made. <laughs> yeah. He sounded sad. Oh, okay. All right. Why? Sorry. Why? Why did he sound <laughs> sad? <laughs> I see what you're doing there. Yeah, there you go. That was All a right. test. You failed. All right. Jim answers some advice. From the advice column in Cosmopolitan Magazine. Hold oh, it. Man. On the worst of Opie and Anthony. Stop. It's the worst. worst. Of the Opie and Anthony show. All right, here we go. Uh, Cosmopolitan. Ask him anything. Advice from our guy guru, Jonathan Small. Oh. But instead of uh, reading the answers from Jonathan Small, we'll have Jimmy answer these questions. Okay. Well, All right. Well, let's just give it a shot, see what happens. You never know. That's the beauty of this show. Maybe we'll fall on our asses. We don't know. All right, the question for this guy. I've been hooking up, it's a chick, obviously, uh, talking here. I've been hooking up with this guy for months, but he said he doesn't have time for a relationship. Then he saw me flirting with another guy and told me that he doesn't want me hooking up with, with other people. Does he have feelings for me? Um, hmm. yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did a spit take. <laughs> oh, simple but but effective. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, let's try the next one. All right, all right, all right. good. <laughs> Let it, let's let's go. A few weeks ago, it's a chick talking. Okay. A few weeks ago, I was having family problems, and it made me super emotional. Mm. During this time, my boyfriend and I had sex, and right before my orgasm, I burst into tears. He was really sweet, but ever since then, we haven't had sex. When I try to get him into bed, he tells me he's not in the mood. How can I get him to sleep with me again? Mm. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Short and sweet. Jimmy is truly an answer man. We got another benchmark bit. Developing right in front of our eyes. I love it. <laughs> All right. How about this? My guy is great. Ooh. I could I could hear the promos already, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, why did I do this to myself? It's a trick talk. <clears throat> but, of course, they'll edit that part out of it when you hear the promo. My guy is great, but he's super hairy. I'd love to ask him to wax his back, but I don't want to hurt his feelings. What do I do? Crash his website. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Cross the terminals on his car battery. <laughs> <laughs> I was in drive. I went backwards. Yes. <laughs> Feed him two M and M's and then watch him vomit for a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> Old garbanzo bean belly. <laughs> Kick that fucking stomach of his. <laughs> it's amazing because he has the, oh. you know the stapled stomach. He still has enough nutrition going in there to have a hairy back. <laughs> really, it's amazing. You would, you would think something would suffer. I can't uh, like figure it, it that wouldn't have enough. Out. It wouldn't have enough energy in your body to keep the hair growing. He really is a fucking just a Lebanese ass. Holy crap! <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so full. I had a jawbreaker for lunch. <laughs> Here's another one for Jimmy. If a guy gives you his number but doesn't ask for yours, is he not interested? Hmm. Hmm. There's a chick talking, obviously. Um, chick talking. If a guy gives you his number but doesn't here. ask for yours, is he not interested? Not necessarily. <laughs> wow. You're really pumping out those helpful answers. Yeah, I mean, I mean you ask, I answer. I really would. I, I like thinking about that. Guy gives the number, doesn't ask for hers. Is it overconfidence or lack of confidence there? Maybe it's... um. Um, maybe he doesn't have a phone. <laughs> but he gave her the number. That's the beauty of it. All right, here we go. <laughs> the final. The final. I, no, I, I think that's just saying. Look, if 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 you want to call me, <laughs> yeah. call me. If not, I'll I'll hunt you down and kill you. It's a way to be rejected um, without having to look her in the. Or place. not put the pressure on her. It's like, hey, if you're interested, here's my my number. I'm interested. Yeah. And if you're not, you're not. Mm -hmm. Final question. This is a, a chick talking. I've been with my guy for months, and I'm really attracted to him, but he always pulls these weird seduction moves that really turn me off. For example, sometimes he'll do a little strip tease that reminds me of of skeevy male strippers. <laughs> it's so dorky. How can I tell him to stop? Just say, Hawk, stop it. <laughs> Swift kick in the ball sack. Or, or how about the next time he starts to strip, lay him on his back and shit in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like Pavlov's dog, he'll stop dancing, yeah. knowing that that shit is coming. I want to show you what I think of your little dance. It's the second big shit joke I did today. I really am limited. Don't want to dance. Well, I think that was uh, wonderful, Jimmy. Thank hey, you. Oh, I think you helped a lot of people out out insightful. there. Insightful, yeah. It's not insightful. making people laugh, but it's about helping. It's the worst. It's the worst. Of Opie and Anthony. Featuring Travis. It's the worst. He's reached his potential. This is as far as he can <laughs> this go. This is it. It's the worst of the Opie and Anthony show. So this next bit here on the worst of Opie and Anthony, staff picks Travis edition. Right. Um, the staff uh, picks Travis. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this is the... Uh, the bit where the term no homo was coined. Mm. I think. Don't quote me on that. But this is a uh, intern Bobby no homo. And I think he brought this Hey, Sam, phrase. you hear what Travis said? What? He said he what personally doing? thought of no homo. And it's in this bit. I didn't say that. Jesus Christ, Travis. Why don't you take credit for everything? I said intern Bobby came up with it. I was just quoting him. Yeah. No, don't quote me on that. That's a funny bit. I'm excited that you picked this it. This is a funny bit. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Intern Bobby explains what no homo is. Here on the worst of Opie and Anthony, Travis edition. <laughs> I think. Sorry, I'm laughing. We also get gay chicken. I believe is <laughs> <laughs> another product of this. I think you're right. All right. This is a good bit. I picked good bits. Mm -hmm. Opie and Anthony, worst of. It's the worst. Worst of the Opie and Anthony show. Oh. What's up, Bobby? Yeah, I loved you. By the way, I loved you in the Babe Ruth story. Good. Uh, <laughs> if it's if you do something gay and you call no homo, it's not gay. If you call no homo, mm -hmm. are those are the rules now? That's a rule. You could call no homo. So and you could do anything. And example? As as you say, so you could suck a guy's cock and say no homo? No you could homo. say, I'll suck no your dick, homo. no homo. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, but, really? but you're a homo. Yeah. What, what uncle convinced you that that was true? <laughs> yeah, the words. <laughs> exactly. Just say no homo. No homo and it's not That's gay. Right. Well, growing up, that you always heard, like, you know, if you did something that was, like, kind of faggy, you could always just say no homo beforehand and it kind of gets you off the hook a little Example. Bit. Uh, like, as a joke, like, I, if my friends are talking to a girl, I I'll just come up and kiss them on the shoulder, like, centrally, and, you know, you call no homo afterwards, and it's all cool. Know what I love about that story? He wasn't kissing on the shoulder. He nope. changed it for the radio. Where yeah. were you kissing? Where were you kissing? No, you kiss, <laughs> kiss him right here, like, just nice, like, one of those, soft. That it's is really, it, like, gay, though. It's yeah. kind of funny, though. Never. No. 
Do you taste the musky man sweat on, on him when you do that no, on you your lips? No, you try not to taste. You Does just it make, linger mostly, there long enough? It's mostly about the sound it makes because it yeah. makes it a nice little smacking sound. All right, kiss Jimmy on the uh, the shoulder. Let's we'll see how this would work. I, I, I prefer not to. <laughs> no, he really, I prefer it. No, he really wants to see how this works. Just kiss him on the shoulder. No. It'll, it'll be okay. He, he's he's he, playing up for just radio. call no homo. Yeah, no homo, Jimmy. It's it's not it's not gay. No, I would yell go homo <laughs> because that's what you'd have to do. Leave. <laughs> go homo. <laughs> All right, thanks, Bobby. That was terrific. Well, this yeah. guy, I want another example. Uh, I know there's another one. No. You don't just yell out once in your, your teenage life. All right, if, you know, I fuck with my friends, I, like, they're walking on the block, I'll just, like, grab the pot, like, under their ass, and, like, did you shit your pants? And, like, you call no home on that. Wait, you would grab, like, his taint? <laughs> well, not really grab it, just, like, put your hand there and go, you know, did you shit your pants? Put bro? your hand, like, like, slide your hand in... Under well, his a- I'm not ass. fingering him. I'm not getting No, I, I understand, but you would slide your hand. How far would your hand go? Uh, like to the balls? Not no. You don't you don't grab balls. It's just like the ass. Like the I know you ass. don't grab. I'm just saying you would slide. They're walking. You would slide your hand. Well, if you get, sh- I've done it to Sean before. If you get Sean, just make him walk this by. Piece of shit did it to me too. Holy shit! He thinks. I'm the guy that you get to do your little gay tricks to. <laughs> Did he say no homo? No, he didn't even say no homo. So he really just wanted to touch my ass. Let's get Sean in here. I want to see this because I'm not grasping what's going on. Yeah, Thank you for bringing another volunteer. How show. far that'll that'll go? It's not going to be entertaining all set up. So you ah, can get it doesn't that. matter. It's not just, for entertainment. It's for, it's just for... act. Make like you're just doing it naturally. It was completely under. Un- Wait, what did he do to you, Nathaniel? He did this trick. What he, is it? <clears throat> like he goes in the pants. He, What's the trick? It, it apparently, uh, he just touches sort of the slack in your pants in the back, if you have some, if you're lucky enough to have some, and because if you don't, it's your ass, and then says, did you shit your pants? So he would he would walk by. Oh, God. Yeah. So stand up. You got to stand up. Stand up. Fluff it up a little bit. Walk by. Just come this way. Stay there. Walk by. Uh, Like you just come up behind and go, bro, do you shoot your pants and you just put your hand right there? Oh, my God. You are good. Dude, this guy is the biggest faggot. I didn't see it. Right up his butt crack. You swiped from his taint up to his butt crack. I didn't really feel anything. Like, I'm not grabbing balls at all. That's sexual harassment. Dude, the first that's how I was felt, here. To be honest, what? Travis, get in here! I have a trick. <laughs> <laughs> the, the first week I was here, I was trying to take a piss in the bathroom, and he comes up behind me and starts grabbing my ass and kissing me on the shoulder and shit. Dude, you are so <laughs> gay. Faggot, no are homo. you realizing this? Wait, it's no homo. It's no homo. Yeah. Did he having... say no homo? No, that's no, not no, that... So it was real it's, homo. It's all homo. He says the no homo thing. He brings that up. <laughs> but in any of these cases, he's never used no homo. Bro, you ever grab a cock and lick it and laugh? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's all right. It's, it's fine. You just say, so what? You like men. Wait, and, you... and you guys don't even know each other? And after your, your first week the here? The first week I was here. Jesus. And now this could become like a daily thing. He gropes me. He's exaggerating. He's whoa, exaggerating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he groping you, son? Yeah. What, what else has he done to you, Sean? You know, like, if you're sitting there, he'll just grab your dick real quick and walk Stop. away. Stop. Don't that, tell me you haven't done that. That's man. ridiculous. You now done you're that every ridic- time on the computer. Now you're being I'm ridiculous. I'm on the computer and you grab my dick. That's and you being walk ridiculous. Away. Wait, you grabbed. He's being. <laughs> rid- <laughs> you're being. Ri- that's Dude. totally ridiculous. You have done it like Dude, five that's times. That's ridiculous. Whatever. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Wait, hold on at the now. Computer. Yeah, I'm is he a big at boy? Computer and he just I like comes like he doesn't like take a hold of it, but he, he you know touches it a little and leaves. <laughs> 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 the hell's going on here? After he's really good. I think he's exaggerating. I'm gonna be honest. Have you touched this uh, package in any way? Dude, don't the lie. Front of his pants. Don't lie. No, I didn't touch the front of his pants. Well, no. what happened, Sean? That's exactly what happened. He touched my pants. He like raised it and. Ooh. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you hot there. But. Nathaniel, what'd you do? Because, I, I mean... Yeah, you're yeah. not quite the kind when of guy that no really homo- puts up with that When he played no homo with you, what'd you do? Um, when he played I, that I, gay no homo thing. I I quite literally turned around and said, don't ever fucking touch me again. I, I screamed. I really yelled. I made a scene. Wow. I, cause I, I Why did you what... say, hey, you masher? <laughs> <laughs> this man's annoying me, officer. <laughs> masher. Wait, walk us... <laughs> I hear that's what you're supposed to do. Make us <laughs> Wait, walk us. Blow your whistle. Hit him with your pocketbook. <laughs> Masher. Walk us through. What, how did this go down? I was, I don't know, standing amongst the cubicles and talking to Travis, you know, about work, I'm sure. And uh, he comes up behind me and says, did you shit your pants whilst touching me? 
fucking feel like I'm in therapy. Holy <laughs> shit! That makes it sound me. really gay, though. It really yeah, is not supposed to be exactly. gay. Exactly. No. I'm sorry. Paint it the the hot straight way, <laughs> <laughs> the funny way. How? D- it's a great way for a gay guy to try to find other gay guys right. in a work environment. Right. Yeah, you're trolling. You're trolling. Have you done for it to Steve? Guys. No, I, of course I, not. I bet you can't keep your hands off of Ben's though. That that fucking cock has got to be oh. begging to be grazed. <laughs> wow, it's got to freaking ride it like one of those banana boat rides when you go down the Caribbean. Now, why wouldn't you do it? To, why would you do it to certain people but not others? Is it that you find others more uh, attractive for it's, this? It's not something I it's, think about. It's like it's like stupid bullshit. Me and friends of mine doing school, like just joking around. But like, why wouldn't you do it to Steve? I don't. I, I never really thought about it. I'm gonna be honest. So, well, well, how many times have you touched Sean's cock? <laughs> so it's not a big deal. We're all friends. I I never touch Sean. How many times have you grazed the area? I've never. It sounds. I never That's grazed bullshit, the area. Man. It's bullshit. He's You've done it at least five times. At least five. I count it every night. No, he every plays time. no. Why not play no hetero? You can have a little more fun playing no hetero. Never with, thought with about chicks. that way. Yeah, grab their tits and yell no rape. Although it turns out you're just no hetero. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, what would you do if he did that to you? If he came up behind you beat and the ever loving shit out of him yeah, yeah. he'd yeah. come immediately <laughs> I, what, what was that no, I'm sorry I, no you can repeat it I, won't I didn't say you. anything no he didn't say anything we were just laughing I said he'd, he'd beat the shit out of him yeah. Yeah. alright yeah. okay. anyone else been touched or groped not me yet so Nathan what did you do after that I was kind of distracted I just, I just yelled like a a girl a woman in a subway yes and then you had a mash. <laughs> you masher Nathaniel went home and took a Brillo pad shower <laughs> Ooh. That's violation. Yeah. And I, I think, I mean, to do it to Sean's one thing, because he's of your station. But uh, I, was, I was annoyed that you were that comfortable that you could do that I, to me. I realized that afterwards. That, um, I, Just oh, I in realized, time, yeah. asshole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Than is saying that you don't mind, like you understand why he would want to graze the other intern. Yeah. But when it comes to the employees. Hands yeah. off. Hands off, pal. You, you don't touch Bill? the merchandise. Where's Bill? <laughs> Oh. Damn it! He is did it what? true you kissed Bill on the shoulder on Friday? Well, yeah, that's the. Oh, he that's did that to me a bunch gay. of times too. How many's a bunch? Like, it, like in the elevator, like in the elevator this morning, there was a guy in a business suit, so I just went, "Hey," and I, like I just smooched him on the shoulder. Do you yeah. understand that no one wants Smooch? to play? And one time, you're the only one that's into the is gay. gay enough. One time to do the joke is is gay enough. To do it repeatedly is so gay. No matter how many times you say no gay, so gay. I'm not gay, so I, you know, I guess. How long, what, how long, how old were you when you first, when you and your friend just kind of masturbated together and kind of like laughed it off after? Don't lie. I, I, eh, no, we never, don't we never lie. I never, yes, had, I never had a homosexual experience. That's not true. Per se, per se. <laughs> you grabbed my cock, that's not a homosexual experience. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, around this office, you're known as a slut at this point. Sounds like last night's episode of The Sopranos. Here's uh, Bill. Oh. Here's Bill, the intern. Bill. Hey, what's going on? How do you do? Bill, did uh, Bobby kiss you on the shoulder on Friday? Did he? I don't think he did. I don't remember this. I don't remember Friday, to be honest. <laughs> he just doesn't remember the entire day of Friday. Like a hell of a no, I, I don't, uh, if he did, I didn't notice it. So he's never played uh, no homo with you? No. I guess he plays no homo with everybody around here. Oh, does he? Oh, I hear him say stuff to people that sounds kind of gay. and Like what? Um, all the way he talks to little John. Who's little John? This other guy. Oh, John with the short arms? No. No, no John's the other kid. Um, Brock's the camera. camera. No, no, no. no. The camera. You the anime camera. hair. We have no idea. Oh, uh, child, child actor. star. Child, child actor. star that's yeah. grown up. Oh, oh yeah. You, you like he's him. He's the one I'd go after. Well, I tell him I'd hold him down and fuck him because he's a, he's so cute. But it's not serious. I'm not going to really hold him down and fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> you grabbed Nathaniel's ass. You want to hold that boy down and fuck him. You kissed Bill's shoulder. And you've, you've kissed Sean's shoulder, grabbed his ass, and, ki- and, and touched his cock area. So apparently I would like Sean the best if, uh, yeah, according I guess I'm to your winner. description. <laughs> wow. How old were you when you first mutually masturbated with another boy? I never mutually masturbated with someone. I I, I promise that that a hundred percent. Bill, what have you heard? Well, um, I'm not going to say I'll write what I've heard, but tell. Well, Bob has some stories about when he was uh, watching porn with friends, though. All right, you were watching porn with your friends, and what, what happened? You rubbed it through your pants. You, I've watched porn with my friends before, and you know you want you know did you watch porn with your friends? 
and then one friend, one a goes, friend, one goes to the bathroom, jerks off, and you know that's what happens. And then the other one does. Yeah, it's you'll like, take turns. That's what ha- you know. Stop that was watch. had to be seventh, eighth grade like that. I don't know. Bill, yeah. is that the story? Yeah, it sounds about right. Sounds about right. <laughs> Bill, you rock. Hold on, man. We got John. John, the other intern. John. Hey, what's going on, guys? Former child star. What's up? Hey, um, on Friday, Bobby pulled the uh, you shit your pants <clears throat> on me, as well as multiple kisses on the uh, shoulder. So let's just say it's been uncomfortable the last couple of days there. <clears throat> Holy shit, who knew this was going on? Who knew all this cock was being slung around the office the minute we walk out? <laughs> I don't know how to quit you. He's a fag. <laughs> and how did that make you feel, John? Uh, not very well. I've been uh, looking at Bobby like a total faggot he is the last couple of days. Oh, you like that, don't you, faggot? Wow, who saw this coming? And he was brave enough to do it to Nathaniel. He's kissed my shoulder, too. <laughs> he did? Well, wait a minute. Yeah. You're a little tall to be a victim. <laughs> You're a fucking yeah. jujitsu guy. What's wrong with you? Well, I don't really know if it merits beating the shit Yeah, Nathaniel should have kicked him like Matthew Sh- Shepard. You should have played no spleen with him. <laughs> Nothing. That was, yeah. No, I'm, I'm thinking about Nathaniel. Uh, actually, uh, are you Bobby, saying I'm inviting this, Jim? Like I'm a, saying that you're like the woman yeah. in the office who just didn't want to cause trouble. You're asking for it the way you dress. Yeah, yeah. I think you're dressing a little too sexy yeah, lately, Nathaniel. Showing you, you come in here after that fat smash diet, showing off your svelte body. Who didn't want to touch it? <laughs> All right. Well. Wow. Man. Everyone's very uncomfortable with Bobby and his no homo game. Yeah. Oh, he didn't, he never said no homo once to me. Well, of course no. he would. Well, some. He just came up with that today. I guess he'll explain everything. I never heard yeah. no homo before. He did. That was a preemptive yeah. strike. He did. Just kind of try to uh, make it all better before all this came out. If you had to sleep with one of the other guys, which one would it be? I wouldn't sleep with a guy. If you had to. I, I wouldn't. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you had to. Oh, come on. I don't know how to play this John. game. I yes, you do. Dude, it's the oldest radio bit in the world. Wouldn't sleep with the guy. If you, yeah, if you had to if pick one. If you had one. to. Well, I wouldn't. And that's not an acceptable me. answer. You're on the air. If you had I un- to. I understand that, and that's why I'm not going to you know, have to pick one. I would not. All right, Who's your favorite guy around the office to pull that did you shit your pants on? It's not something that, like, I, all right, look, I want to go after this guy. It's just, it's. I don't think about it like But that. who's your favorite? Who have you had the most fun kissing on the shoulder and touching their ass? It's not a ass? fun thing to do it. I don't get an excitement of doing it. I think it's funny so why when other you, people why see it. Why do you do it? it? Because other people see it, and they think it's uncomfortable, and I just laugh. It's like a little... So you think it's fun? I think it's funny. So who is it the most fun with? The most funny to do it It doesn't with. matter. It's it, they're all the sa- It's all the same thing. Who have you enjoyed it the most with? I didn't enjoy with anyone. That's not true. You it's wouldn't do it to everyone. Obviously, you didn't do it to Steve, so you know that wouldn't be fun. Well, I Fan? Guess, well, I wouldn't Probably kiss, not as fun. I wouldn't kiss Steve on the shoulder. He doesn't wear sleeves. But... But now I'm thinking you touched him more than probably anybody, so it's more fun. Well, ma- he's around me the most, so that's you know it's just he's just near me the most. What are you gonna say, Danny? Well, I was just gonna say that he's never he's never even come close to doing any of this shit with me, so that's it's p- obvious that Bobby has favorites of, of who he likes to pull. Danny's off. hurt. <laughs> I am <laughs> hurt. God damn it! I have good cheeks. Danny is hurt. Well, another thing is, they're, like, Danny and Travis, they're always running around during the show, so I don't have a lot of contact so, with them. They're in the... So I'm idle. And, and well, no. So I'm gay and idle. Thank you. <laughs> but, the, yeah. <laughs> Fan, that faggot that just stands around and does nothing. Yeah. Asking for it. It's not what I meant, but usually I'm in contact with the interns more, obviously, so... Yeah. Sure. In close contact, yeah, apparently. apparently. Yeah. Don't play no homo with us. Sean, how many times has he grazed your cock at <sighs> I would have to say at least five. Now where, where, how does he graze your cock? What are you doing with this? I, I, I am having trouble like, picturing this. So I'm asking. Like, I'm not gonna touch his cock. No, don't touch his cock. Just, just tell us. Like, if, if I'm him and I walk and he walks by, he just comes out, he goes like that, and walks away. Like, a little okay. snatch yeah. of yeah. the cock. He'll reach his hand in when you're sitting. Yeah. And kind of just grab and your and cock. Give a quick exactly. grab and yeah. then leave. How would I do it while you were sitting? You wouldn't defend against it, obviously. He like, was sit- sitting down. And I, I can't came, see you. But it looks like you come up behind. Yeah. Is that what used to? And then. Just grab real quick. And then run away. And you wouldn't... And then you keep walking like nothing happened. I don't know. I, I have a problem with... What do I come over your shoulder? Like, I'm trying to figure... I'm trying to figure this out myself. Dude. I'm trying to plan it. Yeah, well, I know. You can just go like that. It's really... Oh, yeah? And you wouldn't... You just go you like that and I wouldn't be able to grab you. Try to do it to me and I bet you I could, you know... Try to, try, to try to do it to me. Try to do it to you. 
Not like, you not just like, asked him to grab your cock. Yeah, no, try to just, do it to me, and I'll look, see. Look, yeah, he's just begging for but it. You can't Oops, do it you got me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try again. So, <laughs> now, did he ever like? Put, did he? Did he? Did he ever push the spongy part through the jeans? <laughs> and and no one has heard uh, this no homo part of the game, right, Bill? No, um, I'm not really. Too shy. I, I I hear things around. I never hear no homo. I'm not even sure what that is, to be honest. Well, that that means you're not gay. You get to do gay stuff, but as long as you say no homo, you're not gay. Oh no, I, I'm I, yeah. I'm unaware of any of that. John, so, no oh. homo. Uh, not at all. This this kid's pretty homo, but um, he's never done that to me. I mean, in fact, he did to me in front of Steve the other day. Steve was in uh, walking in the Ronald Fez office, and he did it right in front of him, and even Steve knew he was a faggot right there. Steve, <laughs> comment. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it, he was asking me. He 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 was saying, "Steve, is this gay?" And he would kiss his shoulder, and I said, "Yeah, that's gay." And it was yeah. It was John was typing, trying to do work, and he was kissing his shoulder. Mm. Wow, that's a little weird. I don't like the fact that John's voice is thirty-two years, thirty years too old. Forget it. <laughs> I, I know where you're going. <laughs> the voice definitely doesn't yeah, match. Really, he sounds like Scorch. Yeah. All right, John. We'll see you soon. All right. All right man, see you later. Later, old man voice. Bobby, thanks. All right. Well, let's, enough of the no homo thing, please. Cool. Sashay back to work. Before someone wow. really just pops you hard. Grabbing ass. All right. He's grabbing He's grabbing ass everyone's... Uh, kissing ass. men. I remember I got aside with Bobby on one thing. The first time I ever saw a porno was with my friend. I had never seen it. We watched on his dad's VCR. Because back mm -hmm. then, no one had him. It was called The Fur Trap. And we were both sitting on his parents' bedroom floor. Not touching each other, just sitting there. I actually had to excuse myself. I was so blown away by it. I had to go and lay on his parents' bed. I had to lay on his parents' bathroom floor and jerk off. Wow. <laughs> Ugh. That's what I did. I did. I wasn't prepared for Couldn't that. Couldn't wait. I'd never seen one. In front of everybody? Yeah, I'll guess no, that. no, alone. It was just me and him watching. In front of everybody. And I excused myself just to go lay on the floor and jerk off. Oh, okay. I was distracted because Ben uh, came running in with another victim. <laughs> Morning, fellas. Hi, man. <laughs> Yeah, uh, grab, uh, Bobby's grabbed my ass on a couple of occasions. So. <laughs> what has he done? Uh, like, well, how like, does he do it? Um, Let's say I have to go print something out to make a copy. I have to, like, semi-bend over to make a copy. <laughs> and yeah. he'll pinch my ass. I won't hit him because I want a job here, but... <laughs> look what you have to deal with. It's getting scared, a little much, right? Because you're scared you're going to get bit. fired. Uh, I, I, look, man, I give permission to any freaking guy that gets touched by Bobby to... Turn around and punch him in the face. My problem is why there's 30 men that he's molested. Why yeah. hasn't nobody come forward? No, they're all so riddled with guilt. Even Fan, who's an employee here, just kind of took it and kept it. Yeah. And cried into his pillow. This is the one he guy dirty. that works behind the scenes that I'm scared of, by the way. So uh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm very impressed that you didn't do anything to him. <laughs> maybe, like you maybe you can build him a cake. <laughs> That's wonderful. So what? You bend over at the copier? <laughs> no, really bend. It's like semi arch over, and like <laughs> I don't do that shit no more. But <laughs> yeah, now now while he's around, it'll yeah. purge itself. And did it. he pinch or rub or do that thing it where it was he... like a semi weird pinch, semi rub type homo shit? I don't. <laughs> Were your buttocks protruding, or was it like a kind nah, of? Well, like I naturally got a fat ass because I'm Spanish, so I guess he, it's pinchable. <laughs> so what do you think? I was going to smack the shit out of him, but then I was told you can't really hit anybody if you work with them, so yeah, I just let it go. This guy is just sexually harassing everyone in here. I got a fat ass because I'm Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's all right, man. I like him. <laughs> what are you doing working today? Uh, Just interning today. The Yankees don't play, so I don't work. Yeah, but why aren't you? Uh... Nah, I, that's an excuse. I need a job. Yeah, see? Yeah. All right, very Real cool. Working so what? Guys. What about um? What's Bobby gonna do? Does Does he do a lot of stuff for Fez? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. So there's only one guy in here that isn't complaining. Nathaniel, Sean, John, Bill. What's your name again? Uh, Jay. Jay. Uh, that's five. I think there's another one or two, six or seven guys. Fan an update or anything? Do you remember something else he did <laughs> while you pretended you were eating cotton candy? <laughs> you <in? laughs> could just go through some hypnotherapy. <laughs> um, there's some. I I don't know if we want to keep talking about Bobby, but his some of his hygiene habits are awfully borderline uh -oh. gay. Borderline gay, like yeah. just um, where he nares. He uses nair. Yeah. Where does he nair? Bobby, they're all calling him. Oh, Jesus. 
Where does well, he know? I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking He's coming. He might be able to describe it better than me. And it, I don't I can't see Hold that thought for a second. For we got another gay or funny really fast. Parrot lungs. Parrot lungs, what's up? Parrot lungs. Hey guys. Hey. I, I just want to say it's hilarious through the whole time that on the display of the sky fi it says uh Bobby is gay. <laughs> funny. Uh yeah. Uh anyway, uh me and the boys have a fishing weekend, uh, and we, uh, you know, we all have to shower in the same building or whatever. But my buddy's doing the dishes, and uh, one of the other guys comes out of the shower, just drops his towel, goes up behind him, and hugs him from behind naked. Gay. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's kind of funny if you're with all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing that's funny about that, as opposed to gay, is that it's in front of everybody, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that that's that, kind of when you're doing something so it's ballsy and funny. But I yeah, think. That's, that's that's. And he kind of he kind of rested his head against his back like lovingly. I don't know. That that could be both. It could be, but that's more funny. funny. If you do it when you're alone, that's kind of borderline. But if you do it when your friends are all watching, does everybody laugh at him? Everybody. How do you not fucking roll watching that? That's a hoot. All right, I like it. Okay then. Very good. Let's uh let's go to Gary in New Jersey. Gary, what's up? Hey, how you doing, brothers? Hey, Gary. Hey, ball sack thing gets funny when the guy walks out with a big smile on his face, and then it changes to horror as he gets stuck in his zipper, and then it turns gay again when he <laughs> asks for help from somebody to to rub it and make it feel better. And when you picked up the phone, your call turned awful. <laughs> All right, thank you. So back to Bobby. You ne'er where? Uh, I put have, him next to me. I I I ne'er actually. I ne'er my body sometimes. You know, like when I was going away, I'll shave my chest and going you know, away. What the prison? Fire Island. Well, I, Jamaica, but I would shave my chest and my you know pubic region and ne'er my ass and you know whatever. Ne'er your ass. Yes, because you you can't really shave in there. It's that would. It's, and where? Your ass. So your whole crack? And, and your crack? Well, your balls, your taint, the whole area. So you just slather nair on there and up up your ass crack? I guess so, yes. Why would you have... Why would you nair your Where, Why ass is there crack? a need to be completely hairless? Well, it is, it's not that there's a need. It's just it's easier for when, you know, you're wiping. It's, it's, it's very cleanly. And if you want girls to play with that area, girls, yes, oh, girls... Boys. You you know you're gonna want to be yeah, nice. Say and girls tidy. another ten yeah. times. Yeah. Chicks, <laughs> yeah, you know, broad, <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> tomatoes, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I just I just ask Steve. I ask Steve for porn all the time, and like, of regular. course you do because there's cocks in it. <laughs> and he never brings in the right type, does yeah. he? Does he now? You might not like this. It's all girls. So you nair your ass crack? Right. Yes, I have done that. Not gay. No gay. No homo. No homo. No yes. homo, see? see I can't see, even it's remember. Not gay. It. No homo. No homo. All right, Bobby, thank you. All right. There Bobby's he goes. Terrific. Out to harass. Oh, no. What do we got? <gasps> more victims? Maybe. I'm going to go find out. This what, is, there may be more victims? Yeah, there might be. Look, they're turning up. It's like the Gacy basement. I feel bad for Jay here. He's just trying to make a living. He's trying to, like, you like the radio and all, right? Yeah, man. And, and, Uh-oh, something else is going on. Uh -oh. Okay, we're, we're being told to ask to see his tattoo. All right. Shit. Right here. Share. Bobby, Let's see your tattoo. Back in. Uh, I'm not going to take out my tattoo because it's in a spot. That I would have to pull down my pants. Who cares? Who so, cares at this point? Yeah, you're you're right. But you know what? I have proof this is because of a girl. Because I called up your show. Do you have underwear on? Yes, I do. So it, what is oh. it, Jimmy? I can't see. It's, Turn this way. That is as close to your ball sack as you could it's get. It's a on rose, your thigh. right? It's a black rose, yes. And it's a black it's rose. It's a black rose just off his junk on uh, the. Upper inner thigh, as high maybe up as it's, you Maybe can go. it's a wordplay in his own mind because he likes black dick, black grows. Oh yeah, it could what be. What does it mean? It was I broke up with a chick and uh, I got the tattoo. I was kind of bummed about it, and it's. I Why'd you break up with her? Was she missing something? <laughs> uh, no, we you know we kind of had had our, our you know it was on the outs, but I have proof of that because I did call up this show, the XM show, and there's a whole there's like a, there's a good ten minute call on it. Oh, that yeah, was we'll find up. It. So it is on a girl. Wait, what was the call? 
it was I was bummed out about my chick and just talking about stuff and how like I used to do all, all like like dirty things with her and Jimmy was giving me advice. Of course he was. Were we playing music just touch for you? men's asses? You <laughs> feel better? Uh, yeah. Ask uh, if they well, shit their pants. LOL. I'm not sure if you guys play music for it, but it was brought up on. Um, it was brought up on uh, Ron and Fez when I started working there, and mm-hmm. they they definitely played music for it. Yeah. But um, it was over a girl. That's that's a hundred percent true. Wow. But they're well, not I'm really not broken up because you just said no homo. Yeah. And she forgave him, and they're back dating. I'm not. I'm not saying that you're. You know, probably haven't had. You know, you've had girlfriends and and things like that. There's just something going on. Mm-hmm. There's just something going on where maybe there's some confusion in you, or uh, I don't know, doubt, uh, curiosity. Uh, there's no other excuse for for your actions except trolling. You're looking for one of these guys to you know go ooh, or or you know give you a little sign or signal that it's okay to continue. In all fairness, I do it in jest, and I don't get excited sexually. It's, yeah, I, I, I don't. But, but so. look at poor Jay over here. He looks like a victim. Jay, yeah. anything you want to say to Bobby? Yeah, no. Ain't no Johnny Cakes over here, man. We'll tell Johnny you. Cakes. I think what everybody's saying is that while you do <laughs> resemble a young, vibrant Donald Pleasance, they'd appreciate it <laughs> if you didn't touch their backsides. <laughs> yeah, let's not touch anyone's backsides yeah. anymore. How That's many all. of the victims want this to continue? <laughs> Show your hands. Um... None. Did you ever think you were making people uncomfortable with this? Oh yeah, that was that's the joke. Of that's it. the joke. Yeah, it's uh, it's very uncomfortable. But a whoopee like... cushion's a joke. That's like gay. Yeah, there's uncomfortable like what Jim does in elevators and stuff, and then there's molestation, physical contact, <laughs> sexual right. harassment. Right. I guess I got the joke wrong then. All right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, thanks right. to Jay, this poor kid. Thanks, thanks. Jay. Thanks, guys. Just trying to work hard and make a living, and he's got to mm-hmm. have his freaking uh, Spanish ass grab. Juicy Spanish butt. Ooh, plump. That's why he wears baggy pants. He's so tired <laughs> of showing off the merchandise. <laughs> it's the worst. The worst. We'll be back with more of the worst of Opie and Anthony featuring Travis. Of Opie and Anthony. Seven seconds. The worst. and Anthony show. It's the worst. The worst. Of Opie and Anthony. Featuring Travis. It's the worst. He's reached his potential. This is as far as he can go. This is it. It's the worst of the Opie and Anthony show. Mila Jovovich. Hi. How are you? Those are some pretty hot pictures. Oh, my (laughs) God. We should have covered those up. What pictures are those? Um, German magazine, probably. That's a really good question. Where did we get those pictures? Uh, is some pervert on the staff uh, printed oh, them out. Oh, is that her face on someone else's body right there? That must be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no. got to be it. No. Was, you know <laughs> what? Why don't we have pictures from the fifth element? That's Listen, what we should I'm have. I'm kind of glad that I don't have anything from the fifth you don't element want that <laughs> could go on this wall, actually. <laughs> you do when you're, when, you're you in do. The little, when you're in that little thing just made up of some, like, gauze, it looked like, kind of wrapped around you. Well, I guess if that turns you on, Jaws, man, that hospital thing is real think, sexy. Do you think <laughs> in the fifth element when you came out and you were in just that thing that was kind of stripped mm-hmm. all around you, yeah, that yeah. that wasn't really hot, that guys weren't watching going, oh. Because <laughs> uh, let me guys- be the first to inform you a few years later. Yeah, it was very hot. <laughs> a few it was years a very later. Very nice costume. And, then, and you're <laughs> flying around all over the place, uh, jumping out windows on top of flying taxi cabs, and nothing came out. Like, that looked like an unsecured little outfit you were wearing. Were you glued in there? Well, you oh. know, she's a super being, so, yeah. you know, it, was it all taped. keeps together. You, was it duct taped and well, stuff? Well, no, the whole thing was sort of one piece. Uh huh. So it was kind of like a, like a bathing suit. Oh, we were kind of like a wet bathing suit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it certainly was. That's like one of the most memorable parts of that movie, though, is you wearing that getup. I know that was a crazy character. That was fun. Yeah, jumping and, off the, the building. And uh, then, of course, the uh, Evil Dead. Uh, 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 evil Resident Dead. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Uh, Evil Dead sucks, man. It's Resident Evil. Oh my God, well, you're, you're gonna <laughs> get a lot of people. Evil Dead is kind of cool too. <laughs> Gotta give it that. But There's uh, a lot of Resident Evil Dead fans out there. Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. Uh, I saw you naked. 
<laughs> Wait, she was naked in that? I saw, I saw okay, that. for a second, you see like it was for a second. For a second, wow. and then and then I saw it on on I guess regular TV, uh, and and. Like I'm waiting for that part to come, <laughs> and and they cut it out. <laughs> so it's kind of like seeing like the TV version of Scarface. Yeah, he's like, this city is a chicken, just <laughs> waiting to <laughs> right, be right. plucked. <laughs> we did a whole thing on our show about that. The TV so edits, wonderful. The TV I can edits watch the, movies. the TV oh. edit over. Oh, you and like over. that? I love it. Are you laugh? kidding? They put, it's they so put in, wonderful. They put in scenes that were deleted because they're so violent. They'll put in scenes that never made the real movie. Like these <laughs> scenes that are now on the DVD, these awful scenes that meant nothing. Yeah, the cutting room floor scenes. Yes. That meant to be driving and looking for <laughs> an address. <laughs> right. Well, I've never heard, you know, beep that, uh, you know, replaced with not that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was yeah, kind of uh, real, too. Some of them, not they, that. they really some reach. Some not a Scarface thing. You know, it's very kind of sophisticated. Not that. Now, I guess, uh, <laughs> You're Scarface. I guess these days they, they do uh, two versions sometimes yeah. and have the actor but actually listen, doing a clean version. Listen, that was so genius. The things they pulled out the box for mm -hmm. that, like no one does today. Yeah. I mean, a chicken waiting to be plucked? <laughs> That's genius. Someone I got mean, paid to think of that know, and come up with it. That stuff. And they were in a room going, oh, good one, good I mean, one. I, I didn't think we were going to get one for that. That's kind of like a cool hobby to like find like all the TV versions, like the funniest TV versions of like the most violent movies because I think those are kind of amazing. Yeah. Like you have these limits and you got to do your best with them, you know? Yeah. So you're like a chicken waiting to be plucked. <laughs> you know, <laughs> wonderful. I, I got it. You ever see your own dialogue replaced on TV or something and kind of laugh like, that doesn't even sound like me? N well, those things are really funny. I mean, every time I have to do a TV version, you know, we're always kind of like trying to think of like, what can you possibly say? You know, of course, I hadn't seen Scarface, the TV version at that point. So, you know, we were just doing like flickety flock and like, you know, just, you know, oh, dit or something, <laughs> you know, and they're like, no, that sounds too much like. It yeah. sounds too much like the bad word. Hey, I got it. I got the T word. Yeah. I don't even know if you can say that on the radio. Tit. Uh, tit. Oh. <laughs> let me let me fill you in on You're something. You're in the world Mila. of satellites. <laughs> let me fill you in on a little something. You're in the Mila. world of satellites. Uh, are we actually on the air right now? This, yeah. Yes. <laughs> completely on the air. Know what's funny about that? So many guests will ask that exact question. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We will, okay. have, we, we will have 10, 15 minute conversations and, and people go, so when are we going to go on the air? I know. I'm yeah. glad my mom's not watching. She's like, you're on the radio and all you can think to say is a chicken waiting to be blacked. Uh, I hate to tell you, it doesn't yeah. get much better than this. So, so enjoy your time. And uh, if your mom's watching the radio, you might want to have a little oh, talk true, to her. That's true. That's true. It's kind of early. Are you, I still are you, haven't gotten through my coffee yet. So. Are, you, uh, are you generally maybe a potty mouth in regular life or do you? Look, you know, as I fiddle with the pen. Um, Ooh, you might, not want to, <laughs> you might not want to touch any of those pens. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't know. People, people chew on them. Pluck that, man. Ooh, she told you. <laughs> I want her to curse. Listen, Give us a curse. Give us a curse. No, 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 no. I can't. You I do can't. it in movies. Listen, I might do it just by accident anyway, so right. I just try and control it. Is that what happened, though, when you're out and about? You kind of just throw a pepper it pluck in? Pluck this, pluck that, yeah. pluck you, pluck everything. <laughs> <laughs> She's having a good time. She's got some very lucrative deals she doesn't want to screw up is what... What she's talking about. And she shouldn't be on this show. <laughs> I see her. What, uh, what makeup spots are you on? L'Oreal. Yeah, L'Oreal. Yes. And she comes out with her big eyes, big blue eyes. Pluck that. L'Oreal. <laughs> you started out as a model? Um, I started, well, my mom was an actress in Russia when I was growing up back in the 70s. And so was I started like acting. Was that like on TV? I was like nine. Back then? Actually, not on TV because, you know, in the 70s, TVs were a little harder to come by. But um, on the big screen, yeah, I would go yeah. to my mom and, and see her, like, doing ADR for movies and stuff. So kind of followed in her footsteps. So I started when I was nine acting and then fell into modeling you know, when I was The weirdest 11. part of that whole answer was that TVs were hard to come by. We just can't Well, it understand. was the rush. No, I, I know. As an American, you just can't understand that you would actually grow up without a TV. Well, mm. I mean, yeah, I guess by the 70s, everyone had TVs in America. Not that way in the motherland. So how would you watch? <laughs> <laughs> but how would you watch TV? What, just one family member somewhere would have it, or, or well, no, we had a TV. Right. But yeah, you, but I mean, if, <laughs> we your, mom, like if your mom's doing movies, one percent. That's like had yeah. One kind of so thing everyone here. came over to your house to watch the TV. Yeah, kind of thing. Was there American TV back then? 
Like any show is making. Oh, no, you're not? joking. There was hardly Americans in Russia. They didn't before, like, like anything back then. No, but I understand. We that. go over to Mila's house. They, they have toilet paper and blue jeans. <laughs> I'm talking on the black market. Maybe you get, maybe you get a, maybe you get a VHS of Dallas or something shipped over. I don't know. Jesus. Back then they didn't want any Western stuff being beamed in. But it was still being. It was all just it like was, you got to think. Everything it was being wonderful here today. <laughs> Sky is blue. Government loves you. That was pretty much all they wanted the people knowing back then. This is like the most awful thing is that it's so true. Yeah. So not funny. And then like like a Western Western, uh, information (laughs) stuff started encroaching on. That's when everybody said, I'm leaving. I could drive a cab and make some money. (laughs) (laughs) Plug this chicken. (laughs) Yeah. So when did you, uh, when did you make your way here? Yeah. When did you escape? (laughs) (laughs) Well, we, well, well, we did actually. We um, we uh, came over and never went back. <laughs> did you? You left when it was still Shh, communist. I'm yeah. still here. <laughs> There's somebody still at the house, like some KGB agent waiting. Where is Mila? <laughs> she said she was going out to get me blue jeans. <laughs> What the she found out? <laughs> what the hell's in her Starbucks, man? Oh my god! This guy's been waiting no, twenty but years. No, the craziest thing is, <laughs> is that you're not too far. <laughs> from the truth. What did you have to? You actually like fled? Are you one of those Dude, people that had to go into a wall? Had, my mom had to meet with KGB members. Really? Literally, like three times before she married my dad, and she had to get interviewed. Like, so why are you marrying a foreigner? Wow! And foreigner, he's Yugoslavian. Mm. That, like that's... Americans don't even think of that as a no. different nationality. Do you know mm. what I mean? But in Russia, yeah, she had to get interviewed, and then, uh, but the person was really cool because he had a daughter my mom's age. And he would have wanted her to do the same thing, yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. So he was sort of, you know, just going cool by the KGB page, agent? but he let her go. Yeah. Never heard of those. Wow. They I never know, show those right? The, That's like a movie in the movies. Right there. <laughs> never saw that in the movie. The cool KGB agent. Ah, uh, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I saw you swallow some microfilm, but uh, <laughs> pluck that chicken. <laughs> you go. You're losing her mind. I love this. <laughs> She's all right, man. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Check oh her coffee. God. I'm telling you, something's in that coffee. It. All this racist uh, humor. So uh, racist humor. <laughs> hey, where's Danny? Danny's He's totally putting down my country. We got a. It's no. so funny. I can't. No. It, one of our it's guys. True is, though, it's so. Awful. One yeah. of our guys is a huge fan of yours. One. What? What is that? Silence. <laughs> Where is he? You hear that noise? What the hell is that? Uh, well, he's coming Heard to ask you a question. But... Yeah, he's going to be all nervous and everything. Oh. Probably all sweaty, ew. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ugh. I can't wait to meet him. Hi, Danny. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> great. Hi, <laughs> this there is Danny. There you go, Danny. Hi, Danny. Oh, I heard Nathaniel sold me down the river. Nathaniel sold me out today. Well, why, don't oh. you tell, uh, why don't you tell her about you and your mom? No, oh, I don't think we're going to do that <laughs> today. <laughs> no. Danny likes to drink with his mom, and then I don't know. Then say stuff maybe he shouldn't be saying. Inappropriate stuff on camera. It was really, yeah. <laughs> so you're a big fan? I am a huge fan. Absolutely. Favorite favorite yeah. movie? Um, prob- Got to be Fifth Element. Yeah. Got to yeah. be Fifth Element. That one is Thank really you. good. Thank you, Amy. And you have a question? <laughs> I do? Do you? Go ahead. I Conduct know, do an I? interview. Something about the fake language? <laughs> well, I heard that in the Fifth Element, uh, that fake language got so intense that you could actually hold a conversation. With, uh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the director and I, like, would it be able to, like, write back and forth? Like, um, you know, I'd be able to ask him questions, like, in the language. And if I was missing a word, I'd just, like, give him a list of vocabulary that I needed for That's, my next wow. letter. And he would sort of give it back to me. And I would incorporate it, sort of try to incorporate it into my everyday That's life. You almost know? as geeky as people speaking Klingon. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. I get pretty geeky when it comes to, like... Research and and uh, getting prepared for things. I love yeah. it. I love reading and being on the computer. You know, my my really amazing like night for me mm-hmm. is like you know putting music on the computer for hours. And oh, is that what you like, do? Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Like, I had such a great time last night. I, like, put all his jams on my computer. Like, <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty <laughs> tough thing to do with your computer. <laughs> no, 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 with GarageBand. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, oh, you got the Mac. 
Yeah, well, for yeah, it. definitely, and I've logic. All the, all the artistic people have Macs. What do you have an IBM? I have both. I'm, oh, that's cool. I'm divided. Well, that's I gotta cool. play. I gotta play games. You know, I gotta oh, play my better, games. So you need a Windows computer PC, to play right? the games and stuff. Yeah, you ever that. play um, some of the uh, video games? You like that? Well, you know, I'm play not yourself a, in one of them. No, do that? not yet, not yet. They're still. They still have to come out with the Alice video game, but. Um, you know, my brother really loves like all the violent video games. I'm more of a strategic. Who doesn't? Oh, yeah. you like the strategy game? Yeah, I, I I like the strategy. So I would like build up the towns and the reserves, and then he would go out and conquer. You <laughs> oh know? So yeah. I would just be like the administrative part, and hey, that's he would a good be idea, like actually. get the glory. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah some people are really good army and... at those games where you got to build up a civilization. Yeah, I love that. And some that. people are good at building the civilization and keeping the economy going and keeping the trains running on time. Well, Sim City, man. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I've got it under control. My budget is great. <laughs> Do you hate the fire? <laughs> Still in that? Like every two seconds, oh, something's catching on fire. Well, you gotta create water towers, dude. Is that what it is? Well, they see, don't I'm have terrible. Water, man. No schools for me. No anything. <laughs> I rule with an iron fist. Everyone gets all pissed. No, unlike uh, the old Soviet Union, pretty much is the way I run things. And people do the same thing. They leave. <laughs> I got a barren wasteland, and everybody's going to greener pastures on some other person's game. They play. They're on Mila's. They're going. No, it's great. She's a huge movie star. She's excited when her budget's okay in her video. In the video game. game. <laughs> Look, I got a surplus. It's like all these scripts are piling up. Screw that. Oh, I got. I got to feed my people. It. So oh, true. I gotta Don't feed even. Oh, oh, really? You're shirking your responsibilities? Well, a bit. It's been kind of crazy busy and stuff, so sometimes, you know, I'll just go into Sim World. Ah, <laughs> ah. Let's say hi to Lisa the Montreal. Perfect world. <laughs> Lisa, what's up? Hi. Good morning, oh, my God. Hi, Lisa. I'm so hi, sorry Judy. for making a fool of myself. Judy. Hi, Jimmy. Well, I didn't hear you said hi, like, Sudan. How are you? It's I'm Mila. Good. Listen, I wanted to say, Mila, I love you so much in The Fifth Element. Thank I you. I'm so obsessed with the movie. I even have the tattoo. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. It looks really good, actually. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Let, let's say hi to Brian in Nevada. Brian, what's up? Hey, yo. Uh, hi, Brian. Mila, I love your movies. I particularly you. loved you in uh, The uh, Messenger. I Thank thought you, you just were extremely good at that. Is there going to be any more Resident movies coming out? Well, we start filming uh, number three in May. So. <clears throat> oh, I think yeah. you're just you're just you're just awesome, and you managed to pull off every single character you portray. Oh, thank you so much, Brian. Thank okay, you. Okay, hey, and Aunt, please unban Tugboat Bry. He didn't mean to get you on your bad side. All right, I'll unban him. All right, we'll deal with that in a little Jeez. while. Fuzzy from Whackbag, what's up, oh, Fuzzy? I ban Yo, people occasionally up, from I can't believe sites. I got Lou Dallas and my my two favorite boys. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, we Lou's great, awesome. man. And we're getting along. <laughs> this is fun. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're all getting along. She seems to be extremely happy to be there. Which is I go, I go, I'm having a great time. I go right to sixth grade mentality when a pretty girl comes in. <laughs> I sit there and like I keep my head down. Yes, yeah, I get, I get all that, but you're very uh, fun. Sixth grade too. You're, I know. It's like, like yes, yeah, you're sixth grade too. <laughs> Isn't it great to be immature? <laughs> we fin- and we're doing great. I'm, I'm ready to look at her and ask what kind of ice cream she likes. <laughs> <laughs> we finally admitted it too, because we had so many hot girls coming through here, and we just we just can't talk to the hot ones. Really? It's what so do you guys hard. do? But, it's so awkward. But as soon as we finally admitted it to all our <laughs> listeners, it, it's gotten a lot easier. <laughs> so we hear multiple <laughs> pounding going on. <laughs> oh, hi, Christina. Oh. <laughs> What's your motivation? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to, uh, all right, Fuzzy, you got a question? Yeah, I just want to We only to got a couple more minutes with her. Uh, my wife and I absolutely adore her. Oh, because thank she's you. She's just beautiful, elegant. Yeah, well, I'm all about you. Just want to let you know we're going to name our first girl after you. You're the best. Wow, thank you. Thank you Bye so me. much. Don't take this interview as an example of my normal sophistication levels. <laughs> <laughs> You're multifaceted. Hey, uh, you got a question, though, Fuzzy, or no? No, I'm all set. I love you. Oh, guys. thank love you, Fuzzy. Right. Thanks, guys. I think we have time for one more call, and we got to let her go. Kent, what's up? Hey, what's up, Mila? What's How's up, going? Kent? How's it going? Good. Thank you. Um, Wow, that guy totally took my question about Resident Evil. But I who's, who's uh, attached to direct? The um, uh, this guy um, named uh, Peter Mahoney. Okay, cool, cool. And he's uh, he's really wonderful. He's a British director, and 
he's he's really great. He's going to do a good job, and Paul Anderson's going to be producing it too. And stuff. Those movies oh, end. Great. Those sounds movies great. end really well for sequels, by the way. When that first one ended, and you just come out in the street, and everything is just well, it's cool because um, destroyed. You know, the world in the video game doesn't really end; it just yeah, keeps going. Yeah. So it's like every movie gets harder and harder, like a video game. You must have sense, to you know? work out a bit before those roles, because it seems like you really get your ass kicked. Well, yeah, you know, I definitely train a lot for these sim movies. training or. Real <laughs> well, unfortunately, wouldn't that work be great out on the if like my sim could do it for me? That would be so wonderful. <laughs> it's the worst. The worst. We'll be back with more of the worst of Opie and Anthony featuring Travis. Of Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. The worst of the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, I really hope that this is the right bit. Nice. Because I picked it based on its name and what I think it is. I did that once. Yes. Uh, this is bear hunting in New Jersey. I oh, think yeah, where they go bear hunting in Jersey. Yes. You're thinking of the right bit. Am I? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Here it comes. Train of thought. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right. Do you want to tag it? Worst of Opie and Anthony. Travis edition. Mm. Sure is. <laughs> it reeks of it. <laughs> it's the worst of Opie and Anthony. I, I want to make sure Steve is safe this uh, this hunting season. Oh, <laughs> kind of hoped I could get out of the studio before this segment started. Has there? Uh, well, has there been a problem? Well, they got a bear problem in New Jersey, and Steve happens to live. Where in do you New live? Jersey. Oh, Jersey. That's I live right. in Jersey. That's right. And it's in Jersey. Every once in a while, uh, they allow the hunters to just start uh, shooting bears in the fine state of New Jersey. Doesn't matter where that thin bear the may herd. be. It could be in your backyard. They don't give a fuck as long as they thin the herd a little bit. You're right, Bill. Well, when, the bears uh, in Jersey do wander into backyards. They do. When a lot of bears are found in pe- people's Happened pools. Happened on the Sopranos. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Coming in the backyard and swimming in the pool. So they want to thin the herd a little bit. They want to take about 400 bears out, I think. Something like that. And the animal rights people come up, and they get all pissed off. They just sure. don't want people killing the bears. Uh and then the hunters want to hunt bears because it's fun for them. Right. And then the people that uh, live in areas that have bears want them hunted because you don't want uh, the, your little puggle to get eaten. Of course. At night <laughs> when you put the little cute guy out back. It's a boxer. Well, yeah, it's it's one thing it's yeah it's one thing to want the actual you know to to you know not want to hurt the bears, but it's another thing when a you know five hundred six hundred pound bear is staring you down in your backyard because it just happened to. Is that going to happen in, in your neighborhood yes. though? No, it happens in neighborhoods where Fighting people want to be in the woods by themselves, <laughs> and then they're in the, then they're annoyed because they're actually living with wildlife. There's too many people anyway. Well, it happens in the suburbs in Jersey. I mean, not necessarily where where I live. It that's wasn't close. the suburbs when they started building, my friend. That's what that's what ah. bear territory, oh, urban sprawl. Yeah. It was yeah. bear territory. Urban sprawl. Yeah, and I think true. it's time the bears took their fucking land back. <laughs> right. Well, apparently that's what they're doing. Good. They, right. uh, they. I like how he says they, Steve. They're taking all our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> they want to take guy. the grizzly bear off the endangered uh, species list, too. The grizzly? The grizzly bear. Because, that's on there? Yeah, because in like the Yellowstone uh, National Park area alone, there was like, yeah. uh, uh, in 1976, they were down to like 300 bears. And now it's up to over 600, so they feel like it. they've made a huge comeback and they don't need to be on the endangered species they've list. They've only increased anymore. by, like... Something like that. It was on... Uh, 100%. It was on Yahoo, if you can find the story there. And that's enough? That's enough. That's enough, enough bears for... <laughs> yeah. That's enough bears for the one square foot of forest we still have left <laughs> in this country. <laughs> right. yeah, that so. doesn't seem like enough bears for, for Yellowstone. Ramon. We as humans, <laughs> we are so pompous. There's billions of us. But uh, the grizzly bears in that area, that's up to 600. Good enough. Occasionally, the animals need to protect try, to, them anymore. try to cull our herd, and <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it makes entertaining news. That's hilarious. <laughs> if some aliens came down and took over, what herd do you think they'd be thinning first? Oh, please. I think it'd be us. <laughs> it'd be yeah. gone. At least the Chinese would go first, because there's so many of them that they would. the aliens would be like, Yeah, they're these, like, they're these like mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you got it. Aliens trying to shoo the Chinese away. <laughs> They'd be dead, like, really quickly. They'd just, you know, hunting season Big open mosquito the truck. Chinese. They'd just <laughs> yeah. spray in that shit out. <laughs> we really do need some type of alien invasion to kind of unite us and get rid of some of us at all, all at the same time. So whoever's left, like the real strong ones, real good ones, 
and uh, the ones that will be united in fighting the aliens. Yeah, it was the I, Aryans. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have the, the ball perfect to do race that. will be left. We'll have a weaker, weaker. Uh, no, Anthony, Earth. you really ought to trim that goatee a little yeah. more. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Yeah. Get a little long on the side. A little long on the side. Here's the story. Once again, New Jersey has declared open season on black bears. The state has announced its second bear hunt in 35 years. The six-day hunt in northern New Jersey will begin on December 5th. It's designed to control the growing bear population. Opponents of the hunt say there are better ways to control the number of bears without killing them. Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. That's a fight they have uh, every couple of years in Jersey. So, yeah. do we have audio of uh, the hunters going out and shooting at the bears? Oh, no, I don't want to hear that. Well, someone sent me a video clip. It might have actually been uh, Buffalo Paul of a bear that it got itself up in a tree in Jersey, and they what they did was they put a trampoline underneath the tree that the bear had crawled up, and then shot it with tranquilizers until the bear fell fell out of the tree and bounced off the trampoline. Oh, see, they were helping them. They're trying helping to be nice. A little guy relocate him. Oh! <laughs> this is audio of the bear hunt? Get the guy. This sounds harrowing. This must have been very nerve wracking. Is this all in fast motion? <laughs> hey, you can't take that hunting. They call foul. <laughs> What's Poe doing there? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that, that, that the chase was on. It certainly was. <laughs> Glad to see you're okay. <laughs> they missed. They have bulletproof glass on my head. Obi and Anthony. ESPN Radio is your source for NFL information. Not only did Brady continue to put a stamp on the football game, but the defense never allowed the Steelers to get into that rhythm, to get that comfort zone where they could bring the Patriots and the game down to their level. Covering the biggest stories on and off the field. Michael Vick gets 23 months in the can. Whoever it is, how do you come back and play in this league with over two years off? I don't think you can at that position, especially the style of game that Mike plays. ESPN Radio. XM 140. It's Whip Them Out Wednesday. You gotta get your wow stickers. You gotta get your homemade wow signs. You gotta write wow on the back of your truck or the back of your car in the dirt. Uh, women. Well, they see the wow. They know it's Whip Them Out Wednesday and they will flash you. Just send a self addressed stamped envelope to the Opie and Anthony Show. Attention wow stickers. 111 West 57th Street, Suite 500, New York, New York, 10019. Or go to opianthony.com for detailed instructions. Right. Simple as that. Yeah, get some stickers. Of Opie and Anthony. Featuring Travis. It's the worst. He's reached his potential. This is as far as he can go. This is it. It's the worst of the Opie and Anthony show. I hope I picked the right bit here. Because it sounds like a good one. But it happens so often that I don't know whether or not this is the one I'm looking for. It's titled Black Girl Fucks Up. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, either way, this is probably a good one. Well, this is a three-parter, and I think it jumps into uh, into some Ron and Fez airtime too. Well, good. I believe Ron and Fez into three. I believe this is when Black Earl uh, messed up the Grammy recording that we had in the office. I think that's exactly the bit you're talking about. Yes, and this is part one of Black Earl fucks up on the worst of Opie and Anthony. Listen for the lies. It's the worst. Of Obi and Anthony. Oh, we got drama today. Drama, 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 drama. We're trying to get uh, Black Earl on the phone. Uh, That's funny. You're listening to uh, three guys that are very annoyed today. Very annoyed. Our buddy Club Soda Kenny's in trouble. Just Google our names, Opie and Anthony, and you'll get the article. 
from the New Jersey Star Ledger. We just talked about that for an hour. We'll talk about it again. Uh, and then we want to go into some Grammy stuff. And we record stuff every night in our office. We have TVs all over the joint. Yep. And Black Earl, who doesn't like going home, is on the phone. Uh, Earl. Yo. What's going on, buddy? What's happening? Did you uh, watch the Grammys? Uh, bits and pieces. Why bits and pieces? Um, kind of boring. Were you changing the channels a lot? No. W where did you watch the Grammys? Um, we were working on some stuff, and we watched it, it part of it when we could in the uh, producer studio. Also known as our big office? No, the uh, producer's room uh, next door to the studio. Earl, everyone crowded into that tiny room to watch the Grammys instead of on the nice couches in our big office with, with the a huge flat screen? Big flat screen uh, plasma TV? Oh, it was just like... Uh... Earl, let's ask straight out. Was anybody from your staff in the Opie and Anthony office at any time last night? Um, no. No. I mean, outside of, we were working on a um, couple of production pieces, but we didn't touch the television. Look, you just look, said you look, were in look, the look, office. Wait, 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 you, you were in our the office question. working on production pieces? Yeah. Maybe you didn't hear the question. Why are they in our office at all? That's what I asked. Earl, was anyone in the office last night? Outside of us? No. No, no, Earl, what, Earl. Was any of your staff in our office? I'm asking if any of the staff was inside our office. I want a yes or a no. Yes. Okay. We working on yes. Who? You were working on who was in the office. Name everybody. Ben, come in here, please. Who was in the office? Earl. Yes. Who was, Who was in, in the, the office? office? Well, it was me. Well, I can't even. Well, it was me. Uh huh. And someone we can't name yet because the paperwork hasn't been done yet. Why? Why are you guys in our office? Because we some of the audio we can't access. We can only load it through your computers. Ben, is, everyone is completely aware of this. Uh huh. But someone was in the office, and this is the problem. They changed the channel, and they fucked us up bad today. We had no audio because one of your guys was changing the channel. There's been emails and notes posted everywhere saying, don't fucking change the channel. The channel on the big screen TV cannot be changed because the remote not only changes that, it changes every one of the boxes on there that are recording separate channels. And all of a sudden, we have nothing uh, that we were recording the night before. Now, I've seen three on three different occasions the same emails go out because this has happened before. And your your staff is supposed to be completely aware of this. I've gotten emails where it says your staff is completely aware of this. And yet again, it happened. What is Danny showing me? Danny's got a, a Danny, just some tell, type of just evidence. Danny, what is well, that? Well, basically, I wanted to see what was going on on the PC. Uh, last night, so I just did a search for last modified files, and everything that's coming up is Ron and Fez production <laughs> between the hours of 8 and 11. 8 and 11 at night. So not only was someone in the office, they were in there from 8 o'clock till 11 o'clock. For three hours. Oh, well, I was working on Eric's computer. We were we were there pretty late. Right? So you're telling me that, no, you, so, so what they did was, you watched part of the Grammys, not all of them, but they didn't watch them on the computers and in the, in the TVs in the office, the big flat screen. They ran in to this little shitty peep booth and watched them here next to the studio. That's what we're supposed Even to do. Even though believe. you were in our office for three straight hours doing Ron and Fez production. You wouldn't... What? You I guys are know. fucking lying. You're lying. Earl, you are I lying know. now. You, why would you watch the Grammys in this tiny little studio when you were in our huge office with the huge flat screen? For the entire Grammy broadcast. For the entire... What? I will tell you the segment that we happen to catch. I don't give a shit what, what you watched of the Grammys. The fact is you watched it in our office and someone changed the channel on the TV and they fucked us bad today. Was the channel changed on the TV during the time you were in there for three hours? Um, I don't know. Oh, God. God. Yes, you do Just know. Just answer. You do know. You know, for the sake of, of guilt, yes. Who changed the channel? It was probably me. 
Now, weren't you told, Earl, th in three different times that that channel is not to be changed because it uh, interferes I, with the other boxes? I fucked up. I'm sorry. You fucked up? What? Again? This is the third time that I can count, and I pay no attention to what goes on in this fucking place. Third time. Third time? Third time. But this time, if... For the sake of everything, I did it. Well, one no time is... I didn't do it. Earl, one time is too many. We're a very popular yeah. talk show that I broadcasts in two fucking countries, and you're sitting there with the remote fucking us up. Oh, God. I'm, we love Ron and Fez, but you guys are ridiculous you behind the scenes. You cost us a lot of fucking audio today. Uh, uh, How about you help the show and you sing all the performances, because we don't have them. Do your impression of Bono, because we, we really need it now. Yeah. What did you see? I, I didn't even see. You know what I saw? We saw the. Fight. I don't care what you saw. The oh. we care that you changed the channel when people have told you don't change the channel because it fucks up our recording. And then you denied it. Yeah. And then you denied you it. Said you lied. watched it in another office. You lied. And then I asked you if anyone was in the office, and your first response to that was no. And then it well, turns we, out we that we were working on production. All night last night. I don't give a shit. But but when you were initially asked, you said no, which was a lie. You lied. And now uh, what? E Rock, no, you, you said, got did something? Anyone touch the, uh... No, we said we were in the office, and you said no. I just asked if anyone was in the office at all, and no, at first you said no. Last night. Uh, right. Uh, e Rock, what do you got? Earl, didn't you call me last night in a panic around uh, seven thirty-five, asking uh, how to reset the television yes. recording program yes, on I the did. computer? Oh, yes. and did I not walk you through it saying, do you see this? Do you see that? Are you watching TV? Yes, you were watching TV. Is everything back and online? And, yes. And what did I tell you? I said, is everything set now? Was the television set on the monitor? And why did you get in that situation to begin with? Yeah, you knew you fucked up then. Because instead of minimizing it, I hit the other button by accident. He disconnected the actual pro. He turned the program off that is set to record the television. I walked through and him I, with oh, it. And, and you told me everything was Earl, you were in the office. I'm asking you to tell me what was on the screen. I'm like, do you see this? Yes. Do, do these little red dots showing up? Yes. So you're watching TV. The program's back on. It's recording. Yes. Okay, I'm going back to sleep. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Earl, bye. I can't believe I'm saying this today, but I love E-Rock. E-Rock's full well, of piss and vinegar. Come on, E-Rock. Well, you're not going to... Come on, baby! If it's a technical shit, there's no way Eric is wrong and Earl is right. No yeah. way. Come on, baby. Uh, Than's got something. Than? Well... It w I think it even was fixed because we have the first glorious eight minutes of the Grammys. So it may, may have gotten fixed and then fucked up eight minutes later. Exactly. So like, we could play Madonna, you know, trying to look like Farrah Fawcett in a leotard. That's, yes. That's our gr Grammy coverage. But so like some. Uh, so, so Earl may have actually fixed it. And then completely fucked it up <laughs> yeah, again. By turning it off. Eight minutes later by changing the channel or, or something else. Yeah. Why are these guys allowed in our office? That's what I need to know. Because I love Ron and Fez. They do an unbelievable show. I, I listen every day. But I got to tell you, their people behind the scenes are incompetent and have no business being in our office where the big boys play. Uh, whoa, wait. Whoa. Get, a, get the fucking guys a little Commodore computer and, and you know, and, and let them hang out somewhere else. You guys don't deserve to be in our office. How don't else? Well, they don't. Done. You, you because of shit like this, you you do stuff that you've been told not to do with the TV, and you but fucked no. us. You cost but us audio, a you don't lot of it. Though. I do understand. You you cost us audio, well, and lied it? about it. Wait, and then... What? There you go. Yeah, the jump up and down right. on luggage. Great, <laughs> way to go. Way to go. Dope. Way to go, Stop sulking. You fucked up. Who put the grilled cheese sandwich in the VCR? <laughs> Which one of the infants that work for Ron and Fez did that? What did you, br you break, Earl, this time? And he hung up. Earl? He just jumped up and down like a lunatic. You know, let me tell you no something. fucking cares. For, for anybody Actually, that listens... I, sorry, go ahead. For Eric. anyone that listens to the Ron and Fez show, and here's Earl bantering with Ron and Fez, that's the new Earl, by the way. That is the new Earl. We don't know that Earl. The Earl you just heard is the Earl we have known for uh, six, seven years, has it been? I don't even know at this point. 
But that is the Earl we know. That is the Earl we have had contact with for seven fucking years. He just had a flashback. He had a flashback. What he did was he took the receiver of his phone and smashed it. That's the sound you were hearing. He was smashing it on the table. It either broke or after that he hung oh, up. He definitely broke his phone. He broke his phone. And the anger that came out of that was uh, uh, directed at no one but himself. Because uh, he knows he fucked up. I got to communicate... To Don Wicklin, we don't want them in our office. You guys love gotta Fez, get, yeah. but don't want their people in our office. You gotta wire their office with a computer that the production, whatever don't they want need, them in can our be office. done. Can't be trusted. We've had emails, we've had notes posted, we've told people personally, and still our recordings get fucked up. And this is a huge day where we really needed the TVs because we wanted to, you know, play some of the shit from the Grammys. It's the last Grammys, night. yeah. It, it's they need their own stuff, whatever they need to record, whatever they need to record, they need in their office so that the 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 infants uh, don't come in and just fuck up our office. I didn't lie about it. By the way, I've been like I've been good guy. I haven't even brought up the fact that there's surprises on my desk every morning when I walk in. I don't know who's putting shit there. You know, just cups of water and things like are on there. Uh, my computer's fucked up somehow, but, uh, you know, I I'm one of those guys. I could click, click, click and fix a lot of stuff right away. I notice programs are downloaded on my computer. And this is – that computer in the office is a person – it's my computer. It's not an office computer. It's not a production – my fucking computer. And I notice programs – Pictures are downloaded onto the desktop from somewhere. I have no yeah. clue. Yeah. There's big lines of history uh, on websites that I have no idea who they are, what they are, what they use them for. That that's yeah. still happening, by the way. But I don't even, I don't even, I haven't mentioned that because I just deal with it. Make no mistake, we have no problems with Ron and Fez. I love Ron and Fez. It's these dopes that work for them. I don't know how they keep the show working with the incompetent buffoons that they have behind the scenes. How that ship, the, uh, the the SS Ron and Fez, stays afloat with with a, a blind crew running it is beyond me. It is a tribute to their own talent that they actually put on a, a, an entertaining program on a daily basis with with retarded children running their show. And you guys laugh at me. They don't deserve to hang in our office. No. The staff? No. They don't deserve it because they sit around like, oh, wow, look, this is cool. Let me see what's on TV. Let me fuck with this. Believe me, 24 hours a day, when we're not even here, shit is going on in that office that is helping our show. There is automated stuff. It's the year 2001. Make believe there are robots in there. It's uh, the 21st century. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> it's uh, the 21st century. Make believe there are robots walking around doing work. Right. Because that's exactly what is really happening. It's automated. Things are working even when we're not there. Can't you keep your pal talk camera on? It's on right now, so people could check out our office. Office cam will now remain on all the time. Office cam all the time. Log on. You can log on at home. Uh, uh, we will keep that room open. We want you to rat out whoever the fuck gets screen caps. Uh, everyone is a cop for the ONA show right now. All you pests, new mission. Monitor office cam. You and all, rat out whoever's in there. You I all get rats. deputy badges. Your deputies now. You all get deputy badges. I want screen caps and dossiers of everyone that walks in that place. Someone make a deputy badge and start handing it out. And we will hook up a gun to the camera and you will be able to shoot whoever That's you right. see in there. That's right. Earl? Yes. How's your phone? What'd you break? Everything. Well, stop breaking stuff. Well, you prefer me hitting somebody? Oh, who are you yeah, going to hit? Yourself. Yeah, could you just punch yourself in that? Could you do a fight club scene for us and throw yourself through Earl. a bookshelf? I'm hearing good things about you. I'm hearing that you changed oh, your act exactly. and you're doing terrific things for oh, Ron and Fez, okay? But shut it. up. As the boss of the Ron and Fez show, you got to get your people in line. Get my, you know what? Get this your people in line. Very hard. They... I don't care if they work very hard. They're fucking up our show. Do you no, get it, Earl? No, 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 There's no, a problem, and and as the boss, you have to take care of no, it. You don't want to take responsibility, then who did it? No, I said I will oh, take responsibility okay. for that. Uh-huh. 
that I will take complete responsibility for that. But don't knock my fucking crew. Your crew I'm is a bunch of retards. Crew. Don't mock your crew. There's new people on your crew every day. Exactly. They're even, retards. I'm mocking them. I couldn't even name them. And Ron and Fez have been here almost a year already. Yeah. Your crew. Your crew. I've been working with the same guys for, fuck, eight years. There was fucking video of your crew playing tag football before the Super Bowl in a park. <laughs> um, your, but as I was, Earl, you understand the situation. As the boss, you got to make sure that you or no one from your staff fucks with our office when we're not here. Simple. It's my responsibility that work has to get done, right? Yeah, and but why, who, the only room work capable of getting it done. It's not about the work. It's about who turned the channel... When there were signs all over and everybody was told not right. to turn the channel, it's not about the computers. Earl, and Earl, let me. Right, right. To right, avoid back. that problem. Let me tell you something else, Earl. Let, let me tell you something them. else as as far as you being a su in a supervisor uh, capacity here. Uh, you know what happened when we came in here? We didn't really have a, a lot of the shit we needed. Somebody took the bull by the horns, if I can say that. Uh, Jimmy, can I? Um, I prefer you didn't, but it's already out. All right. Took the bull by the horns and went to management, and we fucking didn't leave them alone until we had the equipment we needed to put on the program we need to. Not walking around looking for someone else's shit so we can do our, our stuff. You need to uh, uh, get, get your shit together, go to Wicklin, go to Elo, and demand that you get the equipment you guys need to put on a show. You don't think we haven't asked that? Not good enough. You don't think... I mean, and this is not enough because you guys have been great. I will. I want to say this very. Watch clearly. us do you a favor right now. We'll do you a favor. Wicklin, get them the fucking shit they need so they're out of our office. We need it by the end of the fucking week, which is tomorrow. Get them the shit they need so they no longer have to use our office. Do it. Immediately. They there you go, be Earl. Trusted. Problem solved. Who turned the channel, trusted. Earl? Was it you or are you covering for somebody? I'm sorry? Did you turn the channel or are you covering for somebody? No, I'm not covering for anyone. You I'll take the responsibility for it. Did you do it? Did you do it? I don't remember. I woke up 15 minutes ago. I'm a freaking... Oh, boy, you did it. I don't know what I did last Oh, boy. Night. Oh, it boy. really it cost us Grammys audio today. There's a lot of but moving boxes we around the joint today. Maybe maybe a few of those boxes should have Earl's oh, name boy. on. Oh boy, Earl. Maybe it should. Maybe it should. Every show in the country maybe it is talking about the Grammys except for us because we don't have the audio. Because you uh, might have or might have not changed the channel. I was working on a computer last night. So what? I so don't stay care. off the TV. Don you work on the computer. Big deal. All kidding aside, Don, uh, all kidding aside, Don Wicklin, you gotta take care of this because we've had it. We we can't have guys changing the channel and fucking up all our recordings. Have to get streamed at at eight fifteen in the morning. Hey, Earl, thanks. Hey, it's Lily, Ron and Fez, noon to three. You're listening to the worst of Opie and Anthony. As I'm coming up, I run into uh, Anthony. I run into uh, Ben. Everybody is uh, telling me that this place was a madhouse before I got here this morning. Yeah, I got in probably about 10 minutes ago and got the same madhouse feeling where everybody's trying to tell me a story, but starting in the middle or at the end. Right. And I finally had to say, if someone doesn't tell me what's going on in the next two seconds, I'm going to blow a gasket. I'm going to go just the opposite because I see Earl standing up and he looks like uh, angry Earl and... Uh, it looks like he's upset, Fuzzy, so maybe that's not the uh, exact way to go with this. Maybe I don't even want to hear the story. Do I not even want to hear the story, Earl? No, you don't. It's that bad? No, I have nothing to say about this. Uh, nothing. Our Zero. intern, uh, Bronx Johnny, said to me, uh, I'm breaking up. Everything's fine. I don't know what happened. Earl, you tell me. I don't even want to know. I shouldn't even. I shouldn't even look into this. Not even worth discussing on you. Yeah. Not at all. I And I'm trying to stay calm. I yeah. really am. Yeah. Well, throwing boxes isn't going to help that. Put an eye out. Oh, some of those boxes, they have sharp corners. Yes, that's right. And Fez well, has diabetes, so he needs his eyesight. Well, you should see my phone and my bathroom door. Everything's going crazy at your house. Huh? Shit I, all I, over it? No, <laughs> I... I, I I think I knocked it off its hinge. Here's the thing. Don't wipe your ass with your phone or your bathroom door. Wow, that shouldn't even have to be said. Hey, uh, at, well, it is going to be said. It is going to be said until everybody understands it. Adam, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, guys. Yeah. Uh, Earl, I am so disappointed in you. 
uh, you took a real ass whipping on there this morning and did not handle yourself like a black man at all. You just got flustered and beat the hell out of your phone. I ain't even afraid of black men anymore now. All right. Well, you can't compare Earl with most. And you have to remember that ONA and Earl have this long history that they go back a long way where it's kind of a, I don't want to say love hate. It's love. And then there's a taunting and teasing and something that happens that sends Earl into the spiral. Like a tough love? Yeah, it could be a tough love, but the tough love should work to make the guy tougher, not uh, go into uh, a whole downward place. Well, it was a situation where they kept asking me questions, and every time I tried to answer it, one of them would start screaming at me. So I yeah. just got flustered, and I threw the phone across the hall. And broke it? I didn't, I didn't break it. The door is another story. Yeah. I just got, I was like, why am I talking if they're not going to let me get a word in? You know your own history. You know this, Earl. You were any W Earl. No, I, mean, I just, you know, and I was running. I just couldn't deal with it this morning. That's you can what never I... deal with it. That's something that has gone on as long as we've known the three of you guys. That's what I heard when I walked in. That was the first thing I heard out of the ONA office. Yeah. Any W Earl is back. Mm. Who said that? Um, I think Opie said that. Yeah, Opie said it. it. Was the first one I heard. Then a lot of people chimed in as well. Earl, they're just getting in your kitchen. It's just not a way to start a day. I and know, your bathroom. But you know the gimmick. You've been up on the hill before, refusing to ski. We could go through every single story. You wouldn't touch the cotton. It's a long thing that you have. <laughs> Sounds crazy when, in, in hindsight, yeah. This is what ha well, this is what it's all about, Earl. That's your relationship. Here's uh, Hollywood, and I have heard none of it. I ha I have no idea what started it or how we got to this point, other than the fact that a young intern had to go picking up a bunch of boxes today. And Bronx Johnny, you couldn't get any better than that, Fezzi. Bronx Johnny is the man. He's right there. Yeah, he was the he was the oasis of calm. Were those Emma's boxes, her moving boxes? Oh, no. That box says Earl across it. Oh. Like Earl's stuff has been loaded up for him to leave the building. Oh, oh, oh is that right? <laughs> That's why that box got thrown. The details will trickle in as we go. I got to start listening. I got to start listening. I got to get uh, one of these satellite radios I hear everybody talking about. Uh, here's uh, Jesse. Jesse, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, Jesse. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, Earl didn't deserve that, and I thought he handled himself very well this morning. By what, breaking phones and throwing boxes? No, that was off there. On there, I thought he handled himself very well. Earl, did you feel like you handled yourself very well? And again, I don't know what happened. I, I stood up for my guys. That's all I'm going to say. That's, again, I really do not want to talk about this. Okay. All right. Here's Ken. Ken, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, um, I disagree with the last caller. Uh, he got everything he deserved because at the start of the phone call, he just wouldn't tell the truth. He tried to hem and haw and get around the subject and wouldn't just own up to responsibility, and he got what he deserved. Is that right, oh, Earl? What? Own up? Is that statement true? What's happening? No, they asked me what we were doing last night. We were working on production last night. Right. That's the truth. How is that hemming and hawing? That's, that's, that's not How is that hemming and hawing? What they asked was, was anybody in our office? And his yes. first answer was no. No, I said, we were working on production. That's what I said. You told them you were working, we were working on production. On production. The only office, place, the, the one place we work on production is the bullpen. Said you were in their office. I said, we you were working in the bullpen deserve. on production. I wish I had heard this. You should have just answered the question, yes or no, I, like they asked it. You wouldn't have had all that world of shit. I, I thought I did answer the question. Uh, they were they no, were trying did, to whatever they were trying to bait me into. Them. I just would not go into. It. I was like, you know what? We were working on production last night. That's the truth. What were you working on? Production. Yeah. You're all upset like that crazy Bible lady. You know when you had your Bible with you yesterday. There's something about the Bible believers that are just. The, their anger is right there all well, the time. I had it just to, to match her quotes when she was just quoting yeah. stuff out of the air. Can I just uh, bring up one thing? Hold on, hold on. The Pope is on fire. The Pope. 
The Pope is on fire. He don't get no water. Let that heretic burn. First he was a liar. Now he's on fire. He don't get no water. Let that heretic burn. Did they win Best New Artist last night? They should have. They remind me of the Roaches. I don't know <laughs> if that goes back a little too far. All right, so it looks like our show, Fuzzy, mm -hmm. that there's tension. There's a lingering tension with Fe with uh, Earl. You have reverted to the uh, little child in the family that uh, now what's going to happen? What's going to happen? That brings back your old stuff. Oh, totally. I remember there would be one night a week because my dad worked nights and mm -hmm. my mom was home during the uh, was home at uh, during the day, mm -hmm. and so they never really saw each other. And so any time a fight would break out, right, would be Sunday night. It would be like the one time they were both at home. Your favorite TV night, exactly. Sure, and uh, that's when the fights would break out, and I would just be shaking like a leaf. I would be a nervous wreck. And what I would do is I'd put on Harper Valley PTA. I'd actually take the album out of the cover, put it on the turntable, and do a funny dance to it where I would shake my ass, trying to get everyone to laugh instead of yelling at each other. It's so weird how similar you and I are, because I remember when I was a kid, when my parents would start to fight, I would get into the liquor cabinet and then just go through my mom's purse. Yeah, I never did that. I never had a drink over it. Hmm. Yeah. I meant in a so positive way. So not really all that same. I meant in a positive way. Like, uh, now I can finally treat this place like it's my house. Uh, Dylan, Dylan, you're on Ron Fez. How are you? Hey, Dylan. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good. Uh, I just think that uh, what Opie Anthony did to uh, Earl this morning was wrong. I think it was unprofessional and... They have uh, access to so many obscure uh, sound bites that I think that they could have came up with something that they got from the Grammys last night with uh, not a big, not a whole lot of problems. Well, I don't know what the thing is, but see, here's what you have to remember. Again, uh, Earl and OB go way back. They have this very strange relationship. Fez and I noticed it when we first uh, met both of them that there was like either thing where like Earl was like fiercely loyal to those guys or he would leave the building for weeks at a time. And then, you know, I'd be like, well, I guess uh, that's it for Earl. I guess Earl quit then. And the next time I would see him, he would be totally tight with him again. So they have this very dysfunctional thing that goes uh, way back. And, you know, Opie's the one who, you know, used to call me and said, look, I really think Earl's a new guy and you're really going to like him. And he couldn't have pushed him any more to me. But we knew this kind of stuff was going to happen as well. It's like best friends and worst enemies all rolled into one. And it's like they like the drama. They like the dance. Is that, does that seem true at all to you, Earl? Yeah. Break up to make up? I don't like drama. Period. I don't like any tension. In a way, you do. It's that sexual energy that you're looking for that you lack in your I personal do, life. I do not want to bang Hopi. Thank you very much. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's a makeup. For the fact that you don't have enough sexual tension. What? I got plenty of that what? tension. <laughs> Niagara Falls, that girl? No. The Niagara Falls gal? No, that's that's Fezzi's fiance. Oh, yeah, I get mixed up. When I walked in today, Earl was asking for a nitro tablet. Were you really? <laughs> Here comes Opie. Hey, Op. Op, look what you left me with. <laughs> hey, Take guys, what are you talking about today? <laughs> Take a look at what you left me with. What's wrong with him today? He's in He's, a pile over there. He won't even take his black sunglasses <laughs> off. It, it's uh, it's the uh, late morning, and he's got the sunglasses on. He's all covered up. He's furious. He's throwing stuff. All right, I'll admit we might have went a little too far by packing his box with his stuff. So he's not leaving? Well, I mean, they're getting rid of the dead weight, and maybe we went a little too far. He's not even looking at you. Earl, I got you the gig. That part's true. Did I or or did I not get you the gig? So you're saying you could take it away at any time as well? No, I don't have that power. I'm not going to be cocky. I got you the gig, Earl. No, I just did not appreciate getting a call at 8.15 in the morning, getting screamed at. Our whole show is fucked up. Screamed at. We count on the audio that we collect overnight. Why? And you sat in there, you put your feet up, and you started changing the channels. That is absolutely 
You positively s- not true. What? Put our feet Here's up and watch. Understand. Put my feet up. <laughs> we were working all last night. This place <laughs> is. Mic down. This uh, place is Earl's apartment. He can't. His own place is not livable. It's covered with what? It's like moss in there or something, Earl. It's the black mold or something, right? No, we have a uh, mold from the ceiling, and also, yeah. and it's just surrounded by CDs. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Earl is uh, walking around this place at night in a robe, he's brushing <laughs> his teeth. This is where he lives. Does mold? Uh, does Earl have mold on his body because he doesn't move too fast? It's a joke, Earl. That's not going to help, is it? <laughs> that was just a joke. Nothing. Earl, what is it that you want to say? Let's Dr. Phil this situation. I'm, I'm not saying anything. There's right, something look, that you, I will not say a thing. There's because something any, you really want to say at this point is going to be wrong. Look, let's work it out. Yeah. Let's this work is it a out. safe that. place. Let's work it's it out. a safe place. All right, so maybe you didn't have your feet up on a desk, but you were changing the channels, right? No! He said yes on our show. I did not. And then he turned off the program. Is that true? Oh, God, no. That is not true. Did you call E-Rock and say, oh, my God, I we, think I did something? We were working on um, one of the uh, Adobe's in the back, and I went to minimize it, and I accidentally hit something else. What show were you watching, Earl? I was not watching anything. Girlfriends? No. Are you telling me that you So stayed- I called E-Rock, and I said, hey, look, this is what and – and I wasn't in a panic. I just said, hey, look, this is what happened. No, is no. this correct? And I said, E-Rock was very passionate today for the first time in a long time on our show. Is he was right? yelling and screaming. And yeah, fir- he had a lot of energy. And the first thing I said, and I said, because you know why? I don't want to screw up the audio for you guys. Well, you did. I said, I don't want to do we that. We didn't even talk and about he, the Grammys. And he, wa- and he walked me through the process, and we corrected the problem. No, you didn't. We totally corrected the problem. I, w- I went step by step. Well, I was like, this, is this supposed to be there? Yes. Is this supposed to be there? Yes. So why do we have audio today? I have no idea. You're saying my guys are dummies? I'm not saying that at all. Who's the blame? I, uh, I, and I, I just, I'll say this again. The ONA crew has been amazing to this show and to the crew, to our crew. <laughs> they have been great with us. What, what are you accept? <laughs> yeah, you're accepting a fucking award up there. No. Yeah. Tonight we uh, yes. Earl honor with But all group. except for E-Rock? Is that what I'm hearing? I'm not throwing E-Rock under the bus. E-Rock helped me out. He helped instead me. of uh, Grammy's audio, we had Fox News and SpongeBob. Thanks to what you, you, Earl. You know what? Earl <laughs> loves Fox SpongeBob. Fox News was on all and, night last and night. The, it was on when we got there. And also the What's Happening Marathon. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Here's some audio from the ONA show today. <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> all right, here comes E-Rock. E-Rock, what happened? With you and uh, Earl. Uh, Earl called me uh, in a frenzy that he thought he shut down our TV recording system. Uh-huh. So I walked him through, and, he, and it turn, seems that it was there. And we got a whole eight minutes of the Grammys before it got turned well, off. Well, then, Earl, Earl, why are you shocked that you're taking the heat from this if you know you're the one who shut it down somehow? No, I didn't shut it. That's what I found out. I did not shut it down. E-Rock, is it safe to say that someone changed the channel? Yes. For the listeners out there, maybe they don't understand. If you change the big TV, it screws up everything, right, E-Rock? Yeah. All the, uh, so someone was sitting in there, grabbed the remote, we and said, working. the Grammys are boring. I want to see what else is on TV. And what, that's what screwed up everything God's honest truth, and I hated every and, second of it. Fox News was on there when we got in there, and it was on when we left. Dan? Yeah, but Fox didn't have the Grammys. Exactly. Which means I didn't change it. But the Grammys were on for the first seven minutes. We have proof of that. All right. Uh, wow. Your people are running in with communiques. Yeah. Our people are running in with communiques. I smell cage match. <laughs> All right. Here's Anthony on the uh, line. How you doing, Ant? Hi, guys. How you doing? Uh, I'm just listening to this. Uh, Earl is getting me in a tizzy. I'm driving in a tizzy listening to Earl saying that uh, he's like being called up that early in the morning and then trying to be coaxed into something or... Uh, like trying to beat him with questions. We asked him, were you in our office? He said, no. That was a lie. A blatant lie. Earl, were you in there? I said we were working in the bullpen on production. That's what we were. We were in the office. The bullpen. The office. No, no, listen to the replay today. You'll hear it for yourself. He said he was not in our office. Oh, wait a minute. He just left. He just left. He said he was watching the Grammys in there. Where'd he go? Where's he oh, going? Oh, I hear yelling. I hear yelling. I love he, yelling. All right. People are running. Mike it. 
Scream. Mic it. Screaming and running. Mars, take a mic down there if you would. One of the portable mics. What is going on? A lot of screaming and yelling just went on down the hallway. I don't know if it was <laughs> Earl or... <laughs> Where did he I, go? I'm not even kidding. For what the, happened? I'm not even going to kid for the radio or anything. Yeah. There's 12 guys that just ran after Earl with <laughs> cell phones. I'm they running down the stairs right now. Where? He side can't Dave. leave. Eastside Dave? Hot cart. All right, his oh, phone is cutting yeah. in and out. Yeah, turn that off. Uh, oh, because his, his madness. The preliminary report is that he just ran down the stairs. <laughs> then he went to the elevator. This is his job. <laughs> he can't run out of here. <laughs> he didn't like hearing the truth. The truth of the matter was that he was being evasive when being asked a simple question. He won't accept the fact that we asked him where was he or anyone from the Ron Fest show in our office yesterday. And he didn't even say it's a yes or no question, not we were doing for Dutcher. <laughs> fucking question and when he gets to the point where he's gotten and someone has him then he's got to explode and run away from the situation it's what he's always done well uh, someone will get on 58th street he's got to be out there <laughs> there's nowhere else for him to go out the back entrance i swear this is so n-e-w i used to see him <laughs> running down the street on my way in <laughs> remember <laughs> when we used to come in and you see earl and he would and you'd say earl what are you doing Oh, I had to take a few hours to cool <laughs> off. A few hours away from his job. And then job. he asked him to cool off from what? And he'd be like, ah. yeah, he, he he would have nothing at that point. Oh, I, God. I, I saw him in the village one time, I swear to God, during the show. <laughs> All right, here's Jimmy Norton. Jimmy, what's happening out there? Earl makes me sick. He lied. He lied. He's, he called up. They said, were you in the office last night? No. First thing he said was no. Listen for yourself on the replay. He lied. We don't have. We have he's in the office. got nowhere else to go. It's like getting mad at a homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to sleep somewhere. He's is this place is basically his box. And now the ONA staff is in master control running our show because our staff just hightailed it down the steps. <laughs> they actually are. They're in there helping you guys yeah. out now. Because they all abandoned ship. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> Jesus. apparently, Ben is running down the street with a cell phone oh, right now. Do we, Ben's going to jump out of a yet? heart attack. That's great. Thanks. Thanks, uh, guys. They're trying to get him. Just look out the window. We should be able to see him go by. Do we have an XM copter that can follow Earl around from spot to spot? Good traffic. Now, have you ever worked anywhere or had any job where a person could run out? I've never. I've never had the job That's the beauty of radio. that you can leave. The beauty. Yeah. Thank God Earl's not a pilot. Yeah, it's true. Huh? Uh, Earl's I, back. All right. Earl, there he is. Uh, okay, he's back Earl. in the building. All right, good. All right. Back Earl. in master control. Yeah. I, let's check in with him. Earl, where'd you go, buddy? Go ahead. No, here's the thing, too. When Earl gets mad, he gets slower. He's in no hurry now. All right. Take your time, Earl. I'm sorry. I was yeah. highly disrespectful. All right, what happened? <laughs> yes. yes, it was. It was insane is what it was. All right, Earl. Fez, you walked out of the show once. I have a heart condition. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. I forgot. What did Anthony say that made you run out no, of here? I just don't want to deal with this. Yeah. At all. It's in my mind. It's already over. But, hey, you only but, got another two and a half hours. But Earl, <laughs> Earl, I, I'm talking as your friend now, not the asshole that does the radio show. Just admit you were wrong. The difference, sort of, <laughs> slight. <laughs> I know them both, <laughs> and you can't tell the difference. All right, Ronnie. <laughs> I think Earl. you're worse off there. <laughs> if I had to be honest, <laughs> Earl, admit that you were in there and you changed the channel. That's all. I did not. Change the channel. We were working in that office. You but said I did on the show today that you were watching. You said you were watching a little bits and pieces of the Grammys yes, in, in here. This room. Nobody believes him. He ran in out of that big flat screen TV to watch in that little no. shitty office. In this room. No, you're lying. Earl. You're lying. You know what? Then don't believe me. I don't. Earl, you're covering for someone, or you're lying. Earl, you're covering I, for someone. I am not. I will sit. I am Earl. not lying. With uh, God is my witness. I Earl, am not take lying. a deep breath and walk us through last night. Off the air. Hey, um, you just turned you. us all off the air. He, yeah. he got upset, <laughs> turned off his mic, and turned everyone's <laughs> mic off from master control in the process. Earl, I, I, that wasn't outrageous. Just take a deep breath and walk us through last night. That's yeah, all I'm asking. Just tell the truth. That's all I'm asking. Which pl uh, uh, how, how, how are we supposed to believe anything he's saying when the first question that was asked of him, his answer was a lie? A lie. No, I'm not believing that. I did saying. not change that channel. You said Period. you were in the office. When we asked we you. were in the office. We were doing production. We did not 
change the so channel. So it changed itself. That sounds too much like Clinton right there. It, it, did not <laughs> change the Earl, channel. Earl, right. well, how many times Earl. I got to say it? We did not change the Earl. channel. Yes, you did. Look at me. Oh, oh not do that, not Mike. Break. He just body slammed the microphone. Do not break a, break the XM equipment. I'm supposed you didn't do that either, huh, stupid? <laughs> From 8 to 11 p.m., you didn't change the channel one. Of course they did. Earl, I watched that shitty show. I kept turning it on and off all night long. It was terrible, but then I go, well, maybe something better is on, and I went back. I understand completely what you went through. I got an important question for Earl. Sly, uh, Sly, what'd you think? <laughs> you never saw him? Did you see Sly do his thing? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, Not, no response. Hold Earl. Oh, my God, he broke that microphone broke now. It. The microphone that he slammed down. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, baby. Like, he fixed it. <laughs> oh, my God. What happened? Did you see Sly and the Family Stone last night? In this room, yes. Oh, no. In oh, this oh, room, boy. yes, What was did. on the big TVs, though, in our, in our office? What was on the big TV? All night was Fox. So you, you were in there, and you had a concern about shutting something off. And then Fox just came on by itself. No, it was Eric. on when I walked in the room. Then why were you on the computer with Eric trying to fix the uh, program? No, not fix the program. We the were on the computer. Thing. So, Earl, the... No. is the point you're trying to make that the ONA guys never set up the bullpen to record the Grammys? The show, it was on Fox all night. They fucked up. So they fucked up, and they're blaming it on you. I'm not you. saying they oh. did or they didn't. I'm just saying it was. I'm telling you what I walked into. It was on Fox. What happened? Now what's going on? Uh-oh. They're taking him out of his room. What happened? Why? Steve, what happened? Here comes Than. Why is Master Poe trying to remove Earl from the <laughs> what <happened>? room? <laughs> Why? What is going on in there? It's what it looks like. Why? What? They don't want... Washington doesn't want Earl wa working the equipment anymore because they're afraid. D.C. has called. <laughs> DC Headquarters has called. Has called. Oh. Oh, that's gonna put him in an even better mood. Oh yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Earl, who who said that you had to get away from the equipment? Oh, I know. I was told DC. Who from DC? I have no. Who idea. got the call? I don't know why I who got, got the call. I don't know who got the call either. Wow, Cindy Sheehan at the State of the Union address. Come with me, Miss. Being of his command. Yeah. They're pulling you out of there, Captain Bly. This is Captain Blood. They're going to put him in a little skip. <laughs> <laughs> Enough water, and here's my sextant. I know it to be. I know it to be in working order. <laughs> who knows who made the call from DC? Poe, how how did you know to pull him out? Steve. Told him. Steve. All right. Well, let's get Steve then. Yeah. This is a fine chain of command. Let's play the drug game. <laughs> All right, who, who gave you the dope? <laughs> because that money's going to the terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Steve C? Steve is wandering to the other side of yeah. the uh, building. He doesn't want... Steve. Here comes Ben. Ben? Somebody come in and say Steve. why Earl can't touch his board anymore. Believe it or not, we're, we're yeah. still trying to do a radio show here. Yeah. I mean, I uh, <laughs> uh, Steve, <laughs> who, who told you to tell Poe? The poor Earl. Uh, ben got a call from Wiki, and Wiki said, get Earl off the board, please. Uh-oh. Wiki, huh? Wiki? Yeah, he didn't want him breaking the equipment. I think that's a, a, an executive decision. <laughs> Earl's throwing equipment around. Proving he doesn't know good radio when he hears it, though. <laughs> Jesus. Earl, now you got to figure out a way to get even with Wiki. That's the problem for you. I want to get even with anybody. I just want to do my damn job. I would get a box, put some stuff in it, and write wiki across the top of it. Or give him a radio show and then produce it. If your that... job is lying and lying and ruining our job, well done. Ooh. Earl, how do you feel when you saw the box with your name on it? Amongst uh, the boxes uh, of the other people that are leaving here. He was not happy. That's everything he owns. Did it make you Everywhere. sad? Everywhere. No, not at all. It made me very angry. There's a hot plate and a can of beans in there. Why don't you show Wiki and start breaking some of the stuff in here? If you're going postal, who would you take out first? I don't know. When you not getting angry, I don't think straight. But just saying, who would you take out Whoever's first? Whoever's in front of me, quite honestly. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right, Hate Earl. crime. Are we good? Everything okay now, Earl? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm, I don't... I don't... 
I'm not going to say anything. Why don't you just tell us what happened on SpongeBob last night? <laughs> Maybe that's the way to go. That always cheers you up, a little SpongeBob. No? Earl, comment? None. Earl's having flashbacks of Carol Miller, Miller and Scott to the walking down the hallway. Just like the old days. This really is a long relationship that you've had with this, Earl. This is the way basically Fez and I met you during one of these heats. <laughs> Who's the black guy? Why is he so upset? <laughs> Full circle. All eyes are on you, Earl. What's Keep going. I'm not saying anything. You just said something, though. Real mature, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how do we get back to square one, Earl? How do you fix this I want to do a radio show. Yeah, let's bring it all back do. together here. Yeah. I said I didn't want to discuss it. Let's what? move on. Why do you radio do this? Show. Turn you... back time. Turn back time. Turn back time. I think Cher said it best. Yes. On the Grammys last night. Did you see it, Earl? <laughs> it was great. Fezzi will be wearing the Cher uh, outfit for you. How's that? Nothing? All right. Uh, <laughs> How much damage did you do at NEW over the years? I know a phone was smashed there. Two microphones. I got you beat. Uh, two microphones, a st I think a studio door. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, who kicked in that door that uh, cost a couple of grand? No, that wasn't me. That was... But that, and that it happened twice, but one was <laughs> completely an accident. <laughs> right. All right, Earl. All right. Let's all sing together here. There you go, Earl. Sing it, Earl. <laughs> like a Jenny Craig commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Earl, what did you think of Sly and the Family Stone last night? Weird. It is there some reason he turned into Wendy O. Williams? <laughs> Is there any reason at all that happened over the years? I don't even think that was him. To no, be I don't know you. who the fuck what the hell was. was that. I don't know what that was. He walks on stage for two minutes, plays a little bit, and walks away. And they kept his mic off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah well, I would, too. It's the kindest thing you could do. Wiki called halfway through the Grammys. <laughs> Get him off the stage. Earl, Comment. Yeah, it was weird. It's it was up strange. to you, man. Tell Opie how you you're really the leader. You got to you got to do something here. You're no, a, you know, all, all eyes are on you. Washington's listening. Yeah. No, we we you know, Canada's as listening. As far as I can America's tell, it was worked listening. out. I mean, actually, Don and I we had a very good talk this morning, and we worked about it out. what? Just all this. Yeah. So I'm like, it's over in my mind. Well, here's a good thing. It's very difficult to fire a black man. Very difficult. <laughs> you always got that going. When Which it's you nice. and Snoop Dogg are the only ones in the company. <laughs> <laughs> now it's ludicrous. Oh, whatever. Oh, oh we got Oprah. Yeah. All we right, got good. Snoop Dogg. Yeah. I said, and, I'm sorry, and Ludacris. Oh. Ludacris has a show also. Oh. Yeah. yeah. What mm -hmm. are those guys like? And Tyra Banks, so you better <laughs> start being careful. They're they're getting quite a stable. <laughs> this has really fucking changed. Uh, right. <laughs> Before you know it, they're going to close the train station. It's awful. <laughs> What's happening around here? <laughs> Nothing, Earl? No. How about a laugh? Yeah. Bring us all together. No, I do apologize for walking off. Sure. Who are you apologizing to? How far did you get? I, I went, there was like a bathroom that I just splashed some water on my face. Earl. I just heard a bunch of people running down the stairs like a, like, Earl. these freaking guys were like trailing me like an army. Earl, I think you owe me a, an apology. I think so, honest. too. A big, what? sincere one. What? I was the one. For what? I, the what? One. I saved you. Really? not helping. I saved you from any W. You were miserable there. I, I uh, talked to these guys. Forced. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I vouched for you. Forced. I uh, had long discussions with these guys saying that I know Earl could do the job. Threatened. He's, uh, he's changing. I think he could be a leader. I think he could be great in a leadership role. And this is how you treat me. I, I just want you to, how, how did I, I just want you to I, thank me for bringing you text app. That's all. I think I deserve have that. I, I've always have thanked, I thanked you. you, you have, yet? You have never officially thanked me for, I, uh, I have, for, I have for said bringing you to your, XM. I have said to your face and on quite, more than one quite occasion. Quite frankly, I'm insulted. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank it's, you for bringing me to XM. Thank you for, for rescuing me from the hell that became NEW. I hope you actually have to actually convince DC that you're not black. You're Northern Italian. <laughs> <laughs> So you're thanking me? And, and, I, and I, I've always thanked you. All right, thank me to my face. I, I'm doing it now. All right. I don't hear a thank you. I didn't either, sir. <laughs> what Good about point. anything for Ant? Yeah, what about Something Anthony? Are you still there? Yeah. Yeah, what about no, thank Anthony? Thank you, Anthony. 
All right. You always stood up for me, I think. I, 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 I will say that. What about a little dance? No. All yeah. right. I didn't know how far I could go. <laughs> what about a little song? <laughs> 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 I uh, and you're gonna apologize for what you did today. I, I you kind of wrecked our show. Let's be honest. I did not. No matter what, wreck it, that show. No matter what lying. it was, you kind of wrecked the show. And Just apologize. Lying. We'll move on. I will forget about it. But I think you. Uh, I, think I, I think you owe uh, myself, Jim Norton, and the rest of the gang a little bit of apology because yeah. things got screwed up today, right, Anthony? Absolutely. Just a little. Oh, okay. A little apology. If that will end it, yes, I apologize. Apologize for what? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah. I don't think I'm in a position to accept. <laughs> apologize oh, for what? He's still hurting. Just say apologize uh, Apologize for wrecking our show. And That's for it. lying about it in a filthy, disgusting fashion. We'll accept an apology Let's that you... Let's get it over with, Earl. We'll accept no, an apology that no, you wrecked you know, our show today. You no, know what it is? My pride is something. He's like, wait a minute. You're going to own it for something you didn't do? Well, you have but to. You should have. Yeah, get rid of the pride. I really, yeah. I really need an apology. I got to tell it's you. Like, it's been a tough morning for me. But sting you feel is pride. All right? Just apologize. It's not like people are going to remember. Trust no, me. Okay. Fuck pride. These guys have such great radio ahead. In the mm. next couple hours, it doesn't matter. You might no. feel a little. If it makes it go away, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> pride, fucking with you. <laughs> fuck pride. Uh, he apologized to us. I think that was the right thing to do, Earl. All right. All right. He apologized. Okay, Earl. I <laughs> there you go. You feel better, Earl? Yeah. No, I do Like not. you got it off your chest? <laughs> but, Earl, just they believe the office is a restricted country club. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend it's Augusta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Earl. Black people at Bushwood, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling a little bit, Anthony. Yeah. You almost got him. Okay. All right. Are you happy now, Earl? Everything back to normal? I'm not gonna lie. I'm fucking furious. Why? Oh. With who? With it? <laughs> With just the it? But you apologize. The things are all right. Yeah. Now. It's yeah. Okay. By it, he means white people. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the man. <laughs> <laughs> New word. Yeah. All right, Earl. Can I go home now? Yeah, nobody told you couldn't go home. <laughs> all right. All right. There we go. You're not gonna chase him down the stairs, are you? No. I have no gripes with. The Look at Poe. He's look, waiting for me to snap. He's going to break my neck if I go after him. Call Wiki and see if Earl can get back in his hole. See if everything's forgiven. Because you're no good out here, Earl. I'm not used to you in this room. What? I didn't want to come in here. I like my, I like my room. <laughs> do, you have, do you want to tell Wiki right now I'm not crazy? No, I'm not crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Nothing sounds crazier than someone says. It's right? the worst thing that you can say. I am not crazy. Just like I... I when I lose it, I lose it. I yeah, totally should. lose it. Yeah. Yeah. That was He's a big surprise back today. Back. I, uh, <laughs> didn't expect He's that. Back like Chekhov did after uh, they pulled the creature out of his ear and wrapped it. <laughs> it's very difficult. Uh, we're getting a communique. Steve? Ensign Earl reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> Steve, why don't you grab that mic? I, I mean, sorry, it's your show. I'm just used to the... Uh, you can go ahead and grab uh, it. Yeah. Steve? Bossy? Uh, Earl, it's okay uh, if you want to get back on the board. Just there you go. Be okay Shoot. from D.C. And... And <laughs> you go, Earl! You go, baby! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, show Wiki, go in there and take a shit on that board and say, here's what I think you're... That's right. Get back in there. Yeah. Get back in there and take charge, Earl. Yeah. This business needs you. No, it doesn't. <laughs> hey, do you got a new opening? Is that what you did last night? Yeah, we did a couple of things. Then why don't we we'll take a break and we come back. It's a brand new show with Earl's brand new opening. All right? Yeah. All huh? Right. And we start from there. Let's take those sunglasses off and you're a sunshiny guy. No, I, actually, I do need them there because the glare is awful. Sure you do. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank and, you guys for having me on, by the way. I've yeah, never been on your show. Yeah, That's anytime you'd uh, like. Thank you. You know, once, Thank let's see if the man. HBO show takes off. And I'd love to have you come in. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, talk to you later, Thanks, Ed. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks. Hey, boys. I love right. you, Earl. We're going to take a break, and then it's brand new Earl show with your opening, and everything's going to be great. Right, Earl? Yes. Okay. Hey, it's Eastside Dave here. Run Fez noon to three. You're listening to two 
goddamn superstars, Mr. H and Mr. C. You better have some motherfucking respect for Opie and Anthony. This is their worst stuff. Fez, look who just walked in here. It's our good friend Eastside Dave. Dave, you were telling me off the air you were the gentleman in here last night with Black Girl. Yeah. Oops, you got to turn on that. the mic. Yes, I was in there with Thurl. Mm -hmm. uh, we... Uh, I had to take a break from the hot dog stand, mm -hmm. and I uh, was helping Earl out with the production. And what um, happened? Well, I don't think he meant to do it, but he did use a remote control at one point and changed the channels. And from my understanding, the channels then get changed on every single computer, and it was the computers that were recording the Grammys, so that uh, they didn't get it. Because the remote control was changed on all of them. Why would he have the remote control? Well, I I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That was a strange thing. And I did actually mention to him, don't change the channel mm -hmm. because there's a sign in there. And I'm very nervous when I have gone in there occasionally. Yeah. I don't go in without Earl. Right. Um, and uh, so I, I always tell him, you know, uh, make sure you see the sign. I don't even sit on the chairs for lack of changing the settings on the chair. All right, so you are saying 100% in your opinion, Earl was responsible for the boys not having their Grammy tapes this morning. Well, I don't want to um, sell anyone down the... You're not selling anybody the, down the river. The one thing that was a little... was a sticking point with me is I was listening to ONA today, and mm. he kept saying we, and he kept saying I'll assume responsibility. Right. And when you say that, it sort of it seems sounds like it's somebody else's fault. It's someone else's, and it it wasn't me. And I I know Earl's a great guy, and everything like that. It was you're, you're covering up rather than just telling us facts. We don't want opinions. Earl, the facts is definitely what, changed the channel. That's all we needed to know. Earl, Earl changed the channel. Why didn't you own up to that first thing this morning? Say I went in there, I changed the channel, I put on Fox, I put on SpongeBob, I made a mistake. I'm sorry, guys. Number one, because I'm not going to scream because I didn't change the channel. Why would it he was side? on Fox what? the entire day, All right, let the me, entire night? Let me go back to the side. I sides. did turn it to the uh, the volume down, did but he? I did not change. All right, let me check the with channel. you, Eastside well, Dave. Then you he, must have hit no the I wrong button by accident because what happened was, was one minute i heard hannity and then one minute it went down and that, no I, I the screen it, went off the screen I did went off not the screen never went off i turned the volume down the i never changed the channel it was on fox the entire evening it very so, briefly went to evening. snow it very briefly he might not have even seen it he's got bad eyes but it very briefly went to snow then i said don't change the channel earl there's a sign that says don't change the channels he changed got, it right I, back. I, it I was, see the sign every day. It was one second. No, he, here's here's what happened. It was one second on the TV. So on their main TV, nothing happened. But if you start fucking around with the remote control, I it see. fucks up there. I know what I'm calling. It hits all the computers. It hits all of the computers. Yes. I turned the goddamn volume down. No. It was on Fox. No. And it was on Fox all night. So, Earl, are you going with the technicality of maybe you didn't change channels, but you did turn it off? No. I turned the volume down. For two seconds, there was That's snow. It. There that was snow. Is well, I, completely I, it. No, no, it's not it. You, and, you and I, I, Earl, let me just ask this: Why would Dave come in and say that he saw it if he didn't? There's no upside for him. You know what? I'm saying nothing. I'll That's do, what I'm going to say. I'll do I'm lie guilty. Okay. I'll, I'll do Everybody, lie detector. I'm guilty. Okay. I will do I'm lie guilty, detector. I'm guilty. I'm guilty because everyone is assuming it. No matter what I say, I didn't well, assume it. No, I'm, I'm sorry, I, Ronnie. I had dropped the whole thing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean you and Fezzi. But yeah, everyone's assuming it. Everyone is believing it. The, then it must be true. The problem. The problem is uh, he's trying to Clinton Clintonify it, right? and it's very simple. I'm not trying to Clint. I am not. I am not done anything. Mm -hmm. You're modulating. That that's what I'm doing. I'm. I'm getting blamed for shit I didn't do. He wore his Period. sunglasses. Three quarters of the show is because he couldn't look anyone in the eyes because he knows he no, had done it. because I am seething. That's why. Let me you can't look Eastside. anyone in the eyes because you know you're fucking seething right now. All right. Everything was dropped until Dave came in with this yeah. information. Eastside, did the big TV in the ONA office go to snow? It went to snow very while, briefly. While Earl had the remote in his hand. 
Earl is right that the, when we went in, it yeah. was on Fox News. He he hit the, the the remote control. It went to snow very briefly. He hit another button. It went back to Fox News. So the 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 TV in their thing wasn't uh, was not fucked up at all. But I guess if you start hitting the remote control. It can mess up their computers, I which is why a, you make it I, sound like I was holding the thing the entire show. No, no, it was no. three seconds. I said I, I that. I, I said it, it down, was three I seconds. I said it was three seconds. But the thing I, is, I'm not having this you argument. can't look. At, you have to look at that sign. That's why I don't fucking touch a fucking thing because we all know what happened to Harry, and I don't fucking want to go even fucking near that shit. So I don't even. I I pick up a uh, Playboy. So I play it right like, back in the same spot. You feel like you were being set up when they're all going. I'll take responsibility. He kept saying on the ONA show today, yeah. "I'll take responsibility for this," which which then oh, I own up to it. That's <laughs> take responsibility. You did not say that, Earl. You did not say I did this. You said I'll take responsibility, which to most of the listeners sounds like I, I someone the, from the, I am the leader of this staff, group. So whatever the... it is, ultimately my responsibility. I'm completely owning up to it. What? How many times do I have to say that? Earl. I am owning up to it. But One more time. It sounds... Make it nice and clear for everybody. Okay. I am responsible. Okay? Thank you. Happy? But that's the, that was the main thing I'm about not. earlier in the show was that right. you weren't saying, I did it. You just kept saying, I'll take responsibility for this. Don't blame my staff. I took responsibility for it. What else do you want? What else do you want, Dave? I got hammered for an hour and a half on the air. What else do you want from me? What do you want? From what else? But what if the what staff is... got blamed? A lot of people think it was the staff. I will. Th you know, I'm gonna think and do things and the completely staff on my very, own. Now. And the staff isn't very large. <laughs> it, that's one of the points that I had to bring up. Also, what's that? You need a bigger staff? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Who's keeping you from that, Wiki? Budgets. Mm. We're going to need a bigger staff of Wiki keeps pulling right. Earl off of the board. Dave, you saw him turn it off? Yeah, by by mistake. Yeah. I, you know, but he he had the remote control and that er, the one thing is you wouldn't have called E-Rock if if you didn't do it. So don't just stop. No. And that was early. That was like I can name the time that happened. It was like 7:30. And that's when you did. But th that's right why before the Grammys. But that's the point. That's why So how did wait, a minute, if I did this before the Grammys, right? They were on the air saying we got 8 minutes of the Grammys. So obviously it was after 8 o'clock. But maybe a timer it was got obviously switched. Obviously, after eight o'clock, which means if I called E Rock at seven thirty, right? Easily seven, like seven ish, seven thirty. Why is everyone blaming you then, Earl? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not blaming them. Did you read the sign? <laughs> you think I? You know the history I have with these guys. You think I want to get in their freaking shit house? Yeah. Do you honestly believe I'm a I'm that much of a glutton for punishment? Then why didn't you? See? I had. I had to point out the sign to him. What sign? The sign that says, don't change any of the channels, don't touch anything about the TVs, anything, exclamation point, 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 point. I, he never saw that sign before. That's yeah. true. Right? I, everything was dropped, Dave, until you came in and started doing this. Well, someone said to go in. All right. Earl? I didn't want to come in, but someone said... Uh, well, and you're worried about yourself getting blamed. I understand that. Yeah, because it is. It what it did come. Across. I'm just saying, Earl. Just relax. But I'm just saying, it did come just across. Relax. You're the one who got him upset. <laughs> he was fine. He it, was fine. It was like the Ronfez dot net or Ronfez dot net. Ronfez <laughs> staff. Yeah. And it, all I'm saying it's just, is, it's like you uh, sold them out. Right? A little bit. So don't get pissed off at me. I'm just trying to square up the facts about it wasn't necessarily a staff issue. It might have been just on Big Papa's show. No, I, I know what the, <laughs> I know what the issues are. <laughs> yeah. I know there's plenty of issues, and what those issues, issues will get worked out. What issues? Let's work them out now, buddy. Let me and Fez back you up here. What are they doing to Earl? I'm on Earl's side. Yeah. <laughs> what issues do we need to work on? Mainly upgrading our office, which, again, we worked. Uh, like right. I said, we worked this all out this morning. Who, you and Wiki? Yes, we talked about this this morning. He actually sent me an email on some things. We're working this out. Hmm. So you feel like maybe this is all a good thing? Yeah, me yelling and screaming and acting like a lunatic, maybe it has. You know what I noticed? That when you went to throw the mic this time, you didn't do it. You held on. You held it into your hand. No, I, That's I'm a trying good thing. not to lose control. Of right. Me. And I know what? And I have respect for the room and for the equipment. Right. And you know what? I, 
I don't want to do that because you know what? This crew's great. The XM guys are great. Yeah. And I don't want to piss them off. Well, especially since you have Post standing behind you now, <laughs> willing to break your neck because you're out of control, Earl. No, I'm out of control when. Never mind. Go ahead, say it. Let's just finish this now so we don't have to pick it up tomorrow. Amen. I don't want to pick it up today. Yeah, me neither. I didn't even know anything about any of this until I came in. All I know is, like, basically for a solid hour between, like, 8 15, between uh, two separate sets of phone calls, I was basically screamed at for an hour. Right. And then screamed that on the air. Again. For something. What that you were put in a in a tough position by XM. And to me, everything was all settled until Dave came in and told the truth. That's the problem. The truth has to be told, as yeah. Kevin Costner from JFK told me. Uh, WJFK? W, uh, <laughs> yeah. He was doing the overnights. Kevin yeah. Coe. <laughs> all right, Earl, I wish you would have just told the truth earlier. It and seemed, that would have settled everything. Yeah, it seems like it would have saved a lot of grief, especially on your I own. Said, I was Earl. telling the truth all along. Oh, did That's, you? This is Black Earl, and I approve this worst of. It's the worst. The worst. We'll be back with more of the worst of Opie and Anthony featuring Travis. <laughs> Of Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Master Poe, in, 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 with all due respect, Poe, you kind of would run after a female dog because it's female. <laughs> I, I, wow. You, you, you just, you're you kind of known around this place to, to be a little flirtatious. Well, let's just... Uh, to look at a lot of the girls and stuff, so it's hard to really gauge how much, you know, if you're just being Poe. Let's just know? put it this way. He does a lot of his dating in the back parking lot at F.H. Ryan. Holy oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Why is everyone looking away? Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Poe, the FH doesn't mean fuck here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you didn't! No, you didn't! Hey, guys, this is Master Poe. You're listening to the worst of Master Poe. The worst. It's the worst. It's the worst of Opie and Anthony. The worst. With Travis. Holy mackerel, am I enjoying that radio program? Hi, you're listening to the worst of Opie and Anthony. Hi. Hi. I'm Travis. Sam's yawning. Yeah. So are a lot of other people at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> oh, All man. Right. I love punishing the audience. <laughs> so, That's just... why we gave Travis a show. <laughs> oh, dude. We heard your baseball talk. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I got more laughs with my Than and Sam plug. What are you talking about? All right. All right, that was it for the worst of the Open right. Anthony Show featuring Travis's pick. This Every shit sucks. Wait, is that the outro? Everybody have a good time. That's the... Oh, shut up! It's the outro? Uh, right. No more? Uh, oh, that was a good out. We didn't need to think of a punchline. So then we'll cut out my... Uh, no, we won't. All right, bye. Concludes the worst of Opie and Anthony. Listen live from 6 a.m. to noon, Monday through Friday, with replays throughout the day. Want more? Go to opieandanthony.com or foundrymusic.com.